Ben, ba 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 ben, ben. Tom, 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 tom. Welcome. So that goes. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm very in. cool. Sorry, I'm late. This time it's my fault. What the heck? None of the other times, only this time. What the heck? That's what I'm taking credit for. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, they, all the vodka goblins didn't run away. No, I warned them. I warned them. Ben's late. Uh, um, and um, Tom threw me under the bus. How did you speak to them without me, without our powers, without the magical device? Uh, actually, wait. Someone typed to them. <gasps> But it wasn't me. I don't know how to do that. We're never no, logged we're in. never logged into that thing. Yeah, so, good uh, point. Must have been someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom. Um, well, welcome, welcome, Vodgobos and String Vermins, and to you, Tom. Welcome. Welcome. To you. Welcome. Um, yeah, what's going down? Uh, Warhammer is always going down. Mm -hmm. Another day, another Warhammer. Yeah, it is. Um, Have you accepted Warhammer into your heart, Tom? Uh, yeah, but in that sort of like real begrudging way of like, you know, you kind of went along as a kid, and you sort of <laughs> you loosely stuck with it, and every couple of years you kind of move away, but you come back and you feel guilty. Yeah. Um, and like, you, and you know them. it doesn't make sense, but you do it anyway. Yeah, and you hate a lot about what it is and what it stands for, <laughs> but there's still that bit of you that like just... That tradition that carries on. Yeah, and you can't like fully, fully like ever, ever put it down. It'll always be a part of you. Um, like after Frodo destroys the ring. Mm -hmm. And just feels it. Yeah, yeah. Because he's still got like the tip of the Morgul knife, right? Yeah, he's still like... Slowly but not really becoming a wraith, I guess. Is that a thing? I don't know. Could you get an Iron Man arc reactor thing to stop the shard going into his brain? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's where why he goes on the boat. They, oh, he's got to see to, Tony Stark. They're going to New York. <laughs> yeah, in they're a all, new world. Yeah, exactly. You didn't see it in a deleted scene in the extra director's cut. Nick Fury was on that boat. Oh, right. Uh, the post credit scene. <laughs> yeah. They're getting off the boat and like, who's on the docks? Boom, it's Nick Fury. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to recruit you, Belvo Baggins. <laughs> Let me talk to you about the Avengers Initiative. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah, yeah I can see. Uh... Yeah. And then Frodo really awkwardly wants to fit in, so he doesn't tell them that he's destroyed his invisibility ring. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, you've got to... And he hangs out with them and he gets to know them and he's like, this is cool. And then they're like, okay, this is a part of the mission. You need to sneak in past the cameras, Frodo. But at the climax of the film, <laughs> you'll find out that the invisibility was inside him all along. Oh, and he didn't need the ring. Of course. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Yeah. All they really needed was his um, bluey glow sword. That's right. Sting. Sting. A lot of sting. Um, Do all elf swords glow blue? No, I think that's just like uh, like a five point enchantment you put on your sword. To oh, make it, it had, one, had one socket left on it, and you couldn't and get anything good on it. They were like, "Oh, we got the sword, <laughs> sure, <laughs> boom, yeah, put that fucking five point thing on it to take goblins." <laughs> sure, <laughs> sometimes it's good. It was never useful, or at least in the films. I, I've read the books twenty five years ago. I can't remember them, but like every time he's like, oh, "Goblins," it's like, "Yeah, they're there," like. You know, if, if the oh, sword... <laughs> you hear them <laughs> yeah. way before that glowing sword's necessary. Also, yeah. if anything, like the orcs and gobos, they're generally hanging out in dark, dingy places. Mm. Your sword's suddenly glowing like a fucking lightsaber. Yeah. Really bad. Give away really your position a business. bit. Your sword glows so brightly, we could have shot you in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Boom. Yeah. That's. Uh... Hell dear, don't like those glow swords. No, sir. No, yeah. sir. No, sir. Um, Maybe he wouldn't have died if he'd had one. Hmm. He gets fucking axed by a berserker, doesn't he? Maybe if he'd known that berserker was there. That's true. If his sword gl glowed, <laughs> he'd be like, wow, one, wow, one's really close to me. Oh, fuck! <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, it genuinely feels like Aragorn causes his death in that scene. In Helm's Deep, the elves are like holding the walls and chopping them, them as the orcs come up. Mm -hmm. And there's one bit where um, Aragorn yells up and goes, we're, we're f falling back to the next wall and Haldir turns around and is like what and then he gets axed in the back oh fuck he just gets distracted <laughs> yeah. uh, and Aragorn's just like ooh 
Luckily, everyone that saw that is now getting butchered. <laughs> I'm in the clear. Um, exactly. Because then everyone looked at Legolas like surfing down a shield. Oh, God, yeah. So, He's yeah. like, Legolas, quick, make a distraction. <laughs> yeah. Draw people's attention away from me getting hard here killed. <laughs> Do a kickflip. Do a kickflip. <laughs> and yeah, he goes down. He gets like a cool, cool, sweet combo. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, Tony Hawk's around. They should make that. They should do a Tony Hawk oh Lord God. of the Rings crossover. Yes. Where you are, not only are you like s- s- shield boarding, mm-hmm. skate shielding, Go, whatever. Going down the trunk of the um, the Mama Kill. Yeah, that'd be another level. Uh, yeah. But like, are you like skating around? Um, you can hop along of all the barrels. That'd be great. Oh, God. From the Hobbit? Oh, God, it's so You could run up the floating stairs? I feel like there'd legit actually be some cool levels you could make. <laughs> yeah. And it's a sort of, like, half skateboarding game, half on-rails, like, shooter, uh, firing a bow and arrow at orcs. Oh. I'd, I'd, I'd play that. I'd L- play that. Lord of game. the Rad. Lord of the Rad. <laughs> uh, love it. Um, oh. Or could you call it Board of the Rings? Oh! Yeah. The other kind of board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the kind of board you are <laughs> two, two hours 40 into Return of the King. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I like it. I like it a lot. God, so many of those levels. Going through like Moria as like the things are like crashing into each other. Oh, all the pillars. Yeah. Like you're jumping on. Yeah. That'd be great. You got to yeah. do like a, if you, you got to do like a really rad trick. As you're going across um, the bridge of Kazad, do <laughs> yeah. so you can blow it up and the Balrog falls away because he's going to be like chasing you as you're doing like cool yeah. tricks all the way through it. Man, this game oh would be great. Oh my god, Gandalf stood there going, "You shall not pass," and then you like hop onto his staff. And oh, it, he like holds he hit- it up and you like grind <laughs> on his staff <laughs> yeah. to charge it with like rad power, <laughs> and then he slams it down. Fuck me, I'd play this game. I'd, yeah. I'd totally play this game. This this would be legit. <laughs> oh. Could do it and all. I really think um, the Tolkien Foundation would back this because mm-hmm. I think that this is exactly what J.R. Tolkien wanted his work to well, be he used knew, for. He knew it was before his time. If he'd come out with a skateboarding masterpiece, it would have been rejected. Yeah. The people would have hated him because he spoke the truth. Yeah, exactly. And he knew the world wasn't ready for it. But mm-hmm. this is always where he planned it on going. Board of the Rings and... Uh, just rad, rad, uh, cool, uh, cool skateboarding. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. I'm very sold. You can do some um, snowboarding up in that mountain when he's walking on top of the snow. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be rad. And like Boromir's like, think of the little ones. <laughs> and Legolas is just like, Psh! cool power and just slides. Like, covers them in powder. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Fucking amazing. I'm in. I'm so in. <laughs> Boom. I think we've peaked. That's it for us. Okay, well, we'll see you uh, See you next week. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, no, we are here. We're doing stuff. Uh, what is, what's new in Warhammer last week, Ben? Uh, what is new in Warhammer? Um, I actually haven't looked this week. So let's have a little look. There's some kind of something good Sneaky gets. Um, cool. the, let's have a look at that. Um... Any pre-orders to be look at? Don't remember. Maybe. Let's have a look at all this stuff. I've already seen much of this. Uh, this is all news to me. Uh, what is that? And uh, what is that? Oh, it's field uh, an entire army of crew. That sounds amazing. Yeah, I love crew. They like chicken men. So he does calls for the power of Sigma, and he gets lightninged. Boom. And then maybe there's too much lightning. And then he's melted. Okay. I was expecting something different with something called Sneaky Gets. I thought it would have more gobos in. Yeah, there's the gobos. There's ghouls eating stuff. They eat the thing, then they're sick. But Okay. Okay, that's enough Sneaky Gets. Okay. Um, Big news, Tom. You know, the Custodian book came out six days ago. (laughs) Um... Well, now it's wrong. Yeah. Um, you can get new rules. Everything's changed. Yeah. I um, don't know how to feel about that. It feels bad, man. I mean, on one hand, it's a, at least they did it as a free download. Oh, yeah. 
Like, so if they'd made you buy that fucking book. Oh, God, that would have been super shitty. Um, yeah, I don't understand how you can go through... Like, uh, sure, they print these books months and months in advance. Yeah, they, they, they do the play testing, they write them, they send them off to the printers, and then maybe it takes six months to get them printed and shipped. Because I know they make the models in the UK, but most of the books and cardboard stuff comes from China. Yeah. So there's a delay, but sure. in turn, the book where the new um, chapter approved, mm. that's coming out this week. So that must have also had months of yeah. getting printed. So there was like a two-week period when they were like, oh, no, we got this really wrong. Because everything... Lower the points of everything. Because <laughs> yeah. literally everything has gone down yeah, like by about 10 5, 10, or 20 points yeah. just across the board. It's like your entire army is getting like a 10% discount, which feels kind of nuts. How did they get that so wrong? Yeah. Apparently, though, Junior Steel Occults came out at the same time. Not a single change. Nailed it. They got that perfect. Nailed those points values. Which I also find incredibly hard to believe. Yeah. Um... Um, who knows? So that's, it's not quite a new record. I saw some people in chat say a new record. It feels like it should be a new record, but do you remember that time they brought out the Thousand Suns and Grey Knights, but they changed their points before the books oh, were released? Uh, Arata came out before, <laughs> before the actual army book. So yeah, I don't know so if this is a record that's ever getting broken. So that, that is the current world record, uh, because yeah, it was updated before it even came out. <laughs> yeah. Did the custom oh. players kick up a load of fuss? I don't think they had time to. No. This came this this new book also, came out. This like, was like leaked. Mm. Like before uh, the this book was, done, was even out. Yeah. Uh, like this this is in the new book that's coming out this week, which so this must have been set in stone months before. They wouldn't have had time to have player feedback. They just they just fucking goofed, I guess. Yeah. Also, generally it takes like I don't know, a couple of weeks for people to really work out if a book's busted or not. Yeah, you've got to play like a bunch of games. As generally everyone, like you, you take the, the fan base of that army, you divide them into two groups, doesn't matter who mm -hmm. they are, um, and one group, they will be like, this army is unplayable, it is so bad. And the other will be like, this army is absolutely broken, it's way too good. That is like the entire community. Yep, Boom. that happens every time. Um, and then as the weeks go by, People slowly kind of like filter into like, nah. <laughs> They're not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 I just have to make my army a little bit different. Um, mm. So yeah, we'll see. Like, But I'm sure they'll take get another points change at some point soon. I'm uh, sure they will. It is weird how like Games Workshop seems to be happy with certain armies just being better than others. Like... I mean, it's early days. It's hard to tell because these books have just come out. But Custodians were in the top, like, third of armies. Yeah. They were doing pretty well at tournaments, and everyone agreed that they were fairly strong. And the book hasn't really changed it very much. They've got rid of a couple of their good things. They've given them a couple of good things back, and it feels like they're on about the same power level. And then Gene Steeler Colts, famously one of the worst armies in yeah. the game. Absolutely piss poor um, and then they've brought out their new book and they've taken away or made more expensive a lot of their things but then they've given them other things and made other things better so it feels like the books are at about the same power level something's got better something's got worse and roughly it's just as good but that means it's still going to be like D tier I don't really get it what's wrong with trying to make things a bit more a bit more equal yeah, I don't know I don't mind there being some like goofier armies um you know i always liked in blood bowl that you had like the stunty teams the yeah like the the sort of handicap team that was never going to do great um but you know you could still come good with them but it's going to be an uphill uphill mm. struggle the whole way the challenge um, and if anyone was going to be the you know slightly shitter army i'm fine with it being genius the <laughs> because yeah. They're supposed to be the underdogs. Yeah, that's true. They're hardly a galaxy conquering force, are they? Like that imagery of, like, uh, like this guy here. Oh, you can't see my curse. Um, picture of that dude in the oh. center with the sword. Um, yeah. The blade captain, whatever mm -hmm. he's called. Right in the middle. Uh, he p 
potentially mm-hmm. could have been working for the emperor for like 10,000 years. Mm-hmm. He has practiced with a sword for 18 hours a day. Yeah. Uh, and he's got the finest armor and equipment in the galaxy. He's got like super DNA, mega genes, oh, yeah. all the rest of it. Um, like some of the best armor, some of the best equipment. Um, those dudes down in the bottom left, they literally like got off their shift at the mine like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. um, and they're expected to fight against these guys. Love it. It's a fun dynamic, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, you're not, you're not, some people in chat saying it's good internal balance. You're right. The Gene Steeler cult book, Internal Balance, is very good. All the shit stuff was made better and all the good stuff was made worse. And now everything feels like it has a place. Mm-hmm. It's just that place is like a rung below every other army book. Yeah. I don't know. I think we'll see, see how it pans out. Like they've got a whole, a million new stratagems, a million new That's rules. true. It's really hard to know until you actually see it in, in play. Also, like, I, th- I kind of also vaguely prefer it being a, a fraction weaker mm. because they have a lot of very weird rules mm. that work in the... They, like, that army plays unlike any other. Mm. And if they made that too powerful, everyone would lose their fucking shit. And I think yeah. it would generally be really bad for the game. That's true. It's like if Imperial Knights were the best army. Well, yeah, they were in, like, eighth. And the same with um, when Gene Stilicots first came out. Mm. They were the top tier because their rules were busted. Mm. Um, and so they were like, okay, right, we've got to fucking nerf these down a lot. That's true. When you're getting an army that plays completely differently, it's pretty tricky to get them. They're either always going to be over or under, aren't they? Yeah, like it's going to be so difficult to like square them up. And also, I think they're going to have a really big um, deal with, I think different matchups are going to be way better better for yeah. them or way worse for them oh certainly like i did some maths hammer and um like like the hybrids you can see on here with the, the auto guns against some armies they're pretty good now but against like custodians absolutely worthless um literally you could take 30 of them with all the equipment and all the special strategies <laughs> and they will not kill like more than one single custodian before they die but against i don't know something like guard or orcs mm. they're gonna have a much much better time yeah actually do a bit of bit of chewing mm. So yeah, it's totally matchup dependent. So there we go. Um, did we look at this? Yeah, we already looked at this last week, didn't we? Oh, but this is fun. Have you have you seen the prices on I these? I have seen the prices. Oh, for shame. Uh, so so ten plastic guardsmen. I know that they are technically a kill team, but if you wanted to make a death core of Krieg, forty k army, like Cadians, twenty pounds for ten. That's their price. With the new sprue, they upped it to £29 pound or £28 pound or something yeah. with the upgrade sprue. And that was like, oh, yikes. Nearly £30 pounds for 10 guardsmen. Well, hold on to your butts because not three months later, you can get yourself 10 guardsmen worth 60 points for just shy of £35. Pounds. Wow, 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 They didn't have like a heavy weapon. No. I guess there's like a grenade launcher in there. Sure. So even if you took that, a grenade launcher, you slug a power sword on the guy. Yeah, that's that's 70 points now. Like 70 points at most. Like, jeez. What the heck? Yeah. Even in debt, I still serve. Wow, nice. But yeah. That's a feels. That's a big old feels bad man. It's, I was just, I my eyes popped a little bit at that one. Um, oof, how much did they used to cost at Forge World? Do you remember everyone used to like their eyes would water when they think about getting a Death Corps Krieg Death Army? Krieg Army. I feel like this isn't far off what they were. The horses were like twenty five, twenty seven pounds each, or something like that. Mm. Were they like crazy expensive? The. Uh, Gas mask cavalry. Yeah, the cavalry were quite expensive. I just mean like the regular regular boys. Forty pounds for ten. Hmm. So yeah, there we go. Making Forge World not look too expensive. <laughs> it's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I don't have much more to say than that, other than Although I guess likes. like actually, if they're both um Almost 35 pounds. Mm. 
That makes the starter set look amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, because that was, what, £65? No, no. With all the terrain and the books and everything, it was over 100 But no, this, this one... one. Uh... Oh. Well, that didn't work. It's the wrong link. It was on... Uh... It'll be uh, under... Um... That previous thing that we were looking at. Yeah, I clicked on it, and it just took me straight to Abaddon's book. Um... No, when we were on uh, the Death Corp. Hmm. How do they have it? Oh, yeah, 65. So, yeah, you're paying... If you bought it all separately, it'd be 75 just for the miniatures. Let alone the books, tokens, and scenery, and dice, and everything. Wow. And the rulers. Your little shape mm, rulers. Need those. <laughs> need them. Yeah, otherwise, how else will you uh, be able to move your minis around? Um, yeah, well... That's how you make your box sets look like a bargain, by savagely overpricing on all the content. Yeah, sets God. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Because now they can be like, oh, this is an 80% discount, Tom. <laughs> Just buy the box set. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Oof. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Wow. Uh, yeah, and we looked at this last week, didn't we? I feel like this, there was new dice. Was there? How do I look at those new dice? New dice? Uh, maybe... Was it Tau dice? Tau book. There's this guy. Did we see him before? He's got little drone friends. They look like... Um, Who's it? Duck Strider. Darth Maul's little drone friends. I really, yeah, I really like those drones. They're amazing. Super cute. I love them. They're pretty cool. Um... We got this guy on a hoverboard, ready for Legolas adventures. Isn't, isn't that like super old model? He was only available as a start collecting. Box. Right. Okay. Now you can get him separately. New, um, new patrol box. It's fine. And then here we go. Tower dices. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. And I think there's sisters dice as well. Ball. New sisters dice. What? Uh, Oh, they are. Oh, like bloody rose dice. Mm. That's kind of cool. I quite like those. Oh, they're kind of nice. I like them. I'm into it. But yeah, like if any of the dice, which is just a dice with a symbol on the six. It's very vanilla, isn't it's it? It's like the lowest effort you can do to have like custom dice. Mm. Um, I think we've I like mean. maybe seen the end of the days of um, just... Bonkers dice. Yeah, the goofy dice have seem to have gone forever. They might be back another time. You know, once we've once the uh, the groundswell of public opinion has mounted, <laughs> yeah, people start clamouring. Yeah, I just need every if everyone here watching, like, mm -hmm. don't do it all right now, but over the next week, if you drip feed out saying like, we want more fun dice back, yeah, if everyone starts like messaging them because mm -hmm. like getting one email in or something like that, that's the equivalent of like the zeitgeist of like a thousand people. Mm -hmm. So that's a, the, all the thousand yeah. people might feel that way. So if only a thousand one people all say it, then it's like a million people and want they're like, it. Oh my god, <laughs> we need crazy <laughs> dice again. Yeah, just cite your favorite dice, like the Squig dice, the Lumineth Realm Lords, and Eisenath Deepkin. So you want something that generates the feel of those three. This is just for you, Tom. <laughs> I'm going along with it because I love you, but those hurt my soul. They are all amazing. All fantastic dice. Uh, the silver knife dice. Silver knife dice, uh, I do like them because they are awful. But they're not, I don't think they're as terrible as the others. <laughs> uh, we've got this new book. This is like the new Seasons book. Oh, actually, before we get stuck into this, I just want to... Um, <gasps> Uh, Ooh. Do they see your bone dice? Oh, are they the ones in um, Iceland? I did. I did see them. They're very cool. Anytime I get upset by Imperial Guard pricing, I just want to remind everyone that these exist. And you oh. can get yourself... Um, Ten boxes for £190. There you go. And each box has like 30 guys in it. 24 per box. So, you know, they come with all these different heads. You can have gas masks. You can have fucking beef eaters. 
there's enough heads to have everyone with the same kind of head. Um, and, oh my God, how many is, what's this in pounds? Three, that's 75 guys for 70 pounds. They're less than a pound a guy compared to the games workshops that are like three pound 50 a guy. It's pretty good. So, you know, there you go. And if you want them to look like not have great coats on, you, you do kind of these guys. They've got plenty of choices. They've even got like this, a, uh, like a heavy weapons box set. Oh, I'm not sure about that. The ball gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't have to build that one. Yeah, I don't know how you feel about him. <laughs> you is get there, plenty of options. Are there other pictures of that guy? Uh, is he sat in like a little hover chair? <laughs> you get like um, special weapons and commanders and banners and stuff like that as well. Uh, he's not in a hover chair. He's, there's a little seat for him. Where is it? I didn't build the ball gun when I built mine. I <laughs> it looks... Super goofy. <laughs> Super goofy. <laughs> the guy on the radio is like, oh, Sir, uh, everyone keeps making fun of our ball gun. Um, I want a reassignment. <laughs> I want to use one of the other weapons. <laughs> um, and you've even got these guys. You know, if you just want like generic jumpsuit dudes. Just super genericos. Mm. You know, if you hate fun, or you want like the penal legion. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Tina was like penal legion looks amazing. Uh, anyway, penal penile. Um, yeah, I don't know how I had to feel about this. The seasons. I like the idea of like pushing the story forward semi regularly and doing like weird little fun. Um, Rules supplements and just being like, yeah, you know what? Here's some rules if you want to do an all Phobos army, or here's some for, um, you know, a weird chapter you've never heard of, or something yeah. like that. That's fun. So maybe this is good. It's got this guy in it. And this guy. What's going on with that dude's mouth? Uh, I think Does he's he have got. demons in his mouth. I reckon he's ball gagged him. He's like got a like an electro ball gag. Electro ball gag. Okay. Also, the dude in the bottom right, he has seen, like, this is a, just a, a regular meeting. He is so fucking bored. <laughs> yeah, this is the 47th ball ganging he's seen this day. Yes, well, <laughs> ball gang victim. Uh, yes, he has sparks coming out of his mouth <laughs> again. <laughs> Once again, he's unable to reply to the Inquisitor's questions. <laughs> I think there may be a flaw in this interrogation <laughs> technique. Well, my God. Cool. There we go. So oh, is that a new Predator? Oh, yeah, no, no, it's just a red version of the um, yeah. stupid Sister of Battle medium tank. Yeah, something they never needed. Uh, so news, Tom. There's going to be more news. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Las Vegas Open this week, so we're going to get some new previews on Friday. Ooh. Unless you live in a different country, and then it will be a different time. Oh. Oh, it's going to be at 8 a.m. What? Time zones. They're magic. But new reveals for everything. That could be fun. Might get to find out what the next kill team is. Maybe okay. that Horus Heresy box is finally going to come out. One with all the beakies. Uh, we got a new Warhound Scout Titan, and he's funny looking. He is... I'm not, I'm undecided. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I kind of love and hate him at the yeah. same time. Yeah, I don't know. Real chicken dog energy, it 100% is chicken yeah, dog energy. Yeah, he's the most chicken dog I've ever seen. Um, I'll compare him to a... And his like stubby little knob arms, they don't really look like guns. No, because I guess his big, big gun is so big, his other guns have to be littler to kind of like make up for it. Um, I mean, I def the original is definitely a cooler design. Yeah. How much um, bigger is this one? I think it's the same. Really? Because look, like I, I think it's probably built on the same skeleton with the different bits added on, you know? Okay. I think that's the same head. Well, there's, there's multiple heads on the sprue. But like, I think the legs skeleton's no. the same. This armor plate is the same. No, because the f well, the feet are different. Yeah, the, the feet are different. I don't know. He looks so like static. Yeah, I wish they'd done, done like a. Oh my god, you're right, Imperator Benny. 
You have ten seconds to comply. Oh my god. Put down your weapons. Well, at 209. He's got serious at 209 energy, hasn't he? I, actually, I kind of like that. Man, sticking. Get rid of the head. Mm hmm. Stick that in like an Inquisitor warband as an Ed 209. Oh, it would like actually be pretty cool scale. Like a combat servitor kind of thing. Yeah, 440k. Oh man, yeah. That's pretty fun. Mm. Mm. Cool. I'm into it now. But yeah, he's a goofy boy. He's a, goofy, <laughs> he's a bit goofy. Boy. Doesn't help that he's so static. If you had him like mid stride. Just anything. But yeah, like it looks like it's kind of like powered down, just like mm. in, in the Titan Bay. Ready to be painted or yeah. pit crude or something. Yeah. And those piddly little guns were a bit sad. They do look really sad. Although, actually, probably pretty good in uh, Adeptus Titanicus. Mm. If you've got two multi shot pew pews that like shred someone's shield and then. And then give them the big one. Then you give them the, 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 the big pew. Yeah, I mean, they got six shots each. Oh, no. No, they are. They're paired. You get six shots. But yeah, I know what you mean. Give them the, give them the big zap. Could work. Uh, we've got some new Eldar Warlocks. I quite like this guy. The guy on the right. The, uh, yeah, with the helmet. With the helmet and the doing the, like, what's it called? That Obi-Wan thing. He's about to fight General Grievous. <laughs> yeah. I hate the one without the helmet. Yeah. And they all have to stand on fucking rocks, don't <laughs> yeah. they? The well, they all need a little lift. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's like a Witcher signal, isn't it? Like, what do they what do they call that in Witcher? Igni is the fire one. I remember that. Signs. Is it just signs? I can't remember. Uh, look, I love this one with the like Greek hoplite crest. That's a cool look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the helmets, they look great. Without the helmets, they look dumb. Yeah, they look dumb as fucking shit. Like they are ugly heads with I hate the chin strap. Um, yeah. Yeah, hopefully there's enough so you can just throw those in the bin. Yeah, they're like cool, cool enough. I do love these old Jess Goodwin sketches. Yeah, I like the old style. Boom, give them like a big like fur. Mm. Give them a few more trinkets, a few more jangles. I mean, the old warlocks almost hold up today. Um, it's only because they're a bit flat. They're not as dynamically posed. But like the sculpts are still fucking good. These are from like the late 80s, early 90s. Oh, yeah, man. The oh, one. Not, not the Farseer, the one on the left. Uh, two handed, like, kind of stepping forward with a sword. Really like him. Mm. They totally hold up. In fact, if you're re, re sculpting oh, stuff, man. maybe these aren't the ones you want to even bother re sculpting because they're still awesome. Yeah, I guess, like, it looks worse there when you've got, like, two dupes of the same. Yeah. Same pose. But yeah, yeah, they're cool models. So yeah, the ones with the helmets look cool. But, oh, I don't know. I feel like, again, they've picked the models that were already pretty good. There's plenty of like terrible models that should be redesigned first. Anyway, um, speaking of Eldar... Uh, by the way, I think we need to warn people. We, uh, we, we are going to be playing some Warhammer 3, mm -hmm. but we are limited on how much we can actually play... That's true. We should have said that up front. Um, we I, have to stop I, on day f turn 50. Mm -hmm. And the embargo on further than turn 50 isn't until tomorrow, annoyingly. So that'll have to wait till next week from us. If only we were doing tabletop Thursdays. Oh. Instead of Warhammer Wednesdays. Well, there's got to be a better name for it than that. <laughs> but it's not happening anyway, so forget about it. Uh, play Cafe for a bit. I kind of don't want to start another campaign mm -hmm. because then we'll never go back to the demons or we won't do that for... Uh, yeah, I want to finish the demons. Um, and if we go play Cafe for 50 turns, we'll never go back to those demons. Yeah, yeah, which feels bad. So I think we want to keep that. Um, we can like fire it up and... Um, Play those two turns. We might like have a look at some battles. There is some other content that we can do, but we can't um, really go too much further in the thing. 
Yeah. So we'll do what we can, and then we'll also, yeah, we'll do some skirmish and look at some of the new stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we, although we can name potentially some units, it's going to be not many. So if you're donating, hoping for a unit, there is a very good chance that we can't, we can't get that in. Yeah, but we'll, we'll be back on it next week. There you go. Um, so yeah, we got new. Oh, look, they've done it for us, Tom. They found the old. Nice. The old tiny avatar. He's a little baby. Yeah. Saw this guy in a load of epic armies. Yeah. Good point. He really f worked at that scale. And then there's the epic first epic one. Because he was a little weenie. That's the Forge World one, which was pretty good, actually. I never really liked the Forge World one. I know it was similar. It's not the best paint job, to be fair. Man, get that sword straight. Good luck in resin. Oh, jeez, yeah. Oof. You ready for the new one? Oh, he's not here. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? What a fucking tease. Are you kidding? Is it in the video? It's just a tease, isn't it? Because he's such, like, such a little baby now. <laughs> he really is. Oh, here oh. he is. Oh, it's just a silhouette. Oh, it looks cool, though. It does look kind of cool. Oh, why are they such tees? Sure. The data sheet with the picture has been leaked. Yeah, this but you can only see, like, his head. You can barely see any of them. Boo. Um, we got, um, I guess you can go... Oh, nice. Uh, what water. is it? Like a water purifier from... It's from Star Tatooine. Wars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I wanted to go to Tashi Station to pick up some <laughs> power converters. No, you gotta go get the moisture condensers. <laughs> Stop being an asshole. Plug C3PO into one of these things so we can speak botchy. Whatever that is. Boom. It's moist to farm it up. Yeah. Sure. It's a thing. Yeah, it sounds like a thing, doesn't it? Uh, Why well, am I horror? I keep meaning to like try this out, but I have not got around to it. God, they don't look like they're from Warhammer at all, do they? No. Jeez, I thought this was like a 40k thing. I guess not. No. It's Age of Sigma. Okay. Sure. Uh, oh, the crew. All crew. All crew. What have they done to my crew? Um, their stats look the same. Oh, they put one AP on their melee. They're like slightly faster shootier orcs. With much less toughness. Mm. Uh, they can do an ambush. Wow, I don't think you're going to want a whole army of these guys. That guy, I don't think that model holds up as well. No, it doesn't really. I quite like the one who's got the pulse carbine. I mean, you never would give him it, because why would you? Um, but I like the idea of like the tribal savage with the like advanced Yeah, weapon. yeah, yeah, that's a cool cool vibe. Uh, well, if, oh, it's, an, it's a warlord trait. Okay. But, um... Roll an extra d6 and discard one of the dice for charges. Pretty legit. That's pretty good. Get all your charges in, for sure. Uh, they got a filmy plane strat. None of this screams to me do a crew army, that's for sure. You could just do it for fun. You could do it for fun. Right. Hey, you have some crew. You've got the yeah, crew hounds, crew toxes. Narlock riders, the Ooh, great Narlock. The giant chicken. And then you're out of the units. <laughs> yeah. Wait, they did do the, um, didn't they do a white dwarf crew army and you could have like vulture crew and stuff? Yeah, they did. They um, And you could have, because crew do a thing where they eat their dead enemies and then they absorb some of their DNA and get some of their traits. Yeah. So you could have a unit of like crew who'd eaten a lot of orcs and then they would get tougher. And you could have like a unit that had eaten a lot of Eldar who would get quicker. And that was a fun little little thing. I like that. I don't think they're going to do that though. Because I think there was a thing in the lore of like the Kroot were like forbidden from uh, eating Tyranids. Oh, right. Did the Tau have to step in and go, no? I think, yeah, a combination of the Tau and maybe even just like some of the Kroot were like, <laughs> this is bad. Not good eating. Because... Uh, but I think it still took them like a couple of generations for the mutations to actually kick in. They don't just get mm. it themselves immediately. No, you're right, actually. Yeah, it's about the future of their clan. That's why the leaders are called shapers, because they shape the evolution of the, of the tribe. Um, same with Chaos Flesh. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. 
I think that's it. That's all of what was new in Warhammer last wow. week. What the heck? We did it. Can you believe it? Well, not a lot. Not a lot new. Not a lot new at all. Oh, no, chat. You can't try and eat a Necron. Uh, no. Um, it is canonical that Tyranids uh, eat Necrons. Oh, okay. So... But can crew... If Tyranids can. <laughs> yeah. I guess a... I guess. Crew could. Ooh, that's going to give you indigestion, I think. A big metal ball. How are they even going to chew it up? Like, I can totally imagine a um, <laughs> crunch, crunch. I can imagine, like, a Tyranid, like, um, processing vat of acid that the Necrons are chucked into and it's all dissolved. But I can't imagine a crew, like, pecking his way through a... No, you, like, scrape off bits, like, uh, filings. Oh, okay, you just get a file. <laughs> you rub it down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you garnish your pasta with it, like um, parmesan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you come along with, like, a big, like, rasp, and you've got a necron head. She's <laughs> right. like, please, put me down. And you just, like, grate some of that onto some your food. necrodermis, sir? <laughs> oh, yes, please, lots. Don't mind if I do, <laughs> work. Oh, flayed ones. Flayed ones would be good. That's how you like. That's how you have to trick the necrons, uh, the crew at first that don't want to eat <laughs> right. it. The you crew wrap, children yeah, who are yeah. just like, Ew, gross metal. Uh, I don't want that. But no, you wrap it in delicious meat, <laughs> and then they'll like chomp away, and they have a great time. <laughs> that's how they how they feed it to the crew hounds. Yeah, like uh, when you have <laughs> yeah, give your dog give, a like, tablet, a <laughs> um, wrap it up in peanut butter and meat. <laughs> wow, I love it. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's the dream. Uh, so any other any other hot news? Any other uh, exciting? Nothing that I can think of. Wow. I, I don't know. Do you know of any any hot wargaming news in your area? Not really. No. No, sir. Blood Bowl 3's out soon. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. I've still not really looked into the rules for um, Blood Bowl 2020. Right. See how different it is to like regular. Um, I don't what? know. I'm a purist. Mm -hmm. You like what you like. New things are weird. I'm just going to give this a shout out because it came out literally a minute ago. After this stream, if you still need more Hammer, wow. you can. You can watch me, Alex, and Lewis fight a game of Apocalypse with Titans and stuff. Wow. This just came out. It's pretty cool. Wow. Not now. That's your treat. You can't eat your pudding mm -hmm. until you've watched your disgusting broccoli. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You've got to go through all of this shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, Look, it's still patching after an hour. What the hell? Fine. So what have you been watching recently, Ben? Um, oh, my. It's, it's a very large patch. Okay. Yikes. Well, that's going uh, that's to take a... Uh, <laughs> That's going to take a red hot minute. Sure is. Uh, what did I watch recently? Um, my brain has failed. Why have I? I haven't been watching a lot of stuff recently. Oh my god! I think we're not going to play Warhammer Three today at this rate. It's nine point six gigs done out of a hundred and twelve gigs. Yeah, which is weird. Oh, you see what it says here? It's it's downloaded two point three out of two point three gigs. It's downloaded everything. Yeah, but it has to. Go check every single fucking file. Like, uh, honestly, it feels like it'd be quicker to uninstall and re-download. Yeah. Because it is... In the time we're speaking, it's done 1%. This is, a bad, this is a bad system for updating your game. Yikes. Shall I do that? Shall I delete it and re reinstall? Maybe, to be honest. <laughs> like, our internet is faster than probably this machine is uh, just uh, processing. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, uninstall. I'm going to give it a try because it's done 9% in an hour. So at that rate, it won't be ready for another 10 hours. Yeah. Wow. Wow. There we go. Look. Perfect. I think it will download 65 gig. You see. Um, I have been watching a bunch, whole bunch of um, Lord of the Rings law videos, because I, I never really knew. I've not read any of the supplementary Middle, middle Earth lore. Mm -hmm. So this is one guy, Nerd of the Rings, who, who did, I watched his first video, the one that suckered me in, 
was he did a video about what would happen if Gandalf took the ring. Uh, okay, I think I've seen... Has that been like, stuff. recommended a lot? Um, and that was pretty fun because he's, he's obviously like a super nerd who knows all about who, where, he's like got a timeline of where everyone was on which date. Yeah, yeah. So he works out like what sounds like quite a believable theory. And then that just auto-played while I was doing other things. And my brain is full of a lot of Middle Earth nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think I, I, think I can, uh, can stand. Yeah, so I, yeah, all I can think about now are the Maiar and the Valar and the Snow. Oh, God. That's one of the things I found a bit more impenetrable, though. Mm. Stupid fucking names for everything. Like, everything sounds the, the same. Yeah, and no explanation of really what that means. Yeah. What, what is what is? Well, you've got to watch, like, eight other videos just to explain every single thing, and it's just this eternal web that goes out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 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 But yeah, he makes good videos. If you want to watch some some deep dives on cool. Lord of the Rings, that's the one. Mm. Um, mm, what else have I been watching? I've been, I've been listening to a lot of Gene Steeler Cult Codex reviews. Yeah, trying to figure out what the fuck's what up are, with what that. What are people though. saying? Mainly that the internal balance is very good. All the units feel like they have a place. Okay, but also that's like positive. Mm, but also that, like, yikes, there's so many fucking special rules and overlapping terms and stuff. Like, cannot figure out how it's going to work together. Yeah, like, I've been trying to read that book and get... Um, it's just it's so overwhelmed. I don't think it helps that, like, you know, we haven't really played um, played any in a couple of months. Mm. So... Well, yeah, as soon as we heard the new books were coming out back in, like, October... We were like, well, I'm not playing with this army anymore. I'm not yeah, going to just like learn wanna... all the wrong rules and relearn it all. Yeah, because we were just like learning those armies. We'd only played a couple of games. Mm. So we're like, oh, let's just put it off until, until that. Until yeah. that's a thing. But then we got hold of all the new Song of Ice and Fire miniatures games cards. Yes. Um, which they just updated all of their rules, which is amazing because I love that game. Mm. But now I'm overloaded. I've got too many, too many rules and too many games to play. Oh, oh man! I can't yeah. do it all. Two, <laughs> two, <laughs> <laughs> two games. <laughs> um, yeah, like I don't think. Have you ever shown people the no, the song of ice and fire miniatures game? Just so people have an idea of what what we're talking about, what it is. Uh, yeah, so like the armies themselves. It's like, oh, it looks a bit like old school Warhammer with regiments and f ranks and flanks. Yeah, like each unit is kind of like a block of 12, 12 people or four cav generally. Um, but it's, it's a really, really cool game. Just mm. mechanically, it doesn't play a lot like any many games I've played before. No, it's it, it, the closest thing is classic fantasy or Kings of War or those kind of games, but... It is so much more streamlined and elegant than those games. Yeah, and fast. And fast. But you, while being fast, you still feel like you're making really important tactical decisions. Yeah. Like, at no point did I ever feel like the game just kind of played itself. No, no. I, tons of options, tons of choices. Um, and especially now, they've got a whole load of different factions. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, really, really cool. Game, game is fun. Um, but we stopped playing it because they would do, started doing all these updates. Yeah, they changed and... the stats of almost everything in the game, so we were going to wait till that was done. But it got delayed by like over a year. Yeah. Um, Super annoying. And so we could just like put it down and just did other things. Um, also, there's giants and there's mammoths. You can take mammoths. Hooray! Um, they are hot garbage, but <laughs> you can still have them. You can. Giants and mammoth army... Huzzah. Um, and see, so that was one of the things that they recently added. Because normally you'd have to choose a character to be your leader. So mm -hmm. if you're playing the Night's Watch, you might take Jon Snow. Yeah, he knows nothing. Maybe you take Alistair Thorne mm -hmm. uh, or J Jorah Mormont. Mm -hmm. um, was that Jorah Mormont? No, oh, uh, they had, they, their names were really similar. I think Jorah was the son who went off to St. Yeah. Mary's. And Jorah, like they both began with J, and I can't remember the old, old Mormont. Joa Mormont. Jorah Mormont. Who's the who's the other guy? Jorah. 
Jora. Oh, so yeah, whatever. Jor I, and Jora. So, <laughs> um, and uh, depending on which one you take, you'll, they'll give you like different ways that you can play your army. They mm. give you like these sort of action cards that you're using, so you can kind of like tailor your armies around. And um, I've got a big um, free folk army, mm -hmm. and uh, you had to take like. Um, can you get like free folk? Uh, had a whole load of free folk. They're generally like a bit of a horde, horde army. Mm -hmm. um, but they could take giants, which is yeah. one of the main reasons that I uh, went for them because giants are I always love a good. Giant. Uh, who doesn't love a cool giant man? Yeah, uh, yeah. Picture. Why is that fucked for resolution? Um, and so you'd be taking, you know, like Mance Raider or uh, Torment Giant Spain or someone like that as your general previously. But. They recently added in Mag the Mighty. Yay! A giant character. So now you can have a giant leading your army, and he gets mm -hmm. an entire new deck of cards to make that's all about giants. Mm -hmm. And so it just really promotes the idea of you have a lot of giants in your force. Right. Um, Any game where you can play an army of giants is a pretty good one. It's always going to be fun. <laughs> um, and so super, super excited. Um, um, I don't know how I'm going to handle that. It should be interesting to see if I can actually kill a couple of them because oh my giants in this game are very tough they're very tough um until they're not because there are some things that just yeah. fucking evaporate them yeah and it's actually one of my only criticisms about the rules in this game almost everything works perfectly except in my opinion the giant's health mechanic is kind of fucked um because um. what they do is when you hit them and they fail their saves you then halve the amount of damage you've done and they take that many wounds. So if I, but it's rounded down. So if I do five wounds to you, you actually only take two wounds. Yeah. And they have six? Yeah, they've got six. So that's annoying. But the thing where it gets really lame is when you heal, you heal full rate. So if you play a card that heals three wounds, really, you've healed like eight wounds. Yeah. Um, or, but the other, the flip side is also true. If there's anything that does automatic wounds, if you've got like a special weapon that just ignores armor saves and you, does d6 wounds, that doesn't get halved either. No. So suddenly certain characters like the mountain. The mountain is fantastic. He just fucking throttles giants because he, uh, he, he just does like d6 wounds and the giant's just like, uh, <laughs> um, immediately. Really bad. So I hate that big swing both ways, the giga heal and the, the, the insta death. Yeah. It's kind of lame. Just give them twice as many wounds, then it solves the problem. I guess they just wanted to make them a little different, because otherwise it's basically just another unit. Yeah, that's true. Um, and so they had to do something a bit like fruity with it, just to make them feel... Feel different. Um, but yeah, so excited to do more of this. Um, yeah. As, uh, yeah. I started painting my uh, Night's Watch. To fight oh, really? The boys. Do you have any pictures? No, they're not finished yet. Um, but I got some, some dry brushing done. I started getting done all the silver. So I'm just going to do the skin and the bases. Ooh. And I'm thinking, for the first time ever, I've done snow bases before, but I've never done like full snow. Mm -hmm. I've always done like normal bases with a bit of snow on it. Yeah. But I was thinking for these guys, because they're all north of the wall, um, like just all snow. I'm not sure how yet. But like the sand I've already put down, I was thinking about basically painting it blue and then white rather than like normal ground with snow on top mm. but that's hard to pull off because snow doesn't obviously have much shading or depth to it yeah yeah that's a tough one mm. I'm not sure we shall see I'll have to do a test see if yeah. it works yeah try it out um, well, a bit like that I guess but without the blue crystals the bottom right of that picture of that oh. one that's um crestor yeah he can be a friend he can to both you can take him as free folk or night's watch which is cool <laughs> yeah. i really like that as um uh like a weird thing because generally the free folk they can't take any that you get like sort of uh, neutral units that any mm. army can take mm -hmm. um but the free folk can't take any of that stuff um and both armies being able to take crestor um very cool yeah, that's a nice touch. Uh, weirdly, he's friends of the giants as well. Works very, <laughs> very well with them. To be honest, if the giants turned up to my house in the wilderness, I'd be their friends too. 
Yeah, you kind of got to be. <laughs> yeah, because, like, what are his 14, like, underage wives going to do much against the Giants? Nope. Wave assault. <laughs> right. Who knows? Maybe yeah. we win. Send all your baby boys out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he took someone. I don't know. Oof. I want to the, the White Walkers protect Craster because he gives them babies. Yeah, this, I think that's like the vague like hint that, Maybe well, they ignore own. him because he gives them like fresh babies mm. and they're doing something with those, turning yeah. them into like special White Walkers. Yeah, it's never really explained how that works, is it? I think. I think that's something like it. Mm. If only they'd had more time. If only. God, I'm not getting into this, this <laughs> conversation again. <laughs> we had it, had it again at the pub the other day. I was oh, like, wow. We spent like literally years talking about the same thing. Like, I can't, <laughs> I can't talk about the end of Game of Thrones anymore. No. Um, no. I'm going to have to try and pretend it didn't happen and move on with my life. Yeah. So I've actually gone back. I've started watching season one again while I'm painting my... Um, Night's Watch, because I want to oh, like, have a look cool. at the uniforms and yeah, yeah. see what they look like. And man, season one's pretty good. Yeah, it holds up really well. Like, is fantastic television. Mm. Um, it's refreshing. Still holds up. The budgets were lower than I remembered, though. Everything does look a bit... Like, the later seasons, obviously, they had a lot more money. Yeah. It. it really shows, because the first season's got, like, I don't know, the props and the sets and everything don't look quite as good. Season one's over 10 years old. Oh, wow. my God. Wow, yeah, I guess, like, if it was coming out once a year and they did eight seasons. Yeah, that makes sense. Oof. Oof. Sad times. Oh, man. Should we read some of the um, lovely donations people have sent in? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, uh, we have a $5 donation from Vichwenor. Oh, thank that's you. How that's pronounced now. The kind of. They say, Charm and Ben! Last week, my bloodless died. Uh, as yes. I wish. Something happened. Hello. Do you hear us? Uh, we're back. We're back. No, we're well, not, no, though. Not. You can't see oh. us. Can you? Do you hear us? Do Hello? Oh, they do. We did it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we're back. Boom, we got him. <laughs> that was spooky. Uh, yeah, they uh, died as they wished they could live, surrounded by muscle-bound, sweaty bondage men wearing a lot of leather. Ooh, what a way to go. Uh, let's hope this week's death is more exhilarating. Uh, if you had to become a Warhammer unit, what would you become? Uh, Snotlings. Huh? Snotlings. Ooh. I'm having a good time. Tell them Do you get up. to, like, weirdly hive mind a little blob of like no i'm the um i'm wings. the guy on the top of the pump wagon who points out where to go oh that's fun that's a fun guy whether we go that way or not i i have no idea doesn't matter, <laughs> doesn't matter. you're doing your best <laughs> yeah. um i think uh night goblin fanatic oh wow you're gonna burn briefly but brightly mm -hmm. <laughs> right. uh yeah that's my dream um hopefully don't wang into a piece of terrain but how many cows nights are you gonna kill well, that's the dream, because you <laughs> yeah. could kill six chosen Chaos Knights on the charge. <laughs> yeah. It's like a 300-point unit, 300-plus-point unit. Yeah, you've um, just done a 10-up trade. Uh, fantastic. What's probably more likely is I kill, like, three Night Goblins, and then Ooh. I um, roll a double or go into yeah. a drain. Or, or, or maybe you get baited by a Great Eagle and do one wound to it. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like... They just know you can't resist an eagle, Tom. Uh, just, I just fucking hate eagles! <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, just got to go in. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, that that's what I want to be. It's a good choice. Uh, Vidask donates five bucks as well. Thank you, Vidask. Say, jump me up! I hope the demon is extra sexily for when he inevitably lays his slimy hands on my unit. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's kind of more of um, a big uh, muty pus boy than... Um, He's going, although he was going a little bit cornate towards the end. He was, but we were also leaning towards some blue. He was like being pulled in a lot of directions. Yeah, but less Slanesh mm. than the others. Well, Slanesh didn't have any of the good spells. Sad times, Slanesh. Uh, black Sheep, I think it's 15 bucks. Thank you, Black Sheep. They say, Tom and Ben, fun fact. 
Actually, just a fact. Snozberries from Willy Wonka made another appearance in the 1979 novel My Uncle Oswald by the same author, when it is definitely talking about the head of a pernus. <laughs> the Snozberries taste like Snozberries. Wah. What? What? My Uncle Oswald. By, what, was that by Google Roald Dahl as well? Roald Dahl. Is this a euphemism? Did your Uncle Oswald have secret times with you? Oh, no. It's a Roald Dahl book. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, uh, what? When Uncle Oswald discovers the sexually invigorating properties of the Sudanese blister beetle... Devises a plan to steal the semen of great men and sell it to women who want to have children fathered by geniuses. What the fuck, <laughs> Roald Dahl? What the fuck, Roald Dahl? They never turned this one into like a hit kids movie, I did they? I never had this in my school. What a fucking premise. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. And what, smells berries taste like dick is what they were saying. Is that right? Oh my god, Roald Dahl after dark. What the hell, Roald Dahl? <laughs> Jeez, wow. You do not hear about this book very often. <laughs> no, but look, it's got so many royals in it. It's got Gustav, King Gustav. Wow. Like the, the the monarchs of all these countries are just getting the getting the jizz on, apparently. Wow. Yeah, but you surely don't want to steal. Oh, no, okay, right. But they've got, like, boom, composer, physicists, novelists, writers, sure. Okay. Good. Probably selling this, this mm. cup to these people. Right, because yeah, they need to, like, thicken their gene pool a bit. Yeah, they've got to broaden that, <laughs> that thing around. They've got to take it out of just being alive. It's very stagnant. Um, yeah, that is one way to describe the pool uh, in most royal families. Um, oh, my God, look, Pablo Picasso... In fact, Oswald and his accomplice were unsuccessful here. Um, Picasso <laughs> pounces on the accomplice before she has a chance to use a condom to collect his semen. What, what a fucking line. Did, was Roald Dahl ever like knighted or anything like that? I'm just saying, should we try to cancel Roald Dahl? <laughs> That's all. Wow. Did he become... I feel like, God, you could have told me that he was knighted, and I fully believe you. Yeah, he feels like someone who would have been. Oh, no. Criticisms. Anti-Semitism. Oh, Other no. racism. Oh, misogyny. no. I think he's already been cancelled. We're too late, Tom. Oh, roll dial. That's, those aren't good headings to have on your Wikipedia page. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Mm. It was a different time, for sure. It was a racist time. Doesn't matter if he was, you lose your knighthood as soon as you pass away. Is that true? Is that true? Do you not take it to your grave? They prize it out of your cold, dead hands? What do you even get? Like, a badge? A sword? Uh, they tap you with a sword. Yeah. And then... Then you get, like, a Blue Peter badge. Yeah. That gets you, you're allowed to go into stately homes. <laughs> right, you get to go to all National Trust homes <laughs> yeah, for free. Yeah, yeah, things like that. Right, and there's somewhere, there's a suit of armor you're allowed to put on and they can't stop you. But <laughs> okay. you have to find it. Wow! <laughs> the great hunt begins! <laughs> yeah. um. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, yeah. It's a bit like the BFG. He was steal BFG went and snuck into people's rooms and stole their dreams. Mm-hmm. This guy climbs into your rooms and steals your seed. Okay. The, the original gene stealer, if you will. The original gene stealer. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. That just. This could have been a law hammer or your hammer. Oh God! Yeah. If you told me <laughs> um, that Roald Dahl wrote. Seaman stealing racy adult novels. I, I don't think I would have believed it. No, not at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, well, I love that. Uh, thank you, Black Sheep. Very uh, handy. Uh, surprised. I'm just surprised. Nothing wrong with it. Just surprising. Uh, McAdam. Uh, Donate seven bucks. He's McAdam. 
St. Tom and Ben, it's been so excited. Uh, been so excited for this campaign. I uh, look forward to it ever since that portal opened in the post credits of Total War 1. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, It's me, Blocko! <laughs> I don't know if your Broster's missing some skeleton warriors. It is. It's very sadly. I liked it when Blorko appeared at the end. Blorko is my favorite part of all movies. How are we doing? I always wait to the end to see Blorko. Yeah, he's always there. Always turns up somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That Blorko. Can't stop him. <laughs> okay, we're nearly there. The, re the reinstall is happening. Slowly but surely. It'll be a thing. Uh, symbolic Stance needs five bucks. Needs Symbolic Stance. Say, Tom, Ben, after enjoying retreat from Moscow while repairing a lovely French uh, campaign clock, mm. I was wondering what the next book for Tom's Napoleonic Book Club is preferably something that pairs well with a 1698 English fusee dial clock. Oh, right. What's the perfect wine for a 1698 English fusee dial clock? Oh, my God. Hopefully something interesting. <laughs> something really fucking interesting. It's got to be really interesting. Can I recommend you a book written by world famous, world famous <laughs> children's yes. authors, Roald Dahl? Yeah, you may be familiar with uh, <laughs> the author Roald Dahl. Uh, it's called something, what is it? Something, something, Steve Cum Stealer. Steal, <laughs> steal my cum by Roald Dahl. Uh, that, read that book and get back to us. It has that famous line where Pablo Picasso yells, Stop trying to steal my gist. Stop stealing my cum. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and the lady has to escape. The, what was it? The Sumatran blister beetle. <laughs> yeah. Makes you cum. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. What other good Napoleonic books, though, could you recommend? You like the um, Hornblower-y Boat Boy? Hornblower was good. Um, Sharp is always good. Sharp. Um, Classic. What's that fucking one? Um, there was a, another naval book that I think people had recommended a lot. And I started reading it, and oh, fuck me, it was boring. Ooh. Like, really didn't get into it. Like, everything that you thought would happen just did. Like, it was the most just by numbers fucking book. Oh, jeez. Uh, not Master and Commander. <laughs> um, no, something else. I just couldn't get into it. But no, I, I'm thinking of reading the Temeraire, N Napoleon oh, yeah. and Dragons. Dragon Combine. Yeah, that sounds fucking wild. It seems just ridiculous. Um, Man, I've read a just the worst book the other day yeah um and i'm sorry if you love it that's fine you can love it and i can hate it and then it's not a problem what was, um, it? was it the bible do you hate that uh apprentice uh part of the this. rift war saga you've heard of this and i was recommended it and i wanted to read something different so i didn't look it up i didn't read anything about it I just went, fine, I'm just going to read it, because people say it's good. And, oh my God, speaking of by the numbers, it is the most generic by the numbers fantasy was it, book. When was it written? Uh, I don't even know, actually. It had one really cool premise that just never even, oh wow, 1982. Holy shit. It's because I, I listened to it on Audible, so I, I just, I went in blind thinking, I'll right. enjoy this more if I know nothing about it. Um, and I didn't. So um, I, I just don't recommend this. It's, it's got this really cool idea of like, um, there's alternate dimensions and there's a, there's a, uh, like another world where they've found a way to come to this world where come. these guys live. They come, they're coming, Tom. Is this what the Weather Roll Dahl book <laughs> is set? So the idea is like they can travel, they're going to, They've been scouting out this world for months and they're going to invade, like steal their resources and just like dimension hop for colonialism. Okay. Um, and these guys find out at the last minute and they've got to try and warn everyone before like the alien invaders turn up. And I was like, that's kind of cool. Like an alien invasion, but in a fantasy setting, that's an interesting premise. But it never happens like until the very, very end. And the rest of it is just 
We went through the mines and we met the dwarves. And then there was a dragon. And, and we went to the woods and we met the elves. <laughs> <Bam>. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I guess it's probably partly... I didn't realise it was this old until we just looked. So that's probably a big part of it. Gross. Old stuff sucks. Well, no, just that... You it's know. lame. I want new things. But it was new once upon a time, and maybe those things weren't incredibly tropey yeah. like 30 years ago. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. think I'll read it. But don't, don't read it. You'll hate it. You'll hate it so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to see it. No. And the main character is called Pug. Pug, that's fun. Which is, I don't know, I just found it distracting because I had to like fight off the urge to replace his face with a pug face. That's the cute. whole time. That's fun. That's every, fun. Like, uh, every time he fucks up, it's just like, mm, pug. Like, did you ever see the um, uh, Dungeons and. That's the wrong, that's the wrong thing. Wait, which one? You're on the wrong keyboard. I'm on, I've got too many keyboards. This keyboard, don't even type. What do you want? I'll type it. The Dungeons and Doggos. Uh, oh, yeah, those are cute. And there's like a pug. There's a pug in that. Um, what, which class is the pug? Wizard? No, the good boy's the wizard. <laughs> um, take, take the moose. I can't remember. Uh, okay, they've done like... I swear, the, like, is there not a pug? There oh, must like, be. Aren't they super cute? I feel like, yeah, the St. Bernard should be the healer, right? Like a cleric. Cleric, perfect. Because like, he's a saint, and he carries the, the, the potion. He's got the little, the little thing, <laughs> the little <laughs> flask. Uh, well, maybe there isn't a pug. There must be. There's a beagle. Is there a pug? Uh, I don't think there is. Oh, my God. I swear there was. They probably did more than one set. Yeah, I think they, like, because I think they did this as a Kickstarter. Right. And made literally a hundred billion pounds. Yeah. Uh, it's a genius idea. Because then they did, like, a Cats, cats one, and yeah. they've done, like, multiple sets. And Cat breeds are not quite as recognizable, though, are they? No, like, because most of them look just exactly the fucking same. Um, I do like the, like, two hours a... <laughs> as the ninja. <laughs> Although, I guess, like, you could have, like, a Chihuahua as, like, a Berserker, and that'd be funny as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, super cute. Really, really fun. What a load of good dogs. Box 2 has the pug. Ooh. Uh, box 2. This one? Oh, there's, there's not many good pictures of them, is there? A cavalier has a Cavalier's hat. Oh, that's fun. Um, oh, I can't this, tell which one of these is meant to be a pug. French Bulldog, Corgi Warlock, German Shepherd Druid, Husky Paladin. I don't think there is a pug. If that's box two, volume two. No, no none pug. of those are a pug. We were what lied to. Of the French Bulldog. We were lied to. You bastards. Do look a bit like pugs, I guess. Yeah. I say vaults. Mm. Uh, today's five bucks. Thank you, vaults. I say Ben and Tom. Happy Warhammer the Third. Thank you. Uh, I like that. It's um, it's the magic number after all. Best things come in it. Ooh. A uh, uh, bit of a late meme, but I painted an orb pondering wizard with a starry cloak. Apologies, no base yet. Then why why are you showing? It's me? not even finished. Why are you showing me if there's no fucking base? Oh. That's a oh, cool cloak, though. You've um, got some OSL. Let me send a link out to all the peoples. All the vodka bows. Yeah, that's a cool cloak. I like the constellations. She's looking great, man. Like, doing the inside and outside different colors. Constellations mm. look cool. I really like that um, plastic wizard set. You can do so much with it. There's so, many, so much variation. It's a really cool, really cool set. This guy looks great. Just paint your base. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You spent hours on the model. Just yeah. take another 10 minutes to finish the you fucking like, base. I like to cloak up nicely. You've got a load of detail in there. You've done glowies. And then I'll put a snow base. Yeah. 
lazy. It's like, you know, you've got your top, you've, you've put on your tuxedo jacket and your shirt and your tie, and you've done your cufflinks and you put on your cologne. You haven't put any fucking pants on. Yeah, just fucking dicks out. <laughs> and you just stood there at the fucking... Like, well, I dressed up all of this bit. I've done my hair nicely <laughs> yeah. and like, you know. And there you are on your wedding day, just swinging dick. What the heck? What do you think this is? Not a okay. Roald Dahl novel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Famous smut peddler dial. <laughs> Famous smut peddler roll dial. <laughs> uh, it's a chrome, and it's 10 bucks. Thank you, chrome. It's a magic books, Tom and Ben. Uh, if you had to make a Tom and Ben uh, Warhammer themed cursed slash tome slash book, mm-hmm. what would it look like? Um, how would you open it? What would be inside? So you know like how the Necronomicon has like the spooky scary face on the outside? Yeah. I'd like it if our faces were on the inside. So when you closed it, we kiss. <laughs> Is there a hole through all the pages in the middle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where our tongues can, can yeah, yeah. fiddle when the book's yeah. shut. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> nice. That's perfect. Um, okay. Yeah, spooky, spooky leather face mm-hmm. on the inside. Also, I think it needs to be a flick book. Maybe a flick book that tells the future. Ooh, that's so you're fun. like, wow, what great tome! Show me what will come to pass. And it's just like, you flick the corner of the book, and it shows like a little stick figure animation. Nice. I mean, that. Um, that. But it always monkeys paws you. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a whole load of monkeys paw. Yeah. Every time. Generally revolving around like poo poo. <laughs> yeah, you usually end up shitting your pants. <laughs> That's generally <laughs> generally what's going on. And we just both sat there in the book going <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and like the 15th guy to do it comes along and goes Oh, tell me the f- what do I need to do to become rich? And we show him in the animation, and they're like, "But beware, there's a deadly price." <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's um, like, "What? Am I going to shit myself?" <laughs> and we just go, "No." no. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm in. Okay, that's it. Perfect. We made it. Zander <laughs> uh, Britain thinks three bucks. He's under. They say Thomas Kambenisk. Hello. How are you both doing? Long time no watch. Uh, I hope you're both well. Uh, shit's cold out. Hope everyone's keeping nice and warm. Thank you for you guys being a solid fifteen out of fifteen yog stars. Oh wow! Thank, Thank you, Zander Britain. It is cold out. I bet it's too cold for him to dig with his trowel. Oh, God, yeah. Frozen earth. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because it means that you get to, like, stay on the job longer. It takes longer to dig. Then dig to dig. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we've already established, you know, mm. that's better for the, the history because it's getting Brilliant. older. It's getting older. The longer you leave it, the better it is. The better the history. <laughs> yeah. Because um, really. then you get to add a little line at the end about how you were there for six months. Boom. That's just more, more lines. Just sounds, sounds amazing. You are paid by the line, right? In the book that you write? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So there's, a, there's a big books. Mm. Uh, oh, then it falls out, and then it's a swamp. Well, that's fun. You can pretend you're Shrek. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want to do that while at work? Perfect. Get out of my swamp. Beautiful. That was perfect, wasn't it? It was great. I bet you thought Mike Myers himself. Yeah, I was like, what? Was Mike Myers, what are you doing here? And it was amazing. Uh, Simblock Stance thinks five bucks. He's Simblock Stance. They say, also, in modeling news, I converted a bunch of Arbites with riot shields mm-hmm. to use as brood brother crusaders for my Gene Steeler cults with the new rules. Any suggestions as what I can use them as? Yeah. Um, I'm hoping they get the unaligned keyword in the next guard codex. That's something I actually feel really bad about. Yeah. They've just r- taken... A whole it. load of shit. Can't, use, can't use them anymore. There's loads of stuff people can't... Used to yeah. be able to use in Gene Stealer Cults, so and now they can't. Uh, you know that big drill they used to have? Yeah. It's gone. If you spent 60 quid on that big drill, fuck you. It doesn't exist anymore. You've converted up some grins. Get fucked. You can't use them anymore. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, what else could you count them as? Um, right shield guys. Metamorphs. Yeah, I guess. Metamorphs. You have to rebase them. But yeah, 
probably because there basically are no other melee units in the guard book that are even remotely close. Metamorph. <laughs> That's my best guess. Can you shoehorn an Inquisitor in? Because he's unaligned and can join Imperial armies. If you have a Broodbrother detachment. Oh, uh, I don't know. Do they count as like Inquisitor's retinue? Maybe. I, don't know. I haven't read the rules on how they work. It's um, a cumbersome way. Mm. Fuck it. Like, if you're playing with friends, just fucking stick them in. I honestly wouldn't care that much. Yeah. Because I assure you that will not upset the balance. No. If anything, <laughs> I think they'll probably be pretty shit. And <laughs> yeah. no one's going to super complain. Um, I think. Uh, power call. Uh, I think it's five bucks. See, power call. There's a Nurgling Wrangler Tom and Blorko Butt Scrubber Ben. Ooh. I'd say uh, thanks uh, for telling me about the Jingle Jam Game Jam. Mm. It was a lot of fun getting to make an immortal tribute to Toddy himself. As big he was, 10 out of 10 with Pastor's Bread again. Very good. Participating. Game Jam's always awesome. Yeah. Um, I wish I could make games because then I'd, I'd do it too. We could make a game. Hmm. What would it be? Um, oh, God. Well, it's going to be pretty basic. Uh, Doomborn Adventures. Doomborn Adventures. It's on theme, because what we do is we never put... We don't have to program an end or anything, right? Yeah. Um, we just make it... It gets harder and harder and harder until you die, because that's the Doomborn way. Here you go. Look, we'll make it now. There's... <laughs> there's a Doomborn. It's like a maze, Ben. You gotta. Can you work out how to make it through the maze? Ooh! Uh, don't look at this bit because you'll get clues on how <laughs> how, how it goes. Yeah, uh, Tom, you have thirty seconds to make a maze that takes four minutes to complete. Uh, it's like Inception. Oh yeah. Your oh. Ellen Page. But you've got to actually like physically draw the line, right? <laughs> yeah, without touching the walls. Without touching any of my walls. <laughs> I'm Leonardo DiCaprio. Perfect. Great. <laughs> and there's like a cool like, fire over here. Maybe that's like, it's like a skull. Great. There, that's the game. Made it. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay. And and people just... say they need like 48 hours to solve one of the, to make one of these games. And I have to lead Blido Doomborn to his face. Oh, wait. Face, let me just change right? the uh, color. There you go. You've got... Oh, and yeah, he's got to go home uh, to the Doom Keep. Oh, perfect. Diom. 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 Cool. Okay. Okay, cool. You, uh... um, well, Blindo Doomborn walks into the maze and immediately takes a wrong turn. Oh, no. Blindo. Blindo. And uh, he's like, he's smelling his stank horse over here somewhere. Oh, Blindo. It's an ambush. Oh, no. He's been ambushed. But a vision from Zinch. <gasps> oh, he did. He did he, like he, to use those. He avoids the ambush and walks straight into the fire and explodes. <laughs> Sadly, Joy. it's a roguelike, and you, you only get to play it once. <gasps> Respawn. What? <laughs> what? Or does the game self-destruct? The game self-destructs. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. You've got to make a new game now. New game. Two and a half thousand people watching this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I guess because we promised them that we'd play Warhammer 3. Okay, Warhammer 3 update check. You only have to watch this fucking nonsense for a few more minutes. We're <laughs> 79% of the way there. Uh, yeah. So the reason that we're doing this is because the game was uh, had to update. And <laughs> like, I came in earlier and checked it and it was fine. Well, you know, they've got that big content embargo drops tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So they're updating now. <laughs> they're updating oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah, now. That makes sense. <laughs> that probably makes sense. Uh... <laughs> Okay. okay. Um, well, yeah. Um, I think we might have to go on a break shortly. Oh, God, yeah. It's actually past our break time, Tom. My um, mom's going to shout at us. And so uh, we'll take a quick break and then should be, hopefully, um, be updated. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll be back in sort of like five, five, ten minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be going through your uh, very generous donations. We'll be. I don't know. Maybe we'll make Doomborn Adventures 2. <gasps> Who knows? I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like it's a classic. That was lightning in a bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't do it again. I don't want it, like, us to kind of, like, lose our high. 
I don't. Mm. I don't want to publish Doomborn Adventures two and it be like a fucking cyberpunk twenty seventy seven because people will be yeah. so hyped for it. That's true. There's never... be too much hype. I don't think we can ever meet the hype that has been built up. Yeah, especially like when we promise like you know mm -hmm. fully interactive centaur sex scenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have stopped making those promises. <laughs> <laughs> Just you really Todd Howard in it. <laughs> Fuck. Um, feels bad. Maybe we'll just make a weird like VR spin-off that no one else gets to play. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah. Instead yeah, yeah, of yeah. making the, the long-awaited sequel. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we will be back in five, five, five. Five, five, five minutes or so. Ben. Ben, 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 Ben. Tom, 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 Tom. So. Is that not it? I thought you were doing the um, 2001 Space Odyssey. No, that'd be like, Ben, 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 Tom Tom. Perfect. That's one that we can add to our <laughs> repertoire now. Um, as uh, generally, we kind of just go through the same. Same three or four. Same couple. You used to do a different one every week, Tom, back in the day. I started running out of ideas. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? I started not getting them. That was the problem. <laughs> I think that was the problem. They had to go a bit more, bit off piste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to keep it mainstream, just to keep you, uh, keep you in the game. Um, I'm a dum dum. Also, I don't think either of us are super music music man. I'm not a music man. Um, you don't come from down my way. Don't come from down your way. And I can't play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What can't you play? <laughs> what can't you play? Fucking everything. <laughs> Except for Warhammer. Yeah. Uh, it downloaded. It did it. It did. We've done it. We've done a Warhammer. Warhammer. Are you ready for more war? Total war. Oh, I am. Amazing. Let's get our last two turns in. <laughs> yeah, do you want to get our last two turns? Uh... I do. I do want to do our last two turns. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Re welcome back to the adventures of Blorco. Blorco. Everyone loves Blorco. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the last two turns. See how many uh, how many battles. Silver fifty turn limit. Yes, we do. I want to find Toddy. We just burnt down the territory north of Toddy. Maybe in two turns we can get in. Fuck him up. Gonna kill, gonna kill the middle end. Yeah, we're gonna go pay the Toddy tax. I'm into that. Give him a fistful of golden Toddies. Yeah, if I can find him and uh, just give him the old shank. For shame. For shame, Toddy. Yes. Uh, so we do still have some uh, more very gentle <gasps> notes in. Read them. Uh, like one from Alex Winning. Hello. Oh, donates 20 bucks. Ooh, so very generous. Thank you. I say, hi, Tom and Ben. I'm running a Warhammer fantasy game for the Lonely Yogs Discord server. And since I don't know much about the world, most of my info comes from you guys. I figured I should consult the Drew Lawmasters for help. Mm. Can I have the essentials? Wow. Okay, so just all of Warhammer lore boiled down. Whew. I feel like you've been around long enough, Alex Winning. You must have picked up, you know... The vibe. Yeah. Berry milk, centaurs. Mm -hmm. um, There's a lot of centaur lo sex. Yeah. Balthazar Gelt. He's the most powerful being <laughs> ever. Um, and um, how it is. Better than you think. How it is. Better than you think. Watch out. Because <laughs> yeah. people will underestimate them, but actually very strong. Well, um, let's start at the beginning. Let's start with Kragnos. Well, so it all begins with... Kragnos. So the world was formed when Kragnos fought Kremlo. <laughs> yes. Uh, as they dueled, like, you know. Were they once good friends and one betrayed the other? Oh. Surely there's enough rich lore in there of both of them that <laughs> uh, that was probably a thing. Yeah. Um, Kremlo came from space. And there's also Kragnos. you got to watch out for him. Yep. Arch nemesis of Kragnos. Yeah. Kre I, th I think there's probably going to be a, a bit where. Kragnos and Kremlo have to join together to fight Krabnos. Yes. When you when you, it's like the third movie in the uh, <laughs> the series. We just got to find another reason for them to get together again. Yeah, <laughs> you got to keep bringing them back. <laughs> okay. um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. 
Uh, so I think so we've kind of got the basis covered. covered. It, yeah, so I think Kragnos wanted to fuck, and so he stamped on all the dragon eggs. That is it. That is literally his law. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. God, there's only like literally a paragraph of fucking Kragnos law. <laughs> I've already forgotten most of it. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. He needed to get find his crossy. Oh. Um. Right. Let me. Let me. Let's have a little refresh. Where are we at? Here's Blorko. Demon prince. Okay. He's a demon prince. Blorko ain't moving too far. Blorko's a bit of a pink boy right now. Pink and blue. Okay. He's got his fun wings. He's got his hat that lets him cast purple sun. <laughs> That's the only bit you care about. He's got his fun, uh, fun tail. He's got more heads available now. Yeah, he but do they have purple sun? Because if they don't, I, I honestly don't care. Well, they might have better spells like Zinch's Firestorm or... No, that's too random. Transmutation of Lead. Spathazar Gelt's move. It's, it's a fun it's fun power, but I don't care. Phantasmagoria. Is that a sexy spell? Probably. Transfixing the enemy with a shifting array of hallucinatory images that disjoint and befuddle. I don't really want to be befuddled during like <laughs> sexy time. <laughs> No, that's not that's not erotic. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah, it's just suck them into a purple sun. Then I think. Mm -hmm. All right, keeping the keeping this purple sun head. All right, I think we're gonna. I'm gonna do a complete review of his okay. body. While you while you click through the one hundred thousand options. Yes. You do a bit of clicking around and then explain Ooh. to me at the end, because then I can do a little bit more reading. Like uh, this generous they know from Bean Paste Boy. Bean Paste. Who says, Tom Foolery and Benevolence. Uh, this gobbo has finally managed to catch you live. Uh, P.S. You should never have introduced the pile to berry milk. Uh, we didn't. Find... That wasn't us. Oh, God. <laughs> it wasn't us. Don't blame us. We were just like in the vicinity. We, we were as traumatized by it as you. Someone yeah. sent it in. It's not our fault. Uh... Say, if you find a suspiciously reddish pearl floating to the top of the pile, you only have yourselves to blame. Praise Blorko. It is not our fault. No, you did this. Not our fault. Praise Blorko. Uh, Freaking Algerian donates, and they say, uh, Hi, guys. Here's a donation for Tom and Ben's DP fund. Oh, no. What was... The, the Demon Prince. Demon Prince. That's right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so what everyone's here for to watch the DP review? No, we can't have that on the branding. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. It stands for Demon Prince. It always has done. Every time I write my army lists, I'm putting in my HQ slot, my DP. Oh no, not not D DP with wings. <laughs> <laughs> Winged DP. Um, my previous nuggling incantation died to save the Chaos Nation. At least they died happy. Also, if Nightjar's around, can uh, can you for guiding me to Encanto? Bruno is too catchy, no, no. What? I do not understand. I'm guessing it's some kind of like erotic internal joke. Oh. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, when I, when I, <laughs> what, how do you even say that? Uh, Wanoi. That's what I said, and you laughed but <laughs> until you saw how it was spelled. <laughs> yeah. And that's I just how. thought you were making weird noises, like you were in Kung Pao. <laughs> uh, I wish, I wish, but no, that's their name. You would have been amazing in Kung Pao. God, I'd love that. Kung Pao. I really liked when it came out. I loved it when it came out, but like, oh man, I think it's like, like. Maybe still even like seven or eight years ago, mm -hmm. I sat down to watch it with a friend, and like halfway through, oh, like no. they were just in silence, and I was like, "Oh god, this does not hold up. <laughs> this is not as funny as I remember." Well, you're not even enjoying it anymore. Like there are oh. some lines in it that do crack me up, but the rest of it, yeah, was just like, oh, it's a lot slower and a lot less funny than I remember. I hate that. I've done that before, where I've like. Been like, oh, you've got to watch this. It's so funny. And then we sat there, and it's been like, I'm like, oh no, I've not watched this for ten years, and oh, it's not funny. And now they think I, I like a stupid thing. <laughs> now they think I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's really cringy. That's a lot of nuts. Oh, that's the best that's part still, of the film. That's still a great line. <laughs> yeah. We trade him wrong. 
as a joke like that. that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's very stupid that film. There are there's some good things. The movie's called Kung Pao. Um, Enter the Fist. Enter the Fist. It was great. It was great. I don't know. I think maybe like you know if you're if you're drunk with friends. You could watch it again, and it would be funny. I think being being drunk or just being in a really silly mood mm -hmm. is probably what you need. I think that would help. So dumb. This like the jokes are really dumb, but so are we. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's a great line. Yes, yes. Play me like a drum. God, like I used to quote that all the time. Love that line. Uh, that's really good. Um, so Wanoi is how your name is being pronounced. Um, say, uh, hey, Bon and Ten. Long time Bon over here. Just wanted to donate, say thanks for all the laughs your videos and streams bring me. You taught me everything I know about Warhammer lore. So, uh, I am now 100% Warhammer Law expert. Kremlo mm. came from space. Ah! He did. Kremlo did come from space. Praise Kremlo. Praise Kremlo. Oh, wow. You're getting those of Ooh, achieving man. it up. Great, Steed. I'm a rising power. Good job. Oh, wow. Uh, I think maybe they just added cheese to the game, and now the game's going back and going, hang on, what did they do over the last few turns? What did they do? <laughs> Here, have some cheese. <laughs> of all the cheese. Uh, Counts by the Dave thinks 15 bucks. Thank you, by the Dave. Cute. They say, Been there and Tom that. Nice. Uh, hope you lovely gents are doing well. A few weeks ago, you wondered who would buy that box of old Dark Eldar and Space Marines. I got mine in the mail yesterday. Why? I think the whole new range of Dark Eldar is trash. Really? Out, of mod out of print models for the win. Wow. Fair enough. I'm just. Surprised. I think you're wrong. Because I don't think the new models are just They're so good, aren't just they? Just <laughs> better. But I do think those old models are hilariously shit that I think it is fun. I like the big hair one. The one with the that big swoosh back hair. <laughs> yeah. God, that is such an awful, so awful bad. model. But they're kind of hilarious. I mean, you can't be wrong with just a subjective opinion, obviously. But no, you can be wrong. Fuck me. Look at that guy at the back. That big hair. God, it looks awful. It looks so shit. <laughs> but these guys are kind of jokes. Like, they look so ridiculous. They're real goofy. Also, I'm not sure if you've had the joy of it yet, but a lot of the spiky bits on them, you've got to stick on separately. Oh, yeah. And... Um, do you want things that are going to snap off? Oh, those like painted like that. They actually look. Yeah, that's a nice paint job. They actually look but, all like, right. These ones are just better. They because they're really really similar, just finer detail. Yeah, and sharper more as well. Detail. And then sort of slightly less dumb poses. Oh well. I mean, they don't have that guy in the back, do they? That big, stupid fucking haircut. I always loved it when people put all of those on their jet bikes. Oh, yeah, because yeah, they looked insane. <laughs> yeah. They looked just They just zip it along with this big bouffant. <laughs> just being, like, swooshed back. Got car hair. Awful, awful, uh, <laughs> awful design. But you know what? If you like them when they make you happy, yeah. who am I to judge? God, Enjoy. There are, there are a lot of awful models that I just love. Um, so really into it. Uh, Zubal dude, uh, it's five bucks to Zubal dude, and say, catch the stream live for the first time in ages. Um, I present my soul for the service of Blorko. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Zubal dude. Thank you. Uh, so you want to show us what Blorko is doing now? Yeah, do you want to have a look at him? Yeah, what's his... He's gone a bit blue. Take me on an adventure. He, well, he was green, then he was suddenly going red, now mm. he's blue. So uh, here's Blorko at his finest. He's got the, um, the jingly bell head. That lets him cast Purple Sun. What's it called? Um, it's the Belled Horns. Okay, sure. Jingly Bellhead. <laughs> Honestly, not a million miles away. He's got the um, Avian Physique. Okay. Which gives him shields, like energy shields. Right. Um, which is pretty good. And lets him cast Wind of Change, which increases his mana recharge and miscast chance. Ooh. Decreases miscast chance. Um, and he can do Glean Magic, which generates more mana as well. Oh, that's cool. He's got the Mana Body. And some fucking abs. Wow. Um, he's the, got the birds really have 
ripped fucking abs like that? Yeah, they're doing this all the time. They got such a strong core, okay. you just can't see it under the feathers. Oh, that's that so makes sense. He, sh he manscapes his. I really want to show it off. Um, then we got the bird wings, the the aged wings, give him more um, energy barriers and spell mastery, whatever the fuck that does. It's like bird wings, to be honest. And also, I've tried to minimize how many different abilities he has. That's good. Because I feel like once you hit like three. Nothing else is getting used after no, this. No, no, it just 100% it won't be. Um, then for the arms, he's got the heavy armoured gauntlets on both arms. Okay. For real good thumping. That's nice, yeah. And for like arrow deflection and whatnot. Both of them just give him armour and melee attack. That's cool. Um, he's got bejeweled greaves. Ooh, bejeweled. Which give him these fancy claws. Oh wow, those are they look good for grabbing. They're good grabbing like you claws. Fly past and pick up a couple of sheep. Yeah. And he's got that lovely loincloth too. Oh, it's very tasteful. Hiding his junk. Um and he's got this like charge bonus thing. Well yeah, he probably would have a have a dick, wouldn't he? Yeah. Because he was a man. He was a man. And he, all his other man bits are still there. Unless now that he has bird wings, it's been replaced with a cloaca. Oh, maybe. Careful what you wish for. Shit. My name is Blorco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then lastly, he has a tail of many mouths, which has obviously got its pecking oh. beak, but it's also got these mouths. Oh, God, weird butt mouth. It's got butt mouth. It's got mid mouth. It's got end mouth. Oh, I feel like those mouths don't get as good eating as the, uh, <laughs> the end of the tail. No, not really. Or, as the food goes down, do each one get to like have a little mm. chew? Mm, 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 mm. I think maybe Big Mouth at the end treats the little mouths like baby birds. Oh, that's cute! Okay, I love them. it. I love it's that. Like, that's nice. It vomits into them. <laughs> <laughs> God, like... So, why not? It's a demon. Well, we've got a bird theme going, so I feel like we've got to keep it going. Mm -hmm. um, so this just passively does 8 to 15 damage to everyone within 10 meters. Oh, cool. It bites love that. That's fun. Um, and then lastly, he's got his uh, Colossal Mace for thumping. Makes him better against infantry and does shitloads of damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Is the Morning Star? No, the Mace is probably better. Just that more damage. More damage is more good. That's what yeah, I, I mean, I more, say. get more armor piercing with the... The morning star. But just flap. Oh, it does look cool. <laughs> it does oh, look pretty cool. That's the cool. kind of weapon that I'd want to use. <laughs> just the cannonball on a stick. <laughs> yeah. It just looks ridiculous. <laughs> like, um, what's his name? Bor Borgio the Besieger. Yeah. Like Who literally had a cannonball on a stick. Yeah. That's cool. Mm. Are you able to, like, unequip? Stuff in like totally. Can you have like a non-winged demon prince? No, you can strip him back to what he started with. Right. Okay. Like just the generico demon wings. Um, but you can't can't rip his wings off. That makes sense. Um, and that's it. That's our blocker right now. He's very blue. Um, and he's a good boy. He's bird themed. He's very bird themed. <laughs> he's got lots of um, barrier points. So you can do a lot of hit and run skirmishes. Ooh. And plenty of purple sun. There's one thing we could do. We have unlocked enough Nurgle parts to give him armaments of blight. So if we give him uh, Nurgle arms as well, then he gets this big Nurgle buff. Okay. But he doesn't really have any Nurgle units in his army yet. So yeah. I'm leave it for now. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Hmm. Boop. Right, so we are, are we, is that the end of our move? Yeah, Yeah, I guess like, because it saves up when you click end turn. Oh, that's true. Okay, so we're on the coast of Nordland here. Is there any chance that we can fight anyone? <laughs> Not this turn, we're out of movement. But like, next turn. Well, see, they said you can't show beyond turn 50, so I guess technically we have two turns of doing things. That's true, we can do turn 50. Um, well, we've got another army though, that can go off and hurt someone. Um, we've got Raver the Licker here with his <laughs> friend Suro. Okay. And a whole bunch of, of the demons. Goofy, goofy demon boys. Should we go. Oh, it's quite far away. We could sprint towards it and just try to get a battle going. Sure. 
Uh, oh, teleport. That doesn't let you go very far. We'll run. Yeah, the running is probably better. Oh, hello. Shit. I should have remembered that was that. That's a spooky it's army. It's a big old stack of furries. That's a lot of um, Marauder veterans and furries. Yeah, and we are marching and... Oh, look, we've got a, we've got a palaquin. Oh, that's awesome. Man, I really like Nurgle palaquins. Um, and now we're too far away and we can't retreat. Oh, I fucked it. <laughs> I fucked it right up, Tom. Ruh -roh. Um, Maybe we should build a fortification. Um, oh dear. It's worth just like recruiting some units somewhere. Get another lord or something in. <laughs> All right, what kind of lord do you want today? What have we got at the moment? We've got a Nurgle boy. Yeah, and we've got Blorko and that's it. Uh, well, who's the silliest, silliest sounding one? Because last time... Um, one of them had a bad hat. The, he gave up on the <laughs> corn guy with a bad hat, which okay. was really funny. <laughs> and was very sad that we didn't get the guy with a bad hat. We've got a corpulent man. Uh, uh, no one else is feeling very silly today. What's pinioned? Wow. Oh. Um, concatenator? What the fuck that means? I don't really know what that means. I don't really know what that means. Hmm. We haven't had a corn guy yet. Why not? Sure. Okay. It's his lords, yeah. Okay. I command victory for corn. Uh. Obey. Right. Uh, so, uh, Ladama. Uh, it takes three bucks. Thank you, Ladama. I say, Tom and Ben, uh, I've recently discovered an amazing Twitter account. Oh, yeah. Please check it out. Souls item. For some hilarious fake Dark Souls item descriptions. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. <laughs> um, oh no. I'm really upset that I fucked this up so bad. That uh, we just killed, killed everyone. Oh well, you wanted a battle. We got it. Decisive defeat. High casualties. <laughs> Maybe we can just kill some of their guys. Rest in peace. Um, I will check out that uh, Souls items uh, a little little later, as um, I've very much been enjoying. Uh, ooh, wow! They've got a reinforcement of like two dudes. <laughs> just a lord and a hero, I guess. Coming in from the side. <laughs> Uh, oh god, man! Skin wolves, berserkers, veterans. I don't think our. Oh fuck! I should have seduced one of their units. I forgot. It's a mechanic I'm just completely not used to. Can Braver the liquor seduce? I think so. Does he not need some some slash element to it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like this guy. I, sure, you look at that tongue and you're like, wow. Imagine what he could do with it. But I'm not. I don't think a lot of people are. Being drawn about those, by, um, those plump pink lips. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just that, that big, that big fucking tongue. Oh, uh, well, just stop deployment. He's real thick, Tom. Okay, all right. Where do I want to be? I want Spy Crabbo has donated. Spy Crabbo says, "Always on time, Tom, and fashionably late, Ben." It's been a while since I last donated, and I wanted to throw a little something your way. I look forward to the stream every week. Thanks so much for everything you do. Ah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Spy Crabbo. You keep spying. Keep on spying. Let us know how Aquaman is doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out for him. Uh, wasn't that like who they were fighting against, like the Crab Nation? I haven't seen it. Uh, me neither, but I did watch the just like that battle scene. <laughs> it okay. Is ridiculous. In a good way? Uh, uh, maybe. Oh yeah, we need to see the palanquin. Oh yeah, we'll do we'll do that. Don't worry. Um let's just have a nice weak center of pleb nerglings. We need to get 
a lot of fireballs thrown. Yeah, but I'm worried about skin wolves flanking. Yes, me too. Um, And the just, like, my surf around. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it's double deckered. He's double decker. That gives him suspension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it, how it works. <laughs> yeah. But every now and again, you go over like a bump and it's like a Nurgling pops up there. And you're like, mm. yeah. uh, do you have uh, audio, by the way? I yes, know. I do. Okay. Do you not? I do not. Okay, Sam, if you're still there, could you sort out Tom's audio? Okay, they are not coming to me, which honestly could be okay. Mm. Oh, they have... The stream has no sound either. Oh. That's bad. Okay. Definitely need to fix that. Oh, they do have sound. For fuck's sake, guys. <laughs> <sighs> Why does chat have to be the fucking labyrinth door? Oh, now sound. That lies and tells the truth at all times. Uh, Spare leech. Speaks of death knight. Don't care about that. Two of corruption. Yes. That's wrong with the character. Sure. <laughs> okay. Are they just waiting for their reinforcements? Yeah, they, those two dudes are really important, Tom. Jerk offs. Legionnaire Chihuahua has donated. Thank okay. you very much. And they say, Tom Ben! I played my first game of 40k the other day and somehow managed to win! In celebration of this, I'm staying up extra late and painting more minis. If you can, name something small and angry after me. Oh, wow. Congratulations on your win. Uh, very well done. What were you using? Tell me more of your glorious victory. Space Marines. And then I rolled a six! Then I rolled a six! <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Rimmer, I suppose. Oh, cool. Uh, Antipixel7 has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, Tom the Benniest. Uh, sorry, hang on. Tom the Benniest Tom and Ben the Tommiest Ben. Wow. Long time Vodgoblin. With a new campaign, with Warhammer 3, I wouldn't mind a unit of the mightiest Blorko, the sexiest demon of the Chaos Demons. Can he corrupt it me with his taint at any time? Have a good one, lads. Thank you very much. I, I, I keep forgetting to seduce people with Blorko. He's not actually had his way with anyone yet. Poor Blorko. But it does mean, it will mean when it finally does happen, it will be all the more meaningful. Mm. Because he'd have been waiting. He'd have saved himself. He'll have, exactly. His for... precious seduction flower. Yeah. Very true. I just want to keep an arm as wolves, because those wolves are going to be bad Yeah, business. very furry. Uh... <laughs> 40,000 year old virgin. Nice. <laughs> no, blocker fox! <laughs> it's very important. Some damage. Yeah, that was something. Okay. Berserkers, please start shooting. Okay, wolves on the flank. Burn those wolves. Uh, okay, how good is this Garner? I have no idea. Palaquin. My gut generally always tells me that. Uh, if you know spells, you're a nerd. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, no, and it no, appears to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that blob of pus. Oh, that really tanked his morale. But it didn't actually do all that much damage. Wolves are getting blasted. Nerglings are dying. That is bad. Oh, this is this is just awful. Oh, his he's general's fleeing. Okay, he's doing it. Can do another um, filth, filth squirt. Filth squirt. Very filthy. You might want to come back a little we bit. We can do a, a regen if you don't want to wait for the last level of power. 
I'm curious to see what it is. Mm. Uh, guys, no. No chase. Oh, fuck. They're about to melt. And there's a, a furry. Oh, God, they are shooting my guy. Oh, no. Fuck. Just regen him. See if that will stave off uh, his... You know, the other Nurgle man is also a wizard. Yeah, but he's just got, like, leech life and, um... Yeah, but if his general's really low on health from that last fight, can we snipe him with leech life? Uh, please, flee. No, uh, he unstabled himself. He unstabled. Oof. I like that the chair's still there. Just all the demons <laughs> are gone. That's super cool. That's a really nice touch. Yeah, that is nice. Oh, it's so, like, slimy. Ow. Our boys are disappearing back to the warp. Bye-bye. Ow. Oh. Oh. See, it was a close defeat, not a decisive defeat. Oh, yeah, you did better. Oof. <laughs> I guess we'll count that as a win. <laughs> kind of. Oof. Oh my god. They did not kill a lot. There's more of the chieftains. Just, they're just better than our guys. Yeah. And there's more of them. Yeah, more of the chieftains. Pretty good. Rest in peace. Mm. Nahili has donated $10. Thank you. Mm. Tom and Ben, I'm loving Warhammer again. I haven't painted any of my pile of shame since COVID started. Uh oh. Luckily, my girlfriend discovered she loves painting. So my pile of shame is no more. Oh, even better. <gasps> I wish, I wish I had a girlfriend. <laughs> what? JK, I wish, I wish my wife would like to paint. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh shit, we didn't rip everyone. Wow. I just clicked the button. It's back to the warp with you, I guess. <laughs> Should we reload to see the deaths? They deserve their shout outs. We need to it's know. Not, it's not like uh, we're like <laughs> tight on time or anything. Um. I'm gonna reload that so we can see, see Did the glory, it. the glorious dead get their due. Do it. Uh, ask the warrior. Oh, it's 15 bucks. Think ask the warrior. And say Ben the Goblin Lord and Tom the Foul Beastmaster. Shut me up. Thank you. Ask the warrior. Uh, and Chris Kempstel says. Tom and Ben, I really enjoyed last week's VOD. My favorite part was Ben starting to explain the only way to pass through the Chaos Maelstrom, which according to the YouTube ad that then cut in, apparently involves Deliveroo. <laughs> Such rich new lore. <laughs> Much love. And you just hop into the into one of those big square bags. Yeah. And the guy uh, it's like the that, bike just rides you in. That classic heist move where you pretend to deliver pizza. Nice. You just turn up to Nurgle's house with a delivery full of pizza and he lets you in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'd love that. He wants, like, from the just the greasiest, most disgusting place, Please though. You know, that place you never order from anymore because it gives you diarrhea. That's where he's ordering from. Uh, Sweet Attila. Uh, it's three bucks, the Sweet Attila. And they say, Tom Cool and Ben Late. Uh, I haven't finished painting. It was hectic. Now I'm sick. Maybe it's a cold. Maybe it's COVID. Maybe it's Babylene. Uh, <laughs> but please judge Spice Man. Babylene, um, Babylene. Uh, how? I can't seduce the furries, Tom. They know I'm not into it. Oh, no. Or any of his good units. They all cost too much. Are they all are those guys? Yeah. Is worth spending 2,000 bucks to just kill a unit of Ice Wolves? Probably not. Maybe. Are they anti-large? No. No. All right, let's do it. Yoink! Oh. Why? Do you want to fight again? No, it's just going to auto it. See if their unit dies in the auto resolve. They're dead! I think you did better. Yeah, I think it's comparable. Oh, I see, I don't know. The, all the um, plague bears did 
way more damage. Mm. Actually, and so did the um, Blue Horrors. They're more consistent. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, Rip, Rave of the Liquor. I've had him for a while. Rip, Suro the Death. Rip, Commander Magpie. Dor Lugus. Raccoons in Armor. Sir Sloth Storm. Philippi Flops. Philip Flops. Omega Dude. Lol Blaze. Ronald! Ronald is no longer with us. What? Okay, that's a bad sign. Eldritch Nerd. Shadow. Rip them all. Who is best killer? Commander Magpie. You should be remembered as Blorko's finest. You did amazingly. Well done. And then they all died. Well, they're back in the, in, like, you know, ether. Oh, that's true. Potentially resummon them. Mm. Uh, so, Sweetatilla has sent us some pictures of Space Marines. Oh, yeah. Um, they look like they need a lot more work done to them. They really do. Um, they've even written notes on how they're going to add uh, more uh, more things. Yeah, I think you just need to get some details on there. Get the base coat's done. Um, also, where should I look for non-expensive Blood Raven transfers? Oh, I have no idea. Do they make Blood Raven transfers? I've never seen any. Like eBay or like Etsy or something like that? You might find some. Yeah, or you could buy uh, 3D printed shoulder pads with it embossed on. Oh, oh, that's so much easier to paint. Then you don't have to worry about uh, doing transfers. Because mm -hmm. they're usually only like... Smart. They're pretty cheap. You can usually buy 10 of those for like three or four quid or something. Very smart. Uh, Sonic Firestorm donates 25 bucks. Thank you, Sonic Firestorm. Thank you. Uh, they say, Tomothy and Bonathy. Uh, Blocker the Magnificent returns. I hear he's attacking fucking Tardy! <laughs> he sure uh, is. Can you name something after me so I can join the fight? Then we'll try. Well, um, actually, we've got this new Corn Lord. Wow. Who's, sure. who's it going to be? Sure. Make him Sonic Firestorm. You got it because you were red this very second. <laughs> uh, Magnus the Red donates four bucks. He's Magnus. Mm -hmm. Say, hello, Goblin Brain Ben. Ooh. And Skaven Brain Tom. Ah. Question. Uh, if you were to join the Sacred Order of Mars, which part of your weak, pathetic flesh would you replace first? And what would your specialities as a Magi be? Uh, anyway, name something nergly after me. Ah. Mm. Oh, God. I feel like I could lose a lot of, a lot of meat around the gut and not oh, yeah. actually like, have that affect me too bad at all. Yeah, I could have like titanium abs. Yes, do that. Pretty good. Um, and uh, I think, Ben, you could, your speciality will be the guy who goes around with like the poop nozzle for the servitors. Someone's got to do it, man. That's your job. Got to, got to clean them out. And I'll be the servo skull polisher. <laughs> sure. But do you want your hand replaced with a special polishing attachment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one of those like spinny like buffers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Perfect. Except it's powered by a, um, a crank you have to sit on and cycle. So every time you want to go polishing, you've got to, like, get on your little thing. Yeah, pedal. like a rod comes out. Like it's more work to pedal yeah. than it would have been for you to yeah, polish. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I, think that's, uh, I think that's great. Perfect. I'm into that. Can I be the guy in the chicken walkers? Oh, you don't want to be him. Um, can I curse... Liquid Iron Striders? Yeah. This guy? He's got it easy. You don't want to be that guy. Uh, not this guy. No. This guy. With your... <laughs> so you don't want to be him at all. <laughs> no one wants to be that guy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll be this guy and you can be that guy. And we'll go into battle together, Tom. Together forever. Do you want to ride me into battle? <laughs> yeah. This is your weird central <laughs> fantasy again, Ben. I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want uh, this at all. Remember how they can never stop running? They're perpetual motion <laughs> engines. Yeah. And well, if they surely they've got to swap the guy out every now and again. Like they put him on a treadmill. But like they do that. The meat man. The meat control. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know how it works at all. 
Thiriana. Uh, it's next 13 bucks. Thank you, Thiriana. Thank you. They say, it's Tom and Ben. I admit, I was having trouble finding enthusiasm to work on my sallies. But then I found Spellcrow. Uh, have you heard them? I have. They do excellent parts. That's where I got my hooded Dark Angel helmets from. Mm. But they've got really good like salamander shoulder pads and breastplates and stuff that are covered in like drapes of like dragon hide. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Uh, they, they make some uh, really awesome Darth Maul chain swords. Uh, I've never been more excited. Chop me up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's some really good stuff on Spellcrow. Highly recommend it. Yeah, they do good bits. Good bits. Love good bits. Uh, that Norwegian guy. Turn it's 10 bucks. Thank you, that Norwegian guy. Thank you. They say, ma'am and charm. Mm. Gom. Chem. And charm. Chum. Uh, currently laying on the couch, sweating more than a brass bull after vaccine number three. Ooh. Uh, hope you lads are staying safe. Kremlo came from Spice. <laughs> sure did. Um, you are not wrong. Yeah. It's weird, like the third third vaccine. Some people I know hit him, hit, hit him really hard. Yeah, mine, mine have been getting progressively worse. Really? Like my first one, not a problem at all. Then my second one felt, I had like one evening where I felt like a bit um, achy and tired. And then my third one was, um, I felt properly gross for like a day. Wow. Which is way better than getting COVID. Yeah. So I'm not complaining. I'm just kind of surprised that I've, but it's different. everyone's different, aren't they? Everyone is different. It's different. Um, I was fine every time. Well, aren't you the strongest? Chaddest man. Yeah, I think there ever was. Some of us just built different. Yeah, I've heard it's related to penis size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's very true. <laughs> uh, because it's so small, the vaccine <laughs> could concentrate on like the rest of my body. <laughs> right, yeah, whereas. Your gigantic yeah. mega cock. <laughs> that's where like all the vaccine kind of kept like bottlenecking down there. And because it's like a dead end, mm. it's then got to back up, and but vaccine's still trying to come down as others. Yeah, and just a big old traffic jam in the dingus. And so, uh, yeah, that's how, uh, how that all ended up. That's how that works. That's how it works. Um, maybe. Maybe. Okay, we're under siege, we're Tom. I need to name these blue horrors. Uh, well, that's that Norwegian guy. Uh, and then Gildenstern the next 25 bucks. The next one can be called Gildenstern, sure. And they say, Barley and Treacle. Uh, you two have finally convinced me to get back into Warhammer. Uh, currently painting my goblin army. Hey, gobos. Uh, fun fact, the last game I played was 40k. And it was against Henry Cavill. Wow. Is that true? I hope so. But if you're finally getting back into it, but because he only started getting into it like... Two years ago. No, so. hasn't he? He's only started. He only started talking about it a few years ago. I think he's a giga nerd. Really? Before, I remember uh, in an interview he said about how he couldn't. He nearly missed his audition for Superman because he was too busy playing World of Warcraft. Yeah. So, like, I feel like he's just always always been a Warhammer nerd. I hope so. It's my head cannon. Have you seen? Um, uh, what's it called? The Haunting of Hill House, or The Haunting of Bly Manor, or Midnight Mass. I've not seen any of those things. Uh, there's a actor in there that's so hot right now. Oh. Uh, Ra Rahul Kohli, who recently got into Warhammer as well. Oh, yeah. I don't oh, know. Man. I'm like... Uh, it's starting to get trendy. Weirdly, like... Uh, no, I know someone who kind of knows them. Um, oh, okay. And um, they did a tweet um, where they were talking about they started, uh, like, he's playing uh, Ultramarines, though. So, oh, you've got to uh, start somewhere. Okay. You know, everyone's got to start somewhere. You'll figure um, it out. But I had, like, another tweet where they were like, oh, I, I can't remember what they were talking about, like, playing some computer game. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm trying to play Hades, but I can't stop myself playing Dark Souls. And I was like, oh, my God. This, this guy, like, not only was he amazing in those shows, uh, <laughs> yeah, but he's one of us. Was um, 
Just talking about all the nerd shit I like. I love it's it. Like, okay, I'm in. He's a big old dork like me. Um, I think we're basically, that's it. We're just, we're just like them, Tom. We're just like Henry Cavill and that other guy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're basically the same as them. <laughs> I think so. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you didn't see Midnight Mass, maybe give it a go. It's kind of fun. Kind of wild. Are you ready for the sacking of Middenheim? Valiant defeat, high casualties. Yeah, I didn't rest our troops because I thought, ooh, got to get in before the turn turns end. Oh shit, we can't even build siege equipment. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love it. How are you feeling about that? Guys, stop saying there's a new purple sunhead. There isn't a new purple sunhead. But there's a new purple sunhead. I can see like five people say it. And I have to nip that in the bud before you all say it because one person said it. There is a new head. It does not make purple sun. Oh, there is another head though that does. This was the new one, the jewel horns head. So they looked at it and was like, Tom doesn't want call for power. Protruding it, do you want that one? Bot is better. Oh, it's the fucking same, jeez. What's, what's better? Literally, the difference between bells and no bells is one gives plus five leadership and the other one gets plus five missile resistance. To be honest, maybe that missile resistance might be good. I don't see him breaking. This one doesn't have bells on. It's true. But the bells were sometimes, 5% of the time, a bell would deflect like an arrow down into the body. <laughs> it's, it's an arrow trap. It's, it's a classic arrow trap. <laughs> right. someone, if you're like, right, you're on the battlements. Yeah. And you're like, okay, right. Oh, I'm just shooting out into like a sea of monsters. Mm. Um, which one do I pick? Mm -hmm. But you hear one, you hear bells, and you're like, oh, fuck it. Bam, that one. It's like a cat trying to catch a bird. Yeah, with yeah, a yeah. a bell yeah. around its neck. Yeah, exactly. And so it draws the attention. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think. Um, All right. You win this round. No that. bells. Although I feel like having bells on his head was part of his identity. I mean, who even is Blorko now? Well, this is like the next saga. He's good, like, the bells f fell off. He, maybe he didn't have time to put them on. Because, look, they had to rush because he knows he has this time <gasps> limit before he's called You're back right. into the ether. Before his master returns to the warp. And so he's okay. got to like barrel in there as quickly as possible. Good point. Boom. Okay. No time. He's getting his bells polished. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame. Shame. Uh, we can't get any mercenaries or anything, so let's just get in there. You ready to seduce? Um, some fucking random help with his, or some crossbowmen. Oh, I'll take the crossbows, I reckon. Yeah. Actually, wait, oh. We can take know. two units of spearmen. Two or units of spears could be hilarious. One unit of anything, or two units of spearmen. Mm. Spears just to run forwards and be fodder, honestly, might not be a bad idea. I know what you mean about the crossbows, though. It's less people getting shot at. But so if, um... Who's going to do the most damage? It's honestly, it's the Harwood Ears, probably the most dangerous thing there. Mm. Blorko will fly over and he'll it's start engaging people on the walls. So I don't yeah. think the the shooties are actually going to be the most dangerous. But then breaking through armor, anti large armor piercing guys, those guys can actually fuck him up. Yeah, that's true. And Blorko's on half health already, so. Yeah, I reckon right. that. Steal some halberds. Yoink! And. Oh, before you go in, also, mm -hmm. can you take the guy, corn guy, off his bike? I think it takes a turn. Oh, uh, fuck, you're right. That. It does. It does do that. Uh, we can have a try. It might have changed in Warhammer 3. Uh, where's it? Take the spears. You guys are idiots. No, uh, it's personal taste. I just feel like those spears will break very quickly. They'll absorb a few arrows before they break, but that's it. They'll but just... no, um, but uh, fighting against them, they oh, will break yeah. very quickly. Oh, that's true. Like, I've got a lot of units that can deal with them really quickly. Although, I've taken him off his bike, but we have no siege towers. Yeah, but I'd still possibly send climb up onto the wall because he'll hack through um, Chard. Okay. Fight battle. Um, yeah. Also, apparently, people saying us stealing that changed it to a Pyrrhic victory. It did. So, oh, we should have tested to see if taking those two units of spears would have Oh, done, yeah. See if the game agrees. <laughs> yeah, but the game is often wrong. No, <laughs> Let's be honest. Ben, never wrong. 
Oh, Ooh, that's that the capital up there. Yeah, we've got to work our way through. Look, there's a secondary like gap with bridges after the first wall. That's super cool. That's a cool castle layout. God, can we just like hide there and just send Blocker up by himself and just land him? Capture the castle and <laughs> win. You want to try? See if Toddy's uh, wise to such maneuvers. Who is this? This isn't Toddy. No, this is um. This is some. Other, this is some pretender. It's yeah. one of like Toddy's body doubles. Body. <laughs> Body, that's right. <laughs> Hello, my name is Body Double. Uh, I have the latest account, I promise. Yeah, he's just, he's sent here to make it look like Todd, because you know Toddy always runs across the world and is in Lustria fucking shit up. Yeah. Um, he leaves this guy behind so that it looks like he's still at home and doing his job. I think that makes sense. You know, it's like his, uh, it's his pretend. Sure. He doesn't want to get in trouble. So, do we just want to go down this side? I feel like we won't get hit by as many towers. So let's cast it. It's a shame Toddy wasn't here. He's off annoying someone. He'll come back, though. Once we take his house, he'll come back. Oh, he'll be back. What is that? This, oh, it's water. Is it? Is it just frozen? I think, I think that's all like impossible. Some cool, like, cool stuff. Yeah. Have we got it on a weird graphics setting? All the textures look a bit odd. Maybe. We might not have this on the highest settings. Maybe. Oh, yeah, because we reinstalled. So yeah. probably, um... Changed. Uh, graphics on high. Do you want to go to ultra? Yeah. Oh. Uh, right. Well, we'll get what we get. <laughs> some of them will apply, some of them won't until the next battle. Uh-oh. We've now got mini screen. Uh, is that going to fix itself? Maybe. Maybe. The Polish Mafia have donated. Wow. Holy shit. Didn't know it was in their good books. Uh, Great Field Commander Trom and Tactical Money Counter Breen. <coughs> I've gotten back into Warhammer, listening to your Warhammer VODs while working. My painting skills sucks. But that's fine. Um, at least I'm having fun. Please name a unit. Tom to murder. That, that's the most important thing. As long as you're having fun doing that it. That is the, literally the most important thing. He's got a Bob Ross set. Also remember, like, no one starts out good. No. No one. No one. Um, you always see those people on Reddit going, this is the first Space Marine I've ever painted. Anyway, and it's yeah, like, go fuck yourself. And it's like, it? the be well, it might be the first fucking Space Marine they've oh, ever painted. Oh, yeah. But they've clearly painted thousands of other models. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It annoys me so much. Right, I think we're just going to slam into those walls. Bonk. Wow, that balance of power, very oh. in my favor. Look how strong. Okay, who needs to die? You guys are relatively tanky. You go first. Aunt Fury's over there. Yeah, the Screamers are not so tanky. No, they're going to have to go in second. This Blocko's got a shield. He can probably make it in. Fuck it. Charge. We can slow this down. We're in no rush. Cool. Um, okay. Physics Duck has donated and says, Tip and balls. Many moons ago, you did a series of sponsored videos about Keyforge for the Game Snack channel. Did you play it after that? Or was the plastic crack addiction too dominating? Thanks for keeping my unit alive. Oh, welcome, Physics Duck. We did play a little bit, actually, didn't we? We played for a few weeks. We um, we got sent a pack of, like, I don't know, eight decks or something like yeah. that? Yeah. So we played a few different various combinations. And um, I, I loved the idea of it. But I didn't get into it. Well, at that same time, we were really into Star Wars Destiny. That's... Right, yeah, we were so playing Star Wars Destiny, so... We ended up playing just way more of that. Mm. Uh, Did you hear what happened to Keyforge? Yes. Tell the story, Ben. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, there's a... Um, for those who don't know, Keyforge is a card game um, that instead of buying packs like Magic, where you get random cards, you build a deck from those random cards, what happens is you buy a deck, and that deck is... Um, fixed, and you have to use exactly the cards in that deck. But every deck is different. 
because there's an algorithm that builds decks and um, makes sure that they're roughly equivalent in power level while being different from every other deck. So different combinations of cards and colors and stuff like that. It's really complicated and, um, and quite unique and interesting. Yeah. But what happened was someone um, hacked into the Keyforge servers, got the algorithm, and locked everyone out, deleted all copies of it except the one that they copied over. And then they ransomwared the, the company and said, look, you've got to pay me whatever money you like. I'm, I'm trying to blackmail you for, or I'll just delete the algorithm and then you can't make any more Keyforge decks. And um, I might be out of date on this because this was a few months ago I heard about it. So maybe there's been more developments. Um, but last I heard, the company was like, fuck you, we don't negotiate with terrorists or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, but they can't make any more Keyforge decks. That's it, because apparently they didn't have any fucking backups of this algorithm. It is kind of <laughs> fucking bonkers. <laughs> and it just took like, like so much work from so many people to get just the way they wanted it that they couldn't even replicate it. So yeah, a Ripperoni uh, Keyforge. So that's it. Keyforge is dead. Commiserations. Be interested to know if that's anything else has happened with that. It wasn't great, but did something. Didn't that happen with a computer game quite recently? The source source code for a game was hacked and ransomed. Uh, was that like a Isn't it cyberpunk? Cyberpunk. Pretty sure that happened to Cyberpunk. And CD Projekt Red were just like, "Yeah, fuck you. We're not paying you for that." And so now, like the modders can go fucking bananas because they've got the source code. They really leaked it publicly or something. Oh, okay. How's Blorko getting on? Sad. Yeah, off every ability. Oh my god, who's he fight? Just... Oh my god, body! Body's kicking Blorko's ass! Blorko's gone berserk as well. Okay, we need some help. I need... Anyone who can fly, get in there. We need the body block for him. Blorko calls for aid. Why is he raging? What's making him rage? He's just a sad boy. But he'd be fine if he just flies and gets out of there. Uh, God, we need to shoot the most. Okay, well, he's got his shields back. Oh, he's back. He's, he's recovered his morale as well. He can fly. Flight. Get him out of there. Gate down yet? Gate health. Nice. Okay, we're in. Send more boys in. Walko, run. Look, kill those guys. Furies. Who are you chasing? Oh, you know what? If you're in the Typhoon of Crossbow one, that's probably more than yeah. you do on the front line. Walko. Uh, yep. Yeah, you can fight Swordsman. Uh, Draco Power has donated. Thank you very much. Let me say, Benjamin, Tomothy, hope you're having a great day. Oh. Since I'm blanking on something to say, I'll ask you something random. What soft drink do you think would be the hardest Souls fight? Also, chump me up. I am brute. Yeah, definitely Iron Brew. He's just going to be like a real rowdy, dirty fighter, tank yeah. of a man. Yeah, yeah, Iron Brew. Just the most butch Scottishman you've ever seen. You're, you're definitely right. Um, Dr. Pepper, maybe not. No, he's the opposite. I was thinking he'd be the easiest. 
Also, um, if it's Iron Brew, there's going to be a lot of that sort of uh, Quelag style, um, big vomited piles of like <laughs> just Burning. bright glowing. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, yeah. um, the ceaseless discharge. Mm -hmm. I'm picturing something like that, but you actually have to fight it in an arena, not <laughs> on, like, this little ledge. Right. There's no getting away, and yeah. it's just, like, giant pools of iron brew, oh sweeping, stumbling attacks. And, like, if that gets in your eyes, you're blind. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. There's no coming back from yeah, that. Yeah, super, super danger. Wow. Uh, wow, we killed them. Midland is ours. Oh, my God. Slice of victory. We took the Midland. Congratulations, that wasn't a Pyrrhic victory at all. Barely an inconvenience. Um, see, look, these Halberdiers got four kills. How many did those spearmen get? Zero. Oh. So what was the best thing to take? <laughs> our, our Halberdiers got 20 kills. God, like that guy. God, none of their guys got kills. Was it just Blorko just ran in and tanked it all? To be honest, it was Blorko and the Blight Drones did most of it. Um, oh. Also, the Furies went in. I'm surprised. God, they got 51 kills. I'm surprised they didn't um, get more blasted. Yeah. Because it was the flying stuff that got in there, and then the characters were chopping down the door, and they made it in. So who, where are all these kills? Oh, my God. Who got 200 kills? Who killed 15 of my own guys? Um, Power Core, 200 kills. Holy shit. Do we get to keep the Halberdiers now? Or are they going to die after this? I feel like surely they must die. Well, good job, Haze Train. That's far better than I ever expected. Because all the do. flyers did did fantastically. I never um, expected to see them get to like Silver Chevron. Good job, Lanny Row. And Tom did. I didn't. It wasn't me. What's the name of that blood group? It was the Wizards. Ooh. What are we going to do to Minheim? Don't we need to raise a load of territory? Oh, that's to true. Yeah, should we sack it and then raise it for the bucks? Whatever you fancy, baby. Since we're building a new army, we might need that bucks. Can we go in again? Surely we can't. This Ooh, we did it! Twenty grand! Wow! Get wrecked. That's a lot of bucks. We're gonna make a whole lot of boys. 20 grand. Yum. Uh, yeah, the fertile lands and the souls of mankind. We did it. Demon Prince. Oh, they're going to have a turn to recover. Can't reach them. We're at turn 50, so we got to. We can't show anymore. We can't end turn, but we can. Do a bit of fiddle. Look at all our new bits we unlocked. Uh, where are the new wings? Oops. Very stanky wings. I quite like the shields, though, I'll be honest. Oh, we can have light gauntlets. God, there's so little in it. Uh, oh, passive ability. I like that. Uh, the Great Emancipator. Uh, you know, it's 20 bucks. Thank you, Great Emancipator. Thank you. Say, hi, Tom and Ben. In your Board of the Ring skateboarding game, why wouldn't they just ride the Tony Hawks to Mordor? <laughs> oh, it's so good! It's so good! Maybe that's the last level. That is the last level. Yeah, someone <laughs> fucking riding a bird. I love it. Um, it's really fucking good. That's a great fucking joke. Thank you, Great Emancipator. Very good. Very good. I've changed Blocko's legs. So sure. He's not got the bird's feet anymore. So sure. But now he gets... Um, uh, doubles his charge bonus when hitting the flank or rear of an enemy. Okay. Pretty good. And it's it's passive. Sure. So, cool. I'm like that. Ooh, a lance. Pretty good. Makes him anti-large. Stick with big club. Oh, big axe. That's a new one. Uh, oh, so anti-large. Armor uh, piercing. Uh. He's basically thumping mans, isn't he? Yeah, that's he mainly mainly his job at the moment. Thump man. Yeah. But I love that mace. Uh, three awesome. raccoons in power armor. It takes five bucks. The three raccoons in power Thank armor. Thank you. Is Tom and Ben? I'm a in a I'm I'm an chemistry exam gobbo today. So we'll be slumming back to the berry mines after this. Something about Kremlin coming from space. Blah blah blah. blah. Thank you. Thank you, raccoons in power armor. Thank you. Uh, Ufel, 
uh, I think it's nine bucks, the oofle. And they say proto molecule infected Tom and belter loader mm, slingshot of Ben. Ooh. Uh, what do you expect uh, a lineup for the Warhammer Universe Extreme Sports to look like? Squig rodeos? Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Dwarf toss lawn darts? I'm here to be chopped up. The pile's extra slick today. Um, those were some um, the expanse naming references. I'm not sure if you got that, Ben. No, I have not watched The Expanse. Um, have you watching the new season? Yeah, is it good? The good stuff is really good. The, the All the stuff with the fucking aliens and proto-molecule I kind of don't like very much. Is it all a bit Naquadus reactors? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just kind of <laughs> dumb stuff that I don't know. Nanomachines. Super care about. But the, like the, the political things that are going on at the moment, really, really good. Hmm. But the other stuff, eh. Apparently you could put the Garner Chariot. Which what guy? series are we talking about? The Expanse. Our Flame Boy? Uh, could the guy on the disc? I like him being on the disc. But is the Chariot better? Oh, we'll have to wait till next ding. I gave him this thing. Now we can summon a unit of Blue Horrors. Oh, that's twice per game. That's super good. Well, that would be pretty useful. Super fucking Way good. Way better than just a bigger disc. Um, it's actually slower. Um, but it gives him more more fight power, more health. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get that next time. Well, Belter, Dust or Earther. Man, fucking Belters all the way. Really? Love the Belters. With their weird, like, Norlean speak. Yeah, it's like this, a mix of, like... Uh, and they've got their fragile bones. Yeah, 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 those guys. <laughs> Not all of them have fragile bones, but like th just those guys. Those guys are the, just the most fun. Um, <laughs> Careful, my bones. Belters are all competing to look the dumbest. Yeah, well, you, you know, you're stuck <laughs> in space. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, really like those guys. The, the Mars guys, too bland, and I already know what it's like to be from Earth, so we'll want to try something else. Um, Makes sense. They are just, just cool guys. Um... Uh, I'm gonna pick. Oh, so they've got like the cool pirates. They're weird little pirate clans. Ooh. Always fun. I like the sound of that. I've got to get. I've got to give another try. I think I need to watch it on my own without the wife. I think that'll help me get into it more. Yeah, and like the the main characters, generally they still stay, stay pretty boring. Um. I was talking to a friend about it the other day because I didn't realize he watched it at all. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, like, it just had come up in conversation that he was finishing this season. I was like, oh, no fucking way. Like, I can't believe you watched all of the other stuff and we've never chatted about this before. Wow. And mentioned, like, oh, God, I don't really care for any of the main characters. And he was like, not even Amos, who... He's everyone's favourite, right? And um, he's just I was like, of course you fucking love that guy the most. <laughs> um, of the but yeah, mm. um, I don't know. A lot of the other characters, really, really good. And the um, the president is amazing. Almost consistently just fantastic the entire way through. Um, Why aren't any of the good characters in the first three episodes? Yeah, they're all a bit... All a bit I, don't know. I think they kind of find their feet a bit more and realize, oh no, these guys are a bit. These guys suck. <laughs> Drama. Drama's great. Um, what's the guy? Who's her like her boss? But yeah, Avasarala is the um, the president lady. Pretty good. Really good. All right, I've spent most of that twenty grand. That's what you want. Ashford. To that's who I was thinking of. Fred Johnson was kind of cool, but I feel like he fell into the category of the other people. But I liked Ashford. He was a good guy. Good character. Uh, Diamond Boots, then it's three bucks. The Diamond Boots. And they say, Arg and Egg. Mm -hmm. uh, random thing. Nintendo does weekly a weekly Fire Emblem comic strip. Oh, yeah. Kind of like never chosen. And with about the same quality, too. But sometimes there is gold in there. Like this week... Uh, where it is a call-out post for people who lead but don't read Yes Tom. Wow. <laughs> wow. Perfect. 
Uh, it got you. It's just like it's just a thing. It's just a cool thing. Yeah, you can. That's what my, that's my job to do the reading. Yeah, Ugh, gross, boring. Tom does the bleeding. That's how we roll. All right, I'm gonna have to wrap this up here. We've we've sacked the Middenland and we've spent all of the juicy bucks upgrading our territories in the north. We've got a new lord, a sexy Slanishi lady. She needs a name. Uh, sure. They can be called Gray. Gray. Welcome, Gray. She got gray skin. That's perfect. She's so Gray is going to lead the charge to relieve the siege. Oh of my the god! Forbidden I just saw Citadel. the portrait. Just keep an eye on it. When the fucking tongue comes out. Oh, I did not see. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of tongue. That's a lot of tongue. <laughs> that's a lot of tongue. What the heck? Wow. Okay, so yeah. In a couple of turns, Gray's going to be like right out of the gate. Okay, let's get some more recruitment going over here too. Uh, yeah, spend that money. Got yeah. Too much income. And it's going to um, go up there and save the day. Luckily, all the furries are dying of um, Nurgle Plague. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, Divine immortality. Oh, Heroes of the Pretty Dark cool. Prince. But I'm going to have to save it there. Nice. Uh, and we'll come back to it next week. Otherwise, we'll go to, go to jail. We will literally not pass go or collect $200. Um, we are going to have to take another little break in a minute. It's 8 o'clock. Mm, wow. um, but we will come back and so we are allowed to play some custom battles yes and so that's what we might might do a couple of those yeah we could try out Cathay for a bit see if we can turn someone into a dragon we could do that I kind of do want to see because we're allowed to do Scarabrand right yes I kind of want to see what a, just a dedicated corn army is yeah like. well we can do that especially in a sege for shizzle uh uh, and we can see what Scaraband's deal is. Sure. What's so, up? We've got to take a little break. And we'll see you in five. See you in five. Ba -ba -ba tom, tom, tom. Boom. We're in. We did that. We're in, baby. I didn't finish my snack. What? Nom, nom, nom. I did, I did. I did. I did. I did. Oh, Tom. Ben's got snacks. <laughs> um, welcome back, everybody. Mm. We're playing Total War Warhammer 3. Um, yeah, we're going to do some Sege, a Sege battle. Um, who mm. are we playing as? Corn? Yeah, we're going to try out um, Scarab Brags. Do you want to go against K Kislev? Okay. Are we attackers or defenders? I kind of want to attack. If we're Corn, that feels mm. like we're attacking. It right? does, yeah. Um, you could burn down Prague. I was curious to see if there was a, like a ogre mm. fortress. But I'm Not pretty yet. sure like the only like real ogre fortresses uh, humans can't attack. Because wow. they're ex sky titan places and like the air's too thin for humans to even <laughs> go there. Oh wow. Fun. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, do you want to attack Prague? Uh, sure, I remember Prague, because um, the first Warhammer books I ever read were like the third edition army books. Mm -hmm. And um, I always remember, I have this vivid memory of Prague, because it, that was the first city to fall during the, um, the last great war against chaos. And it talked about how the essence of chaos and the realms of chaos expanded so much, because they were doing so well, that it absorbed Prague into it. Oh. And like... The defenders of Prague who died there had like merged with the walls, and so there were just like these gibbering hands and faces coming out of those, oh, the walls of Prague because like it had become a half chaos, half real space Ugh, city. That ain't what you want. And um, I was, I was a little, I was a tiny little baby boy Ben, and I was like, "Wow, that's rad." <laughs> that's that's grisly. Prague, a creepy place. That is creepy. Uh, do we not lower the points a little bit because it says? We oh, I get 100,000 points. They get 70,000 points. And they have this oh, giga, stack. giga gold mega stack. Right, yeah, turn it down. Because I just flipped it from normal money to custom money, and that was what it defaulted to. Okay. Um, but I guess it's defaulted to just way too much. Uh, versus AI. Uh, sure. Bonk. So you go to map setup. Hype. And then funds. 
but default was quite low. What was default? It was like 22. What's their army? They still have one. No, they need to reset it because they're minus 19 grand over. Oh. There you go. Okay. Sure. Uh, wait, if we go to custom, can I type in how much custom? Yeah. Okay, right. So we give us like 50,000. Okay, that's still quite a lot. Sure. We can upgrade the level of their settlement as well if you want. Oh god, that's that gives them less money. Oh, really? The moment it's settlement level one, um, god, you spend two grand giving them better turrets. Oh, I feel like you do that every day of the week. <laughs> yeah. That feels. But does it change the map as well? Super cheap. I don't know. Forty thousand. Okay. They're not all Giga Elites. I just don't want all of my guys to have to be Giga Elites. Hmm. 30,000. Sure. Should we give them, like, a couple more handguns? Take take out a cav unit and put in, like, a handgun unit or something like that. Just to... Because the AI doesn't know it's defending a siege, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just give it a little fudge. Sure. Wing glances. It's like... Oh, yeah. And what do you want? Handguns. Guns. Seems to be what, what I would take on a wall. Cool. Okay. We've got to have well, Scar Scarabrand. Scarabrand. He's pretty expansive. Okay. Uh, what else are we getting here? Oh, I want guys with dual weapons. I definitely want siege towers. Oh, chat's pick? asking if we're allowed to show Kislev. We're allowed to show, uh, we're allowed to only be certain races, but we can be against any races in mm. the email I received. So I think we're good. Um, uh, do you want a soul grinder? Of course we do. Extra bloodthirster. Why not? Mind walls of corn. They sound amazing. Ooh, spawns. Uh, do you want spawn? Why the heck not? What are the war machines? Are they just the motor motorbikes? Oh, probably. I'll try and... Skull cannon! Give me two of those. That sounds amazing. We're going to need just like a big chunk of blood letters as well, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to have to sort of like yeah. max out the rest. Uh, okay, who are you? Cultist of corn. I guess you're like the corn caster. Oh, okay. Yeah, why not? I'll try and cast a spell. Maybe. Do we, can we only get one siege tower? Oh. That's weird. Apparently so. And no battering ram. Overall one. One oh. of one. Wow. Oh, based on the number of infantry units you have. Oh, Stick okay. in some more blood letters and we'll be allowed to. Sure. So. Uh, give me some guys with dual hand weapons. Exalted blood letters. Okay, now can we just crank that up? Five... Uh, maybe we'll take a battering ram. It's nice to see. Uh, seven and a half grand left. It's quite a lot. Should we just make one of our units gold for the lols? Well, we've still got a spot. Oh, okay. Another bloodthirster. Now they're big, having three in the army might make them a bit less special. <laughs> Do okay. you know what I mean? How come we've got so much money? Minotaur. Uh, character options. Sure, have everything. Uh, okay, right. I want my you be super elite. You super elite. God, we can actually like really buff up some of these people. Mm. Minotaurs. Where's my cannons? I want them to be pretty, pretty rooty, tooty, muck shooty. God, actually, we can buff a lot of stuff. Super spawn. Uh, Smuggle Dwarf has donated and says, "Tam, bam." Hey, I can't wait for Token Hawks Board of the Rings. <laughs> My favorite game mechanic is how grinding goes into bullet time, so you can snipe gobbos and increase your combo. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah, that's 100% what you want. <laughs> it is weird that Spider-Man is an unlockable character, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely fine. Yeah. I like it's it. It's as Tolkien intended. Exactly. That's what he was planning this whole time. Mm. You may uh, have missed the, the foreshadowing, but it was there. For crossovers with the MCU. Uh, oh. 
God, I feel like our army is considerably stronger than theirs. Yeah, but they've got that big old fortress, baby. Yeah, I don't think that's, that's... Hmm. I don't know. I feel bad. I feel I like... I think it'll be good. They're just squishy humans without chevrons. Yeah, but look at these, like, chuck points. they got a lot of gun. they got a bear. The old big cannon. Little Grom. Little Grom. Okay, well, it's not Big Grom, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to see him. No, he's not without his groblins. <laughs> not the groblins. Uh, Dedsky Trevsky has donated and says, Ahoy hoy, Tom and Ben. Shark plushy factory worker here with an update. Keith fell into the stuffing machine. A piece of him will live on in each and every plush. Kiss, kiss. Oh, that's delightful and horrifying at the same time. Oh. Thanks. Thank you. But no, you can't see the mouse cursor. Oh, yeah, you can't see my oh, cursor. Oh, yeah. Can we check? Sam, he's, oh, no, Sam went. Sam went. Shit. That's not fixable. Just imagine where I'm gesturing. Yeah. Sorry, we'll get that fixed for next time. Um... But yeah, so we can uh, show these guys. Because like when we're playing the campaign, we could have invaded Kislev. Exactly. Uh, let's just have a look around the fort. Wow, Prague. Prague is a shithole. Prague is a shithole. I thought it was going to be like a real big walled city. I guess it is kind of. Just with lots of... It's nice that it's got all this open space, actually. That's going to make fighting easier. Yeah. They've got a bear statue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a happy boy. Okay. Sure. God, it's a grim place to live. Oh, what am I... Oh, wow. Yeah, they look pretty good. Fucking burning skulls. Giant skull, vomiting fire. It's wow. all on fire. We've got flaming eyes. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, right, I guess we're just going to plow into there. Although, actually, we could have a little contingency. Oh, a little back backdoor shenanigans going on. The little butt gate. Oh, mm -hmm. was my um, battering ram. Oh, yeah, I want to see it. Sure. Pretty cool. I mean, it's a little overshadowed by the siege tower. <laughs> yeah, like they've got so much going on. <laughs> um, <laughs> these guys, however, do not. Oh, look, and now we're guaranteed the big sword throw. Oh. Nice. Uh, oh, let's see Scarabrand. Scar oh, yeah, we've got a whole load of units to look at. We haven't looked at any of these boys. Scarabrand. Oh, he's angry. He's real angry. Oh, he looks cool. Um, and he doesn't fly. Yeah. Which is what I wanted. Good job. Whoa. Ooh. Bloodthirst looks good. Mm. Um, it strikes me as kind of wacky that these guys are... Because you can take them in the tabletop game. Yeah. And... But you, you, I like that tiny bit of 40k crossover that, like, demon mechanics can build this stuff in fantasy. The, there's... Because, like, time is meaningless. Apparently, there's a... Um, uh, oh, the cannons. Nice. Oh, yeah, I really wanted these. These are things that are stupid. <laughs> they look like Tyranids. Like, what is going on there? Come on, do the little bath. Do the little vomit. <laughs> so like, dumb. Can I tap out for a sec? Like, um, do you remember the third edition Chaos book? Uh, third edition. I think so. Chaos I think that's probably one that I had. Um, this one. Oh. Uh, Warhammer Army's Chaos, not um, yeah. Codex Chaos Space. So, like, look in the background. There's a Lord of Skulls there. It's fun. Or is it a Lord of Skulls? Is that what that guy's called? Um, I think so. It's one of those guys. Lord of Battle. It's um, this guy yeah. from 40K. But he was in the background of the of the fantasy army book. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I just always loved the idea of Chaos Armies just inexplicably having like bonkers demon engines that were like out of their tech level turning up in fantasy. Just like occasionally a Chaos um, Champion would have a plasma pistol. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, so that exists. So I think some there's, you can get a chain sword in this. Oh, cool. Um, which sounds amazing fun. Uh, 
just out of pure shenanigans. Okay, right. That's Let's really cool. I like that. Okay, you guys are here to like bonk towers and maybe plink a gate. So wait, maybe come from this side. It's more dark, shooty, and less forest to deal with. Robo Wizard has donated. Robo Wizard. And they say, Todd, Bod, I don't think I made it the last time, so I'm trying again. Glory to Blocko, the Rainbow Demon. Ah! Hail Blocko. Thank you, Robo Wizard. Hail Blocko indeed. Sadly, Blocko's having a little break until next week when we're allowed to play more Blocko. Yeah. CA said that there's too much Blocko is a bad thing. Yeah. You guys, you're over blocking right now. Mm -hmm. uh, people aren't ready for it. You never, never want to overdo your blocking. Can we see the skull crushers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, right. Here we go. We got red bulls or minotaurs. God, that, they don't sound like very chill boys. Corn spawn. <laughs> God, the blood beasts. Oh, look at his little hands. Oh, he's got tiny hands. Got the cannons. Oh, I always like blood crushers, like Chaos Warriors on Juggernauts. That's yeah, such a good look. Really cool. Um, yeah, big, big fan. Go to something like this. Get old Scarabrand up front. Oh, this oh, guy. Oh yeah, what's this deal? So he doesn't get spells, but he gets um, fighting power. Can he summon blood letters? Is that what that power is? Someone's blood letters. Hmm. Sure. Come on up, baby. Cool. Okay, I think just something like this. I think we're just gonna like boom, tip of the spear in there. Yeah. No, no backdoor action. I think I'm just. It's gonna be too much like flying back and forwards. Hmm. We could do a little bit of it. Do us a little bit of it. Could be fun. Make him split his forces a bit. Sure. Uh, bring the minos. Actually, wait. No, I want the spawn over here because I'm gonna. True Calc has donated. Thank you. And they say, Tom, Ben, lying in bed, dying of COVID, listening to my favorite battle boys ramble about Warhammer. In my madness, I've decided to start a new army. Tao! How many oh, how convenient. <laughs> I just saw the railgun rules. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, they're going to be really good. Um, also, I heard a rumor. Sorry, just to like talk over. Mm, no, go for it. Wow, they really did not want oh. this army... They uh, fucking hate those guys. Getting involved. Also, oh, they. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> this tower is reversing. You fool. Fly, you fools. Ooh, that oh, that ain't gonna make it. He's not making it. That ain't gonna make it at all. No way. He goes, but it's not running. Um, well, they've pulled off more um, attention than they deserved, so it's probably worth it. Yeah. Uh. There's um, meant to be a Tau stratagem, mm -hmm. which uh, ignores the limits the amount of wounds a model can take in one go. Oh, okay. Um, so you which, put that on the big boy, the big mecha suit. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how, how it uh, pans out, but it basically will mean things like a Catan or Gazgul or something like that, mm. you will be able to one-shot them. And oh, that I thought you meant limits the amount they can take. No, it's... Because it's the other way around. To enemies. Oh, my God. So the only things that are safe from the railguns are not. Yeah, which seems terrifying. Jesus. Uh, if that is the case. Um, and part of me likes that because, like, those rules are kind of brutal. But in turn, this... It it's just feels so like such... inelegant of like we make yeah. a rule, but then here's a new rule that counters that rule. Then here's a rule that will counter just mm. that rule, and it's exactly. Oh, first, like at the start of ninth edition, they just upped the damage of all weapons, and then made and they... stuff immune. But then, then they stuff gave... isn't immune, and then they just gave almost every army a bunch of stuff that oh yeah, I've reduced damage by one. But yeah. you just added one to the damage of all the weapons, and now you're making everything take one less damage from weapons. Like this is just, it's just obnoxious power creep. Yeah. Of, like. Always got to get the new thing. Weirdly cumbersome. Mm. Okay, those guys are not having a fun time. Is everyone taking part? Someone some blood letters. I don't know if we can. Anyway, True Calc says, how many boxes of crisis suits should I buy? One, five, 15. Thanks for the entertainment. Get one. And if you paint that, get another one. Yeah. And keep doing that until you 
don't paint them. That's that's the t trick. That's the Probably. boring answer that you didn't want. Probably a good idea. Wow, Team uh, Scarabrand and Mecha Crab, they are eating this gate alive. Yeah, they're both Oof. very big, strong boys. He's just clipped through it. Okay, please no funny doors. Okay, how are you guys going to do over here? Gun, axe. Oh, winged lances. Oh, let's get a good look at them. I love the winged lances vibe. Really cool. Ooh, God, they have really set up a... Uh, fight. Man, they actually kind of like stopped firing at the uh, the tower. Oh, wow. Really focused down my other boys. Fantastic. And we get to destroyed. Charge, my crab. Charge, my king. Uh, okay, everyone else is sort of... Oh, okay. How, how are these going to work? Is the skull going to like headbutt? Is the whole top going to come down? Oh, wow. Let's find out. Is a mouth just gonna like Does a little bridge come out? Lift up and then like a fire tongue. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Chonk! Bonk! <laughs> Love it. Uh, sadly, they evacuated the walls. They didn't want to have to fight my uh, dual wielding. Um, yeah, <laughs> cool chosen. Don't uh, blame them. Do yeah, I don't think a lot them. of people want to fight that. Jeez, those Minotaurs got riggedy riggedy wrecked, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Uh oh. Oh, they're gonna get sandwiched. Ooh, little premature there, Kev. Little premature. Okay, while well, you guys deal with that, um, I've got other battle to focus on. Uh, God, these guys can honestly actually just pile in through the gate at this stage. Charge this way. Anyone that makes it. You're great. <laughs> oh. Battering rams here. <laughs> oh, guys, we got it. We got the ram. Uh, yeah, sadly, old Scarabrand um, and uh, Crabulon made it in first. What was your power? Do a thing. Rampage? Sure, why not? So apparently Scarabrand, Scarbrand gets um, his stats go up every time he kills something. Really? So getting him just to chew up some chod to, to warm him up. Okay. Pretty good. That sounds perfect. Uh, sure. Move on. How are my other best boys doing? They are having just a really miserable time now. Yeah. I feel like they've done a fantastic distraction job, though. It pulled a good portion of their army away. Yeah. You guys can make it down off the walls now. My um, special blood letters. God, they are really committing heavy. Wow, it's the Griffin Legion itself. Oof. Oh, wow. They're from the books. They're from the books, Ben. Okay, blood letters into shooty boys. That feels like a... <laughs> feels like a big win. Oh, charge. Charge. Yeah. Oof. How's the crabby boy doing? Oh, God. Is that the big gun? <gasps> oh! Bear cannon! On ice sledge. It's pretty <laughs> nimble, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, okay. Oh, Scarabrand's just murdered their general. Perfect. I'll take it. All right, you just charge on in. You don't want to double bloodthirst to the bear? Oh. Big ice bear? Oh, yeah. Why not? Kill the bear. Go use, use bloodthirster on bear. Where's my wizard boy? Do you want to come and do a thing? The elemental bear. He is pretty cool. He's massive. Look how little those blood letters look next to him. Chomp. Chop that ass. Well, they are going through him pretty well. Okay. You guys. We'll find someone just to charge. How is this side of the battle going? Not great. great. Not great. Not great at all. Uh, Gray has donated two hundred dollars. Tom. Holy Capoli. That's a lot of bucks. That's a lot of bucks. Thank you very much, Gray. Oh my God. 
He says American here, first time donor, long time Vod Goblin. Well, howdy, partner. Thanks for many years of entertainment. Chump me up if possible. We did, man. You're one of the very few who got chumped up in our two turns of chumping. Um, yeah. You're a sexy Slaneshi army general. Thank you. Very erotic. Mm. You had that big tongue. That's crabby. Oh, uh, crabby. Bonk. You don't want to get punched by that. Yeah, that is super generous. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, yeah, wow. Thank you so very much. Super, super kind. Uh, God, these guys are... No, don't get distracted by, like, <laughs> one man. <laughs> Build a bear. That man had blood in him, though, Tom. There's and no... a skull. Yeah. He has the same amount of skulls as this thing does. <laughs> exactly. Actually, probably more skulls. Yeah, I don't think this thing's going to leave a skull. I think it's going to uh, turn into a pile of earth. And... Corn's not going to be favoured by that at Ooh, all. Yeah, no skull. No skull. No skull confirmed. Uh, you heard it here first. Can't make a throne out of that, can you? What is that? I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what you've got selected. Scarbrand. Oh, he breathed fire! Uh, wow, just evaporated <laughs> my own boys. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay, right. Oh. Just go crazy. Just go in there and just. Just go ham on them. Um, you guys can come up. We've got a nice little front line. Well, you know what? Corn only cares from where the blood... Cares not from where it flows. Only that it flows. Yeah. Oof, God, Ooh. they are just getting pounded. Okay, someone shut that down. I do not want to get cannons too much more. Who's going on over here? I... Okay, the... Backdoor force is a sad force, indeed. Well, they were an excellent diversion, though. Uh, We'd still be trying to breach this first gate if they had all his troops here. Yeah. Okay, I might need a Bloodthirster to go and do a bit of chopping up in there as we slowly just move through the streets. McElthrad has donated and says, Hi, Thomas Cromwell and Benjamin Disraeli. Wow. I don't remember them from Warhammer. The only history I care to know. It's the, it's the most fun history. <laughs> <laughs> Assembling my first ever minis while watching the stream. I brought the Shadow Throne box, so using the Gene Cop models as practice before I get on to the beautiful Golden Boys. Love the streams. Looking forward to Tomstrem. Mm, it's coming. When is Tomstrem? Oh, Lord, it's coming. It's coming. TM soon. And these bears kind of... Kind of fuck these boys up. They are not killing very quickly. Hmm. Actually, we're doing bonus stream, aren't we? Bonus stream. Tomorrow with Tom Ben. T Tom and Ben. Tomorrow doing additional streaming. What yeah. the heck? Sponsored streams. What the heck? We're going to play some games. Yeah, we are. Thursday at five. That's right. Do you like this? Well, there's more, but different. <laughs> but I hate different things. Don't worry. It's, it's going to be close enough. It's going to be the same old jerking around. Same old nonsense. Right. Can we just cannon their cannon? That sounds like a fun game. Oh, the Sword of Corn is ready. You yeah, I'm that waiting. Bear cannon up? Waiting for the Cav to uh, uh, get busy. Oh, shit, the Bloodthirst is real sad. Well, he should kill more then. Okay, cannons. Can you cannon his cannon? Uh, Maybe. Yeah. Are they, are they thinking about it, or are they not even trying? Do they not have line of sight? <laughs> How close do you need to be? They're pretty quick. That's quick for cannons. <laughs> Just because they're motorbikes. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Oh, Whoa! Wow. His morale is sad. Bears don't like explosions, it turns out. Bears don't like being shot by motorbike cannons. Oh, that banner is in the way of your health bar. <laughs> Let's just sit here and watch until they do it. Do you want to shoot more? Are you guys in the way? Come on, just blast, blast him. Oof. Okay, it does some damage. Right. Oh! 
Wow, Bloodthirster. Oh, yeah. Dead. Okay, well, I need to find where that cab is because they're actually kind of scaring me. Uh, Zed Junkenstein has donated. Oh, Zed Junkenstein. Hello, Ben and Tom from Lazy Hobbyist. Any advice to someone who is a bit lazy about completing their hobby projects? And uh, a bit too focused on perfection to progress on them when eventually working on them. I think that is a pain we all feel um. of not quite being asked to finish and also not really wanting to get in because it's never going to be as good as it is in your head. Uh, for me, I'd say you got to... Sometimes you got to just plan, like, look, I'm not... I'm not going to paint these to the best of my standard because I just want them to get them painted. Mm. And that can be... have value as well. Definitely. You can uh, just do, like, maybe I'll do this one... Maybe I'll do the, the army general or a cool guy really well. And then the rest yeah. I'll just make sure they get done. Um, and as for getting motivation up, I found the time when I was painting the most was when I had, like, a podcast or like a series that I had on in the background or an audio book mm -hmm. that I was really into and oh, when I was really into it oh god Scarabran Scarabran. is he's gonna die he is 100% gonna die I can't save him though wait throw a sword at him but there's a lot of people shooting don't run too far uh bonk pretty good oh they're using their special Kislev ice powers uh oh. Run. Apparently, right. you have to melee charge with the cannon bikes. It's hilarious, according to chat. Okay. Well, one of them ran out of ammo. God, they don't actually have a lot of ammo. Mm. Oh, Scarabrand died. Oh, fuck. Rest in peace. Lost both bloodthirsters. Yeah, God, th this army that we're up against has a lot of shooting. Come on. I said charge. I pressed the button. Oh, their morale broke. Okay, let's nice. just watch the charge. Boop, boop. <laughs> Such a dumb thing. Yeah, are they silly? <laughs> the it's a little putt putt engine as well. Yeah. It sounds like it's like a little like fucking fifty cc. Yeah. Like you know you're whoa. Al whoa you're allowed to drive it when before you've got your license because it's so low power. Yeah. <laughs> Can't charge. <me>. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing. Death nuts. Like it, like it sounds like a lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, it really Ow! does. <laughs> it's doing that like dog butt attack. You seen that? Oh, apparently what? they get me they get their ammo back from doing melee kills. Really? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it just hoovers up the blood and skulls, throws them at people. <laughs> These guys are jokes. Look at those fucking mouths on its side of its head. <laughs> We're hungry too. <laughs> yeah. Charge. Charge, please. <laughs> Just mush that guy into a wall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're cool. I like them a lot. I think these guys are awesome. Oh. Bam. We corned them. God, like, it was a bit a bit bloody. There was a good degree of just charging charging nonsense in. Yeah, just getting it in there. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Vosbender has donated. God, 193 kills on the crab. Ooh, okay. Crab better than Bloodthirster. That's good to know. Well, they actually got less... Uh... Oh, less damage. Oh, because the Bloodthirster was hacking away at the bear for a while. Yeah. Mm. The Blood Crushers never even made it into combat. Oh, I think they just sat outside the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting, waiting for an opportunity. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, so, High Stone. Oh, I didn't, read, I didn't read Vosbender yet. Oh, what? I started to and then got distracted. Uh, so Vosbender says, just wanted to say, Tom Benstrems, 
and TTS are the two best things that have happened to Warhammer in the last decades. Wow. Are you wow. sure it's not Kragnos? Yeah, because I guess decades might just mean like two decades. In the last 20 years. And Kremlo was before that. Oh, well, that's true. So they can't include uh, Kremlo. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just a given. That's the golden age of Warhammer. That is the golden age. It was the best time. Hail Kremlo. Thank you, Uh Cool. What do we want to do now? What? Uh, I want to see some cafes. Sure. Should we be the cafe? Do you want to do a defending as cafe in a siege? Oh, I just yeah. Like the, I just like the look of sieges. Do it. Um, Let's be a cafe. Dragon Gate. Everyone talks about the Dragon Gate. Oh, wait. We can see what the, has the coolest footprint. Yeah. Um, I go from there. Uh, so Heightstone donates five bucks. The Heightstone. Uh, and they say, Bob, Tim, this week I crawled up from the Vod Goblin pile. They all said hello. Uh, found a pearl while I was in there, though. Uh, it's worth something. Mm. Also, I have a question. A foot-related one. Oh. Oh, God. What are the most uh, oh, food-related? Oh, no, I read that's foot. Okay. That's uh, what? would be the most rare and luxurious meal in 40k versus Age of Sigmar. Um, mm. Anything that isn't corpse starch, pretty good. I couldn't tell you what they, anything about Age of Sigmar lore, food related. So I'll have to stick to 40k. But do you think there's some kind of like rare delicacy that only comes from like some kind of unusual alien species? Like Eldar testicles or like oh yeah um yeah yeah crawl brain definitely do you think you know how like some people will eat the special blowfish the poison blow blowfish fugu fish fugu because you know it's rare and risky is there that with like a tyranid ripper where you have to like oh yeah with well, it's like toxin sex you gotta like get rid of the toxin <laughs> yeah. sex otherwise you will die yeah probably someone's done that um there's probably something somewhere where like there's only a single strawberry plant in the whole 41st millennium and it's in some palace oh somewhere. yeah yeah i can i can see that being a thing i think generally everything in 40k is awful mm. so anything that's real nice now anything that is food uh yeah just doesn't exist anymore in the future so like everyone eats like recaf they drink recaf instead of coffee so maybe normal coffee is like a decadent luxury that you only a very few people can actually get hold of. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, oh, we've got to select a different race. How do I... Uh, Grand Café. Grand Café. I want to be one of the dragon peoples. Do you want to be Zhao Ming, the Iron Dragon, or Mao Ying, the Storm Dragon? Storm Dragon. Cool. Oh wait, how do I change to be a defender? Defend. Um, the uppy downy arrow underneath me, on the left. Bonk. Defendo. Sure. Okay. Right. And who do we want to be fighting? Uh, demons. I can. It has to be demons of chaos or. Oh no, we can fight against anyone, can't we? We can fight anyone. Um. Do an ogres kind of want to see some ogres in action. We're allowed, right? I'm following your rules, Ben. The email said against anyone. Sure. There's nobblers. She said, ah, well, Grease's gold tooth himself. Sure, why not? No, oh, that gold chevron. Holy shit. Perfect. Uh, okay, we're Grand Cafe. Also, this is like a famous classical fight. Yeah. Um, the uh, the people... Um, right, I don't really know a lot of what they've got, but I know we've got a big robot. Perfect. So, super want that. Do we have guns? Well, you, um, built that army. I'm just going to double check that email. <laughs> yeah, that's probably worth doing. Celestial Dragon Crossbowman. Oh, well, 100%. Oh, God, they're expensive. Uh, Wait, can we... Uh, Unisguile... Large armies... Are we on the 26th? 
jail the 26th. Okay, so they got a whole, whole heap of garbage now. We're Zhao Ming, right? We're Mao Ying. Oh, let's be the other guy. Zhao Ming. Let's be on the safe side. Perfect. Uh... Uh, okay. Date warriors with halberds. Halberds are the best things in the game, right? Halberds are amazing. We'll need shooters, obviously, if we're defending. There's two units of Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen. Wow. Sound fantastic. Uh, what are my guns? Fire rain rockets. I always love rockets. Uh, let's get, like, just one of each of those. And then a lot of peasants. Flies. Sky junk. Sure. Oh god, let's just have a look at a little bit of everything. Uh, Cav? I don't know if I need Cav. Yeah, versus any in-game faction. Perfect. Any in-game faction. Boom. Take that to the bank. Okay, sure. That's my army. Oh, right, yeah. So the gimmick here is... Every unit is either a yin or a yang unit. What? So generally, uh, missile troops are yin and melee troops are yang. Sure. And they need to be near the opposite unit to get a buff. What? So you need to like pair up your boys. What? If you keep all your missile units just with missile units and no melee near them, they'll be like, man, I ain't got no yang. Okay. Okay. Sure. Wow. Oh, uh, they don't have Grease's Gold Teeth anymore. Oh, that's sad. Oh, did they change their army? Uh, yeah, I refreshed it because I put it onto a bigger uh, army so they I could see. have more stuff. They have a lot of stuff. But I'm hoping that they can like kind of punch through and we'll have to fight them in the streets later. Yeah, they will punch through eventually. Although, can ogres climb walls? Noblars can, and they'll be able to get through those gates, for sure. Well, yeah, but is it just going to be all about the gates, I wonder? Because they're big boys who don't use ladders. I don't know. Oh, they can all crush through walls, apparently. Well, that sounds terrible. Yikes. Oaks can break walls. <laughs> Kool-Aid guy. It's a me! <laughs> is, that what, is that what he says? That's it. I think he says, oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. Uh, okay, right. I'm going to do some deployment. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Ooh, it's pretty. Wow, geez, why am I not defending that gate? <laughs> why am I defending this one? <laughs> Try and crush through this wall, you nerds. Because <laughs> yeah. clearly they're attacking here because they see the rest of the wall and they're like, mm. no. No, not at all. Wow. Uh, sure. Okay, let's take on an, a little adventure. Wow, he's very small. I think he can turn into a dragon. Very small. God, he's got a lot of things. Ooh. Okay. I'll pay attention to those later. Oh, oh yeah. He's a big lad. Okay. I like him. You. Where's my main gate? Where are they mainly attacking? Okay, let's split between the two side gates. Let's go on the side where that general is. We have a little peek at the yogi units, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have a little look at everyone. What's the thing pulled by cows? Uh, oh, we'll get to it. Oh, my God. We've got balloon boys. This thing looks amazing, because I really like that style of sort of like a, like a mm. Chinese balloon warship. Um, fire rain rockets. <gasps> wow. Like That looks super rare. Yeah, I love it. I love you. Uh, you guys wow, are... Wow, they're just going to shoot that wall. Shooty, shooty McTooties. We need to move slightly to the side. <laughs> oh god, wow, they are not Omega Shooty. Uh, I stand ready. Right, who are you? Who's that guy? Magic car. Oh, <laughs> sure. The Spellcaster. Oh. Yang. Okay. I guess there's a Buffmobile. Uh, big gun. Mm -hmm. oh, these look amazing. Gun, sad ox. Ooh, they look cool. I like so the high have, collars. Yeah, those high collars look awesome. Um, these are just people with guns. Just 
people with swords. They were not very expensive. And then there's a unit of peasants. <laughs> sure. Who I don't think are going to be doing the most in the world. Uh, okay, Rhinox Cav. Oh, God, they look so good, man. I love ogres. Man eaters. Perfect. Very cool. Uh, oh, so they're Mournfang Cav. Are those Rhinox riders? Yeah. Uh oh, that's bad. Those guys are not who you want to be tussling with. Uh, oh, there's that Generalissimo. It looks cool. God, I really like that as a weapon. They're like meat tenderizing. Mm. Super rad. What have you got over here? Oh, this is just like the Noblos, Noblar side. <laughs> I okay. want to see the Noblars. We haven't seen them before. Me. Oh, they're even more gobbyer than the gobbos. That cool. guy's got a pan on his head. Pan on his head. <laughs> They've all got colds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, iron guts. Boom. The stone horn. Yeah, I don't know. He's new, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Because they brought him out when I stopped playing fantasy. Uh, man eaters with just a sword. Oh, iron guts. God, this side actually looks terrifying. Oh, <gasps> lead pelches. Oh, they've got the taper in their mouth. Yeah. Oh, they're Perfect. great. We'll have and a hunter. Cool. Oh, they're, they're awesome. I like them a lot. Okay, right. Uh, you can do some reading while I do some. Yeah, I'm worried by how small the units of the um, cavalry are because we're playing on like ultra unit size. Is this ultra? No, I think this is large. Maybe it's ultra. Okay, well, we've got 120 guy in a regiment, and there's, it looks like there's like 10 of those guys in a regiment. Which makes me think, they're strong. They're going to be beefy boys. All right, we've got Commander Skate has donated. Hey. Thank you very much. And says, Tomb Bean, American fish nerd here, named after a species of skate. First time donating. Been watching you consistently since the beginning of a big panini in 2020. Thank you for all the laughs, and to Tom for his YouTube channel, and to Ben for streaming. Kremlo. Kremlo be with you. Kremlo be with you too, brother. Thank you, Commander Sk Skate. Uh, Zoltax has donated. Zoltax. Roomba Servitor Tom, and Microwave Servitor Ben. So usually, do during Christmas, I went through all the old Battle Boys videos. And I always wonder, what happened to Tom's bonkers tank army? Will we see that meme troop again? Or is it all scrapped? Uh, I've still got that. Uh, like, that's on my little list of projects to finish because I only need to do a tiny little bit of work to it to actually... Mm. Uh, just I just need to paint the um, side spots and guns, which I never had stuck onto it. Ah. Um, and then that army is done. And with the recent points drops, mm. it fit a little bit of uh, Get like extra extra love. What a man's in there or something? No, no man. Only gun. <laughs> Only tank. Um, you know, um, they gave Lehman Russ a two plus save. Yeah. Like. And drop their points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, which I love. So I remember someone. Um, and they're not bitter, Ben. Not bitter. <laughs> I remember the comment you're about to <laughs> talk Someone about. Someone being like, oh my god, it's such a try-hard army. And like, two weeks later, they lowered the points of like, everything in the army. Yeah. Because... It was shit. <laughs> it was a shit army. And then when they brought the codex out, they let them shoot twice if they yeah, didn't they move. Yeah, they buffed them. They let them, all your uh, Lehman Russ, shoot twice if they didn't move. They made them so much better, and a points drop. Um, and this person was like, mm, Tom is such a filthy tryhard. Such a tryhard army. <laughs> but it was just actually really bad. It's no, it's a super shit army. They don't know what they're talking about. Idiot. But said with the confidence of a nerd. Exactly. That's right. A fucking nerd. Damn <laughs> nerds. Uh, okay, right. What well, haven't I deployed? Oh. Oh, I've got. Okay, I've got a big lantern and a little lantern. What do you even do? Do you have like a little shooting thing? Harmony amplifier, twenty-five percent. Are you just like here to like hang and buff? It's there to buff all your yin yang combo boys. Right. Mm. Sure. Yeah, this was a while ago. Um, 
Oh, uh, yeah, this parallels. was eight. This was at the start of 8th edition. <laughs> yeah, 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 because we got hot to get into it with a new edition. Yeah. But, yeah. Um... Are you saving your um, building bucks? Oh, I completely forgot about building bucks. Are they actually buffed? Are they going to shoot? Just shoot anything. Literally anything. Okay, the balance power is super against. I'm worried. I don't know how much damage these guys can do to walls. Oh, Ooh! I like the way they walk. Like ape, ape ogres. Yeah. Okay, I don't really know what this is doing. Bombard. Sounds great. Celestial lightning. How quickly will these guys go through walls? Do I, I need to? No be idea. Thinking about pulling back. <laughs> what already? I guess we'll find out. Uh. I don't know how that mechanic will go. Uh, Commander Skate has donated again. Hey. Also, Ben, the two millimeter strength and honor rules for the laser cut two millimeter MDF armor you and Tom looked at a few weeks ago are not out yet. But there's a demo game by the creator in Bristol at Big on February 12th during Winter Wonder Lard 2. Really? From when I came from Jimmy Space. Oh, that reminds me, actually, I went to Big the other day and they were having an epic tournament there. Is this, was this the orc only one? No, this was a proper one. Wow. And it was called the Winter Warmer, which made me smile because that was the one me and Ryan used to run. Yeah. Back in the day. They they back on it. And there's Shit. another one in like two months' time. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Um But yeah, I might see if I can make it down, because um on the twelfth. I might be able to do that. Is that what is that when they're demoing the the two, two, mil. two mil stuff, yeah. I was looking at that stuff and I was like, oh, it looks really cool. But then I was like, I wouldn't mind like, just doing a test paint of some of that. Mm -hmm. um, but I was like, oh, geez, actually, the postage from Oz. Oh, are they in Australia? Was super expensive. Oh, that's and I was like, oh, actually, this what seems like a really cheap, fun little side project just to like do as a throwaway thing. Yeah. Oh, fuck, it's actually cost me a lot of money to actually... Oh, I'm sure someone in the UK can do it. There's a million laser cut wargaming people in the UK. At least, if not the exact same design, something similar. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's not forget about our dragon boy. How do we oh, yeah. how do we dragon boy him? He's sleeping. Transform into dragon. Maybe save it until they breach the walls. Although God, they're actually, we're kind of like pounding their troops pretty hard. Okay, all health dropping. Keep an eye on those walls. Mm. Oh god. Yeah, I might pop in to big on that day and see if get some more intel for you. On the mini the mini mans. Mm hmm Um Yeah, I'd like to go along. I've not been to the new big. Oh yeah. We could make a Tom and Ben date of it. Aw. Uh oh. Oh, some of the Gnoblars. I feel like they're not going to be able to fight me. But just in case, I am going to start pulling back, especially my elites. Oh, God, they are slowly smoshing my walls up. Mm. The walls are breached. What? Where? Oh, oh shit, the big big thing smashed through. Oh, oh the big thing did smash. Both the big things. Yes. Okay, I do not think uh, Pleb Swordsman are going to hold that line. Nope. Have we got any um Luckily, I've got halberds? my Raukets. Yeah, I've got Halberdies over there. Okay, cool. Do you want to send Dragon Man over there, or is he needed over here? Oh, God, you guys. Can you escape? Oh, God, this is now stressful. Um, Sendor has donated. Thank you. Love the streams, long time viewer, first time donating. Been a fan since 2011 and proud. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you, Sendor. Donated 69 as well. Oh. Nice. That's the sex number. Okay, that's bad. God, he just went straight through them. More, uh, should we put down some towers or something? Without, oh, yeah. Without yeah, right. Where am I building those? Not many 
It's mostly about just building like temporary barricades, isn't it? That's not. Oh, this middle fortress. No, that just gives you the points. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, look, there's a tower spot. Back. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Sure. What's the most expensive? Explosive tower? Great. Why not? Oh, God. Uh, cannon tower. Sure. Raise the dragons. Okay, who are you? Iron Guts. Oh my god, that stone horn is kind of yeah. freaking me out. Give him the cannonings. I kind of want to fight into that like little gap. Oh god, that's, that's a mess. There's some more artillery somewhere that's snozzing. Yeah, because they haven't breached the walls on that side yet. Oh, I see. Uh, I lie, they have breached the walls. But luckily I've got a big, big man. Big man waiting. My rain stuff all lives. I've got the magic orb generator. Oh my god, crushes. Uh, Hobbities can chill. Uh, Flower Boy has donated. Thank you for the $10. And they say, uh, you guys got me into Warhammer. I've never played it before, seeing you all. And then I got Warhammer 2. About to buy some pre-painted chain ghasts and a Lycaron. I've never played Warhammer, but they just look pretty. But if I did play, are they good? I've no idea. That's um, chain rasps are the basic infantry for Nighthorn, right? Yeah. And the Lycaron? I don't even know what that is. No. But that's uh, sort of Age of Sigma stuff, which we're not really up to date on what's good and what's not. So the chain rasps are kind of shit, but they're like your chod infantry. Mm -hmm. But um, it doesn't matter if they're kind of shit because. Um, they die, but then you keep bringing them back because they're spooky ghosts. Ah. And so... Um, and replaceable. It doesn't matter if they're... Um, you know, they're not going to actually do that much killing themselves. They just hang around and just upset people. What is this? Oh, wow. That's a good, good ability. Mm. Probably should have used that before. I want all of your spells. Dragon's yes, Breath? So many spells. There's a lot of things. When I see that many things, I'm like, I'm not even going to read any of them. There's <laughs> just big damage. Explosion. Sure. Wind. Uh, Seth, thank you for the donation. 20 bucks. Very generous. Oh, thank you very much. Hello, Tom and Ben. Question you might have asked before. If you could create two Chaos Gods, and it must be two if they need to be rivals. What would they be? Uh, oh. Hmm. Another question, which you might have guessed, is if you got to create the two missing Primarchs, what would they be? Oh, did you see one of them has like a potential reference in the Custodes book? Really? I've yeah. not read through the lore on that yet. Um. Tell me uh, more. It talks about kept in the basement of the throne that the Shadow Keepers look after. Oh, yeah, the secret forbidden vaults of the custodies. Like, it mentions, like, oh, down there they guard, um, you know, whatever. The fabled people, like the beast of Crag or Drags. Mm hmm. Whatever. And um, also like subject 11. Oh, but 11 is the missing is the number of yeah, one of the like, missing primarchs. Yeah, it's right? like but there's like a word. It's like the the mysterious subject 11 or something uh, like that. Okay. And so it so could it, be him, it could be something. It, it could, could be, be an SCP for all we know. <laughs> yeah, it could be literally anything. But uh oh, we're mm. going to transform. Oh, it's dragon time. Boo, 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 boo. Maybe it's got full full speed. Wow. He's doing some kung fu before he Hiya. descends. And... I'm a dragon! Roar. Roar. It's me, a dragon boy. He's cool. He is cool. Okay, I really, I really need a lot of help over here. Those stone horns have messed me up. Like, super badly. Whoa. Uh, Noblars yeah. are not messing me up. Oh, chaos God. What Chaos God would I would I create? Um, 
chaos god of bureaucracy. Oh yeah. And yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Just do um, the Tom and Ben chaos gods. There's the fucking book nerd one. And yes. There's one that's a, a. It's a bit like corn, but not as angry. It's like dumb, like a. Uh, it's a dumb thumping. Crumper. It's kind of kind of getting a bit of a Gorkin. <laughs> Gorkin like a, Gork vibe. <laughs> Yeah, I can get on board with that. Just the personification of, of Tom and Ben. Yeah, one that loves book rules, the other one. But you to avoid... Oh, wow, how did you spook him? He's barely injured. I don't know. I think the whole army is kind of breaking now. Oh, they are. They're all breaking because the dragon turned up. Because there's a dragon. Wow. And to stop the, um, the admin god being actually a god of order and still being a god of chaos, it has to be such a, like perverse and corrupted bureaucracy that it actually serves no purpose and achieves nothing. Yeah, like the you know I mean? Vogons in Hitchhiker's Guide. Guide of the Galaxy, exactly. That's the kind of Chaos God energy I'm looking for. Like, it's so litigious and grinding, and I feel like it's you've got a bit of, like, a Zeech vibe in there. <laughs> yeah. The, you know, stuff can happen with it, but it's unfathomable to <laughs> anyone who doesn't yeah. understand it. Like, absolutely impenetrable. So many forms. So many forms, different colored forms, the wrong forms. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, who was good? What are these guys? Uh, are some of those guns, but I guess they shot uh, Noblars. Who did like a good killy? They did amazing. Celestial like dragon that. crossbowmen. They did pretty good. I get the feeling the walls must have done a lot. Yeah. Because they lost 1,200 guys, and we've probably only killed about 400, 500 tops. Yeah, what the hell? I think the walls did far more work than we did. My god. My god. Uh, boom. Cool. Mm. What do you want to do? Hmm. Should we fight like... Can we play the old races? Can we play against um, some of the old races? I don't know. Are they in the game? They've got old race... Um, Maps. Energy. I don't like, think we can. What about the CPU? Uh, no, I guess they haven't merged it with the... Um, yeah. I guess when it comes out, they'll be like, okay, now you plug in your old games to unlock all the Yeah, old yeah, I think that's probably how, how it would work. Because they've got the old maps. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, what kind of, I don't know. What kind of things do people want to see? Hmm, tell us in chat. Know. What do you want to see? Who versus who? What kind of battle? What kind of map? Um, we are limited on what we can play as. Uh, we have mm. um, Cathay. We can be Cathay, Corn, or Demons of Chaos. We can't be any of the others, but we can be against anyone. Is there anything in Demons that we didn't really see? Oh, the Exalted Flamer. I kind of want to see him. Some great and clean ones. I haven't seen them. Love great and clean ones. Oh, yeah. Got to get a big, big stanky boy in. Yeah, let's be Demons. Mm -hmm. um, and make like a Chaos Undecided best of all worlds list. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? Just land battle? Yeah, we haven't actually done a pitch battle yet. Why oh, not? We're doing a choke point battle. Oh. In the realm of Nurgle? Oh, realm of Slanesh. Choke point. Choke me, daddy Slanesh. Should we just do... <laughs> Should we just do, like, five great unclean ones sit in a choke point <laughs> while the enemy tries to shift them? What, versus 100,000 Noblars? Is that <laughs> yeah. what you want to see? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I guess we could do it. Or Probably. should we do like the four Chaos God, the, do the Chaos Power Rangers, where it's like all four yeah. greater demons, powers combined, led by Blorko. Blorko and the Power Rangers. Yeah. What do you want to fight? Um, I guess less points, because his army is going to be much smaller. Should we make our army, find out how much it costs, and then set that to the amount? Sure. Uh, Whatever the most expensive Blorko is, I suppose. 
This guy, just Demon Prince. Uh, <laughs> Grand Vomitus, that's fun. Uh, sure. Block. Do you have, like, upgrades? He's got them. Okay. Right. Sure. Okay, so we've got Blorko. Stick in, like, a great and clean one. A bloodthirster. Keep your secrets. Order to change. Should we make them all, like, level 9? Yeah, we will. Uh, you can keep... Apparently we can use actual Blorko. Is that true? Ready? Oh, because there was an option to save characters. It might not uh, be in the game yet. It might be... So you can, like, load them in. Okay, so we're, like, uh, 14,000 bucks. How many Groblars can we give them? <laughs> it doesn't have to just be Groblars. We can stick some other stuff in, too. I love that Groblans. <laughs> uh, no, who are the... Who else? Uh, what do they have? That would be good. Do we go up against Cathay? Yeah, right. Oh my god, that's a lot. Hang on, did you set the money right? Oh, no. Uh... Uh, Maverick Maximum has donated. Thank you very much. I say, finally managed to catch a stream. Um, and it's about my most anticipated game. Can't wait to follow Blorko's ascent into sexiness. Oh, you will have to wait next week to see the continuing adventures of Blorko. But we will get there. It's common. Mega Harold has donated again. Mega Harold! <laughs> Since we unquestionably and without fault or any possible counter-argument established that last week that the Emperor is a beach-going tanned Chad, does that mean that he did not create the Thunder Warriors? Since he's allergic to science, <laughs> is the Emperor a liar? Oh, yeah. I think he just... You know, he invented the Thunder Warriors in the same way that Elon Musk invented a fucking Mars spaceship. Do you know what I mean? He told someone else to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think so. He was the boss. Maybe the Empress just does not not do anything good. He's just um, just a manager. And he just hired like a golden Adonis to be his front man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think so. Yeah, because it's, um, what's his name? Stay a while and listen. <laughs> uh, who's always with him. Malkador. Oh, Malkador. <laughs> doesn't he like do all the work? Yeah, he does all. He's he's. You're in this, that scenario. Malkador is the Emperor's Ben. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I always picture Malkador being just like that fucking guy from um. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what from Diablo? Yeah, the, the guy doing a Sean Connery impression. What's his name? Stay a Kane. while. Duquesne or something like that. Deckard Kane. Deckard Kane. Hey, stay a while. Stay a while. Listen, I'll identify all your magic items. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, right. You have some magic spells. Very cool. Yes. Okay, we had some spare points just because I had like roughly like rounded it out. So I did bring um, a motorbike because they are <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> and extra I, I want to see what the exalted oh, flame. Oh yeah, is it's just one guy with fucking crab hands. He's amazing. Almost fish hands, isn't it? Yeah. Look at his little skirt. He's great. Pooping out magic. He's great. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Let's see the grit and clean on here. Oh, he looks amazing. God, oh, grit and clean is so cool. What a boy. Mm. Ooh, sultry stairs. Very stern. I think that could pull off the blue steel look. Oh, wow. Oh, that uh, guy looks great. Big tentacle staff. Okay, Blorko's Avengers assembled. Yeah, we are here and ready to go. Uh, sure. Says the odds are a little in their favor. Um, oh, nice. Uh -huh. yeah. First blood. <laughs> Boom, suck it. <laughs> what have they got? Crossbowmen. What are those birds they've got? What are those? Uh, <laughs> Bird horses. Great. Longma. Ligma. 
Long my balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey, no rocketing Blocko's Rangers. That's cheating. I feel like their powers combined, they summon Captain Blocko. Captain Blocko. Oh my god, Greg Cleaner not liking being shot that much. Okay, keep blasting. What are your abilities? No. no. Kadakak has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, Tom Bent, being a Vod Goblin for the past year, and I just wanted to say thank you for all the content. I've been thinking of converting a veterinary custodian to use the face of an enemy model as the flying base. But I wasn't sure what enemy model to use. Any ideas, Kremlo? Ah! Uh, oh, it's always fun to do one that, like, you're, uh, it's someone that you play regularly. Yeah. They've yeah. got that. Do your regular opponent's one, for sure. Um, that's always a fun, a fun time. Okay, right, great. Clean one. God, that thing actually looks kind of terrifying. Oh, wow, is that a Regiment of Renown one or something? It looks spookier than the one we uh -oh. had. My Flame Boy, he just got instantly charged by... Peasant. Peasant oh, horse. they just got rocketed by friendly fire. <laughs> Fools. Oof. Uh, oh, my God, Blorko is getting fucked up. Oh, my God, the flying horses. Okay, God, wow, their shooting is actually... Wait, Get, um, Bloodthirster. Bloodthirster's anti-large. He could probably fuck up the flying horses pretty royally. Okay. I just need someone to go and chop some of that. Uh, Stream Corruption? Sure. Uh, Cannon is doing the shooting. Can you do the flaming? God, I don't think Blocko's Avengers is going to come good in this fight. Uh, the shooting. The shooting is cheating. <laughs> the You are almost dead. The Bloodthirster's snoozing. Oh. In front of the crossbows. Great. <laughs> Jesus. Great job. <laughs> uh, sure. You. Okay, actually, Graham Cleveland's kind of tanking this out. Uh, you, you need friend? to flee. Fly, you fool. Mm. Fly. The, the Kipper's you sleeping. Fool. What the heck? Kipper of Secrets. Charge. What? What? That's not the voice I expected a Keeper to have. Your wow. I thought they'd be a bit more like... Sensuous. S yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bit less voice changer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you like scary movies? <laughs> Your secrets are mine. <laughs> it's kind of what he sounds like. Uh, okay, there's a horse one. Oh, he's endowed. Endowed with power. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to feel my power? Ooh, yes. Oh my god. Birdo. Birdo sad. Yeah, Birdo real sad. Okay. God, that Terracotta Warrior is still just going for it. Oof. Those damn birds up there. What the heck? Motorbikes having just a sad time. I end up dealing with some of their shenanigans, but... Okay, Team Bird. Do you need to keep reading? Must be, uh... Yeah, sorry. Uh, Cake Batter has donated as well and says, Tom, you turned me into a screamer. Ah! Thank you, Cake Batter. Um, Red Kite has donated and says, Not safe for work, Tom, and too safe for work, Ben. Watching while doing some overtime, uh, because one of us has to be productive. I'm moving in a couple of weeks. Do you have any moving tips? Where was I from? Coming soon. No, just just fucking get on with it. Like, don't yeah, get just distracted. Don't keep putting it off. Put some music on, crank it up, and, and just fucking go, 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 go. Just get your head down and just do it. Um, yeah, anything else is faffing about. Yeah. Like, when I was moving, I did so much fucking around, and it made it take so much longer, was so much less fun, was just a gigantic pain in the balls. Mm -hmm. um, I conquer. Jesus, this fucking Sentinel is not dying, is he? If anything, is this thing healing him, or something healing him? Because, God, I feel like he is uh, just sticking around.
Um, Fruit King Aldurian, thank you. Hi again. Slightly bigger donation for the other end of Tom and Ben's DP fund. <laughs> Throw Koroshenko in the name pool while you're at it. Now that's a filthy vodkobo. Blorko came from the end credits. <laughs> thank you, Fruit King Aldurian. Well, thank you, my dude. Appreciate it. Loki's Avengers are not holding up well. They're not, are they? They're getting real sad real fast. Uh, and he's just like not being able to... Oh. Oof. Close to feet, apparently. Doesn't feel like it. it doesn't feel like it. Oof. Oof. God, we feel like we barely killed anything. No. Like, barely a third. They got zero kills. I guess you feel any all of the guys died from instability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they don't have morale. Instead, they just um, they lose health when they're low morale. Just melt. Mm. Oof. They must have had a bunch of anti-large. Um, Ojo Maze has donated and says, War? Hammer? Question. If you found a tomb of necromancy while cleaning up one day, what would you do with it? Thanks for the streams. Have a good evening. Um, I would I would raise a skeleton and get it, find out something it could do that I could sell. Yeah? Yeah. And then I'd have like an Etsy page or something. Or just... And I don't know. I just get it. I find a way for it to make me a lovely passive income and have my little skeletal workshop producing goods. I'll see if you can t get him to make more skeletons. Oh, yeah. And but then. you don't want anyone to see your skeleton. That's going to raise questions. Just put like a like a fun mask on him. Oh, and like just uh, you know, ET him. Weekend at Bernie's him. Get glasses and a big hat on him. Oh, it's the reverse of Weekend of Bones. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The absolute reverse. <laughs> yeah. He can move, but he looks dead. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Because I don't think, I don't feel like necromancers in fantasy stories do that enough, man. If you've got like a potentially endless labor force, you could go, you could build a castle very cheaply. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's kind of. I think it's just assumed that a lot of them do that, but they don't right. really go into the details. You don't need to... for a very logistics-heavy fantasy book. Yes, it goes into the ins and outs of, like, what, you don't need to conquer the world. You can build your own empire. You've got enough skeletons. You just go off to the Forbidden Lands or the w Northern Wastes or whatever mm -hmm. and develop your own, like, play Civ in real life. You know, found territories and produce goods and trade with your neighbours. Yeah, I guess they probably get upset because where are you getting all the skeletons from? And they're like, you literally have my nan <laughs> yeah. fucking digging ditches right now? That's not cool, Ben. And you're like, no, no, like, it's not her, it's her skeleton. Yeah, she's not using it anymore. Yeah. And then you can, like, sell your goods and use it to buy people's skeletons. You could, like, have, have agreements with people that, like, you know, people leave their bodies for, like, don they have donor cards for their organs, right? Oh, you get so people to like, donate their bones to you. I, yeah, and you you're pay like, the money up right front. now. I'll give you ten grand. Yeah, if I can have your skeleton when you're dead. Exactly. Like, there's no like shady business going on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to kill you or anything like that. No, nope. I get the body. I can wait. I'm an immortal necromancer. Yeah, don't mind the fucking sinister face and hood. Yeah, yeah, my big peaked hat <laughs> yeah. and my capering fool of an assistant. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, you won't see me again. Until you die. Yeah. And then, and then, boom, body comes to me. Mm hmm I think a lot of people would sign up for that. Also, like, you could even provide a service of, like, mm -hmm. look, your family, they can still have a funeral, they can bury you, mm -hmm. like, have the gravestone, whatever. How, you know, I'll come and get your body a year after you're done with it. Mm. Um, so they can, whatever, mourn for a bit. Yeah, yeah. But then it will come to me. I'll send my goons around, we'll dig it up. Mm-hmm. No one's any the wiser. Yeah, and if anyone asks you questions, I've got the contract. Yeah. I send in my Igor with the, they're allowed. <laughs> well, actually, we have a contract. <laughs> yeah. Like, boom. Igor. Yeah. But 
you wouldn't call him Eagle, you'd call him like Legal. <laughs> nice. With his, his binding <laughs> contracts. Um, oh. Yeah. I think it's smart. Yeah. That's how we do it. Yeah, and maybe you could pay out extra to the family if they um, if they were like a mighty warrior before they died, and then you can raise them as like a white. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how you get to be a white. Just because of the bones of a hero? Yeah. Or is it to do with how they're buried with fancy magic items? Well, it can't be that, because otherwise you could just have a tomb. Could I make a white factory? Just That's... have a fancy tomb full of like magic items, bury someone in it, a couple of years later, once they've like, absorbed that goodness, yeah, yeah, you just keep... crank them out and just have a production line. Chain burying. Yeah, um, get my grave guard going. Yeah, like, is that how it works? No, you've got to be like a badass, right? I think so. Yeah. you got your magic, your bones, whatever you did in life, it's stored in your bones. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> I guess. I think. Mm. Yeah, gotta make your Krells. The Krell factory. Well, yeah, he's like a corn corn boy, right? Yeah, he was chosen of corn. Uh, do you want to see another battle? You know, yeah, we need to do something better. Blocker's Avengers failed spectacularly. Blocker's Avengers was not was not the dream. Can we make something a bit more sensible? All frogs. All frogs. <laughs> no. I don't even know what the frogs do. I guess like we could kind of make like a Nurgle army. Uh, It'd be a lot cheaper to hire a skelly person to dig up as many bodies as possible. Yeah, but then people will get upset with you and they'll declare war on the evil necromancer who lives in the mountains. That's how that's how you get people raising an army. Because at first, mm. a bunch of villagers will turn up with pitchforks. Yeah, don't want and that. And they start knocking over your shit. And so you undoubtedly you end up killing them mm, and then bodies. the forces of good hear about it and this is going to take like two centuries mm -hmm. of like a hero will come out and you're like oh for fuck's sake yeah you they won't leave because they're like a force of good so you kill them mm -hmm. and then suddenly you now have thousands and thousands of skeletons and the nations of man <laughs> have forced you into this position <laughs> you're like yeah. if you just left me alone Everything would have been fine. Yeah. I will pay you the money for the bodies, but it's too late. It's gone way beyond that. Yeah. So you got to be careful. Exactly. And then the D&D &D parties start turning. Oh, God. And they're like, Ugh, you've got, uh, we heard you've got loot. Like, Fuck <laughs> yeah. off. Like, I, I do have loot, but it's money. I'm trying to do commerce here. <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone. I'm trying to make ye olde fantasy Amazon warehouse exactly. here. Exactly. For fuck's sake. Just go. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's uh, that's how it would go. And no one wants that. A uh, sparrow person has donated. Thank you. And they say, Hail Sir Tomalot and Sir Benivere. Finally, catching a stream live again. So I wanted to ask, since a lot of fantasy worlds take influence from historic cultures for interesting visuals, which fantasy race would you like to mash with a historic culture? Hmm. Fantasy race and historic culture. I mean, I feel like almost all of them have been done at some point somewhere. Like, you know how like lizard men are lizards and Aztecs, and like Kemri are Egyptian plus undead. Hmm. Um. I still feel like we haven't had enough undead like Romans and Greeks. That always looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's kind of fun. I guess like undead and any, anyone is good. Undead could, samurai looks cool. Yeah. Like you could have a sort of um, Indiana Jones uh, type thing or the mummy mm -hmm. in any culture. Yeah. Boom. Um, I'm in. Pretty much. I had spooky undeads. I'm into it. What about um, Renaissance goblins? I feel like you've seen. I've seen that. Oh wow! 
I feel like that's a thing. Because, like, the idea of, like, you know, the Leonardo da Vinci saw, like, ramshackle, mm -hmm. uh, like, vehicles and stuff. Right. The goblin style. I feel like, um... Uh... What's that thing called? Freebooter's Fate. I haven't seen that. It's like a miniatures game, I think. Um, which is like a pirate one. But I'm pretty sure there is a goblin like tech faction mm -hmm. that are very like, okay, uh, like 16th, 17th century. Sounds amazing. Got that I'm real that. Renaissance <laughs> um, sort of vibe to it. Uh, where's mm. Blue Horrors? I oh, hear. Infantry. Um, hmm. I don't know what else. You don't see many, like, um, sort of Native American Indian type fantasy races. Yeah. They'd work quite well as elves. I guess, like, sometimes sometimes they appear in, um... There was a forest goblin tribe based on them. Oh, really? There was once... I, w I remember reading a Warhammer article about how just take something from history and make it Warhammer-y. Mm -hmm. For example, we've got Little Bighorn with forest goblins and spider riders. And then they did a whole scenario where they just, like, converted... Oh, okay, some of the, like, yeah, Indian sure. wars into that. Boys. You get into racism problems when you do anything Native American. I guess you could get into racism problems when you do anything, though, right? If you're taking yeah, another race or culture and taking the exaggerated tropes and turning them into fantasy setting, that's always a risk. I guess, like, it's more relevant today. Right. Uh, yeah, that's and, true. you know, in more recent history. Which is why you'd get more issues there. My God, there's still a culture that exists. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're not that historical. For sure. For sure. I think. Cavemen with super advanced weapons. I like that. I mean, it's that sort of vibe. With like a rock. Beep boop. They don't know how it works. <laughs> but, like, you do the thing and, like, laser comes out. If done tastefully, it can be fine. But tastefully is hard. Yeah. Well, everyone's got a different idea of that, haven't they? It's probably not worth walking through that minefield. Uh, wow, is this... Why is parts of that impossible? God, it's hard to know what is impossible here. Yeah. Am I missing like a river or something? Huh. The, yeah, the mini map is very different to the battle map. <laughs> Love the plague bearers. Uh, cool. Do you want to keep reading? Yeah. The Bokvather has donated and says, Do not dedicate Blorko to treacherous Sin Sin. He cannot offer you the fish hands you want, as it is the domain of Stormfells. In Godric and Felix, Slayer of the Storm God, Felix cuts down a man with gaping fish heads for hands and dodged past him. Oh wow. my god. Zinch and Fish Hands canon in Gotrix and Slayer books. Oh my god, I love that. That's fantastic. Who, what is Stromfels? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I want to know more about this deep fish hand lore. The domain Stromfels. Um, He's a vampire. <laughs> These guys are cool. I like that they've got the holes in on horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do they move? I want to see them hop along. Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> okay, you're actually like a little artillery piece, which is cool. Oh, right. Oh, I had no idea. Wow. Oh, oh that's my God. So much damage to them. Woo. Who the heck are they? Oh, crane gunners. 
Oh, they're like Giselles. Oh. oh they're already plinking. Ooh, they are plinking hard. I'm sorry, it's oh, they're shields. shields. Right, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Ajax has donated $20. Thank you, Ajax. Tom, Ben, first time watching you in ages, and it's good to be back. I want to my first convention since the before times, and I avoided Nurgle's gift. Question, if you could cosplay as any character, who would it be and why? Kremlo came from space. Um, Balthazar Geltz. What's the rules here? Does that have to be a cosplay you can make, or are you magically being gifted the perfect cosplay? Because if that's the case, like, God, what would be, like, like a fully articulated suit of space marine power armor? Ooh. You could probably sell that to a nerd. Yeah, and look fucking rad all day. Um, Especially if you had, like, a voice changer. You could, like, drop all the quotes and sound cool. But what would be worth more money? Well, you have to be Space Marine. Space Marines are the sellers, man. Everyone, everyone wants a Space Marine. But I mean, like, other nerddom. Oh, I see, of course. Ow, God, they are. Like an Iron Man suit? Fucking, oh, yeah, like a really good Iron Man suit. Well, I feel like you see that a lot. Interesting. Um, they're not going to come to me. I guess they do outshoot me. God, I kind of wanted them. Or do you go full practicality and just go as, like, Something that's actually comfortable and you're not going to wash you a dead in after six hours of walking around. Yeah, if you're a smart person. <laughs> uh... What about the Eye of Sauron? Amazing. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm into that. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like the problem is, like, you gotta you got to go for a cosplay that you kind of look a bit like. Yeah, you got to lean into it. Um, That's why so many nerds were happy about Thor's change in Endgame. Yeah, 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 yeah. That just opened up a whole new world of cosplay. But boom, suddenly now anyone can be, um, you know, sad, overweight Thor. Um, whereas... I don't know. So that big frog thing it is, I guess, then, for both of us. Uh, yeah, that's me. A Toddy cosplay. I could dress up as Toddy. I look nothing like him. No, he looks completely different. He's way taller than you. He has an eye patch. <laughs> you have glasses. I have glasses. <laughs> totally They're different. From different worlds. <laughs> <laughs> you sound nothing like him either. Also, I sound nothing like him. What the hell? Um, and I think one one that I like the idea of that I think could be like achievable. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I probably need to. Slim down a little bit. <laughs> right. uh, would be uh, a Judge Dread Judge. Oh yeah. Because you've got a helmet on, mm -hmm. and have to shave. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of it. Yeah. And then the rest is just like a cool outfit that I don't yeah. think would be too insanely like crazy to. Uh, like I feel like I feel like I'm not. Wouldn't be very good at making much, but I think I could put together a decent Judge Dread costume um, with just like some biker gear and a few bits of like that weird plastic they use to make cosplay stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like something like that, I think would be cool. Um, Are there any judges with beards? I don't think I've ever seen one. I don't know if I'd want to be a judge with a beard because there's, in one issue, there's a judge with a mustache and Judge Dredd fucking berates him. <laughs> right. uh, it's a big telling off. Uh, like, because I think like, technically he's allowed, but Judge Dredd is just like, what the fuck is like, <laughs> Why do you care what people think that you look like? We're like instruments of the law. <laughs> right. Like you're a vain asshole, therefore a terrible judge. <laughs> right. um, and just like poops, poops all over him. Shit. Chief judge had a beard. Uh, that's uh, that's true, but that's that's different. Isn't she a woman? Yeah. How did she get a beard? Uh, she's old. Oh, okay. It's like a whole art because she gets um, exiled. Mm-hmm. But then, is it after the Judge Death arc that she, they basically like end up, Judge Dredd takes the long walk, he runs into her, and ends oh, up yeah. like, like coming, in the movie. And comes back into um, Mega City 1, and then they remake her the judge because like everything's gone to shit. Oh. Who was it? Or was it after Judge Cal? I can't remember. It was one of them. Uh. What's that firewall? 
pretty spooky. Spooky, but it doesn't really look like it's doing that much damage. Grand scheme of things. Uh, Froggo, who's doing the charge in? Do you reckon they'll ever make that Judge Dredd TV show with Carl Urban? They've been talking about it for years. I really hope they would. Um, as I think it would be cool. If the screamers nommed those balloons yet? Yeah, not really. I feel like this was in the trailer. This that... was, yeah. Bonk. Uh, Mahons has donated. Thank you. And say hello, Blorco and Tlorco. <laughs> I was super bored and decided to watch Eternals after Ben's great recommendation. Uh, <laughs> that was such a bland movie. But at least the CGA fights were okay. Also, ah, Yeah, I warned you. I warned you it was super bland. Did you agree, Mahons, about um, Icarus? Seeming like he didn't understand human emotion or expression. Oh no, he's back. Oh, he's back. He's fighting our fat boy. Shot. Let's watch him for a while. Apparently he does some fun animations. Oof. Yeah, how dare you, Mahon, say that I recommended Eternals. I did the reverse of that. He did. Tried to warn you. He warned you not to watch it. Uh, Xar 139, donate six bucks. He's a Balthazar girl to Boris Tombringer. Hello, did either of you watch The Old Guard? It's a pretty cool movie about immortal mercenaries. I think oh. you might like it. Though, honestly, I hesitate to say you two will like anything sometimes. Hail Blorko. Um, no, I've never even heard of it. Never heard of it. Let's have a look. It's not the one with Mark Wahlberg in, is it? From 2020. Oh, ball. Oh, that's the Charlie Saron Netflix movie. I heard it was very okay. I haven't watched it. Oh, actually, I think I know what you're talking about now. Uh, Flames. Put up there. Uh, Pandemonium13 has donated. Thank you. Hail! It says, Tom Ben, turns out you two are a gateway drug. What? Because I'm the one with the plastic crack now. Here's some Plague Boys. Rolko came in space and Roald Dahl wants it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Roald Dahl, stay away. Roald Dahl's coming for you. Oh, Plaguey Boys. Oh, they look great. I've got some of those right here. They look great. You nearly got Goblin Green Rims. Ooh. And you finished your bases. They all look awesome. Yeah, super rare. They're routed. Good job. Uh, Farms Are Cool has donated. Farms Are Cool. And says, ass for a face, Tom. It's me. A face for an ass, Ben. Hang on, what? Um, I came to serve the newest Doomborn Blocko. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, you're bringing that boy down. Blammo! Oh! Oh, Timber. God. Oh, this guy's just doing some spins. Oh, that's a good trick. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> 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 Not a good trick. Not a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, the Polish Mafia donates again. It says, Field Commander Troom and Demon Breeding Bean. When will the next Warhammer or Lawhammer be? We were thinking about maybe. Ooh. Do you want to reveal? Ooh, no real mega spoilers, but there might be, might be some next week. 
somebody's birthday next week. And we thought we'd have a fun little birthday treat. We've got a fun little birthday adventure to take everyone on. And um, so there might be some next week if you're around. Um, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. But only if people are extra good. Not weekends, next week. Next Wednesday. Next, week. next Wednesday. It's Benny Boy's birthday. And we might have a special, special treat. Mmm. God, that soul grind is pretty fucking legit. Oh, yeah, I like that. Wowzo. Thank you. Um, Daniel the Wise has donated and says, It's Brom and Tong. Super looking forward to Warhammer 3. Cannot wait to fight for Grandfather Nurgle. Chump me up, sir. Have a good stream. Unfortunately, we could not chump you up because we can't play more campaign until next week. Thank you, Daniel the Wise. We're not allowed to play as Nurgle yet. No, sir. They've not finished. But soon. Snoob the Undying, thank you. Say, hey, Tom and Ben, I recently went to Warhammer HQ and booked my first Orc Boys to start my 40k army because Ooh. of you too. Man, thank you very much. We've got to get ourselves like a referral link or something. Because apparently us complaining about Warhammer has sold a lot of Warhammer. Yeah, everyone that's like... You guys got me into it. I'm like, wow, are you listening to what we're saying? <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like we're very positive. <laughs> if anything, I think we just complain a lot. Yeah. Like loads. But I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys are getting into the hobby and yeah. uh, enjoying. Exactly. As long as you're having fun. That's the main thing. Wow. Just double stack. Why do they get one random unit of good troops? <laughs> they can go. They can have a 600 point unit of something. Peasant calf. <laughs> sure. Uh, That's what I want to see. With great and clean ones. Wow. You're just going to. Dink up that. I just want to sit on point. the bridge. <laughs> yeah. I just want to sit on the bridge as the peasant armies. They've risen up. They're like, we're tired of your stinkiness. What happens if the lady turns into a dragon? We'll oh, see. We'll can see. they? Um, well, only the legendary lords can. I don't know if that's one of them. Look, we're like, we're heroes. We're like, whatever happens, we will hold this pass. You shall not pass. Hang back here, and we have a flying boy who's gonna there's, do. There's definitely like a poop joke in there for you shall not pass, and then being big, fat, poopy, unclean ones. Yeah. Acceptable. You have to figure that one out yourself. Yeah, you can work it out. Cool. It's gonna take them a little while to get to us. I we'll bet these guys have got some fun idle animations. Do they like pull a nurgling out of their tummy or something? I hope so. He's uh. Well, what are you up to, bud? Having a good time. Uh, the Magic Rat, thank you for donating. It says Battle Boy Tom and tenured, tenured Tactician Ben. I am getting into 40k tabletop for the first time and I'm having a hard time choosing between Death Guard and Thousand Sons. Thoughts? Chump me up when you can. Um, both, are, both are cool. They're both cool. Zinch is my favourite, but they're, pro I don't know, they're quite complicated rules wise. And intricate model-wise, if you're a first-time painter uh, and player, maybe oh Nurgle man, is... Oh, Death Guard, uh, so forgiving. Very forgiving. Super, you, super easy you to can, paint. You can make a big mess on Death Guard models and it looks fine. Yeah, like, that's, if anything, looks better. Uh, yeah, I'd do Death Guard. Um, also, they've got, like, their own dedicated book. And I know Thousand Sons do as well, mm -hmm. but... There's like the Death Guard is like a proper army, um, more so I think than the Thousand Suns one. They definitely have more unit types. Yeah. Okay, let's just. Uh... Nurgle's favorite. Nurgle five. <laughs> These guys are amazing. But honestly, as the rule, as always, is 
Get the ones you like the most. Yeah, whatever there, you think looks coolest. There's no wrong answer. Where are you going? Are they? Are we supposed to go off the bridge? They're just running past me. What? <laughs> Where are they going? <laughs> Where are you going? I thought you would, this was just going to be like you guys all just... <laughs> Attacking. Am I supposed to hold the bridge? Are they on fire? Because if I... <laughs> I don't know, I guess that's probably a particle effect. <laughs> sure. Um, Groove Wonder has donated and says... Doom! Beep! I have to be a Vod Goblin this week. Uh, but I still have to get my dono in. Please chump me up as the derpiest son of a bitch you can think of. Kremlo came from space! Thank you, Groove Wonder. Thank you very much. Um, Zoltax has donated. Zoltax. Uh, Roomba Servitor Tom and Microwave Servitor Ben. When are we going to have a pile on where all the battle boys go up against Dice Boy Tom to the final battle? Oh my god, he's literally shitting on them. Oh! He's literally oh, shitting oh, on them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a boy! I did not think they'd put that as an animation in. <laughs> that is amazing. He's doing it again! What the hell? Oh my god, you can see, look, that horse has just took it all to the face. <laughs> Did it do any damage? <laughs> what the fuck? I love it, but... God, think how shitty that rag over his butt is. Oh, God. <laughs> the fucking spray. Oh, my God. The fucking... Oh, that guy did a poo. That guy's pooping. Uh, oh, oh, there's God. like chunks that come out. It's more poopy lore hammer. Wow. This game oh, is canon, right? Oh, this game. It's the best best Warhammer game they've ever made. <laughs> None of the others had shit in them in, in the way that we wanted. Wow. Oh. Oh. There we go. We're going to make sure we keep an eye on the poopers. <laughs> so good. So fucking good. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, Zoltex wants to see the Battle Boys fight against the Tomboy uh, Dice Master in a final battle to convert this unbeliever to the Battle Boy way. I think that could happen. What do they want to see? They want to see you fight other people leading Battle Boys with your, with your dice. Oh. I don't know if you want to see those dice. Because they are hard to read. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Very true. Uh, Sven has donated and says, wait, are we still friends? And if so, where do you want me to attack? Oh, Sven. Do you want me to attack? <laughs> Sven. Please, no lies and no long words. Regards, Sven. Damn you, Sven. Fucking Sven. Yes, we still want you to attack. Oh, wow. Tummy vomit. Um, yeah, we always want you to attack, Sven. Just fucking attack anyone. Literally anyone. <laughs> Any of our enemies do the attack. <laughs> okay, yeah. God, they pooping. They pooping hard. I think we're going to lose this one. Yeah, I thought this was... Uh, I didn't think the peasants could do it, but it's just enough of them. And I think our morale just gets tanked by being totally mobbed and surrounded on all sides. Yeah. If we had like some nurglings to like hold fill the in line. the gaps and hold the line... Probably do it. That's fine. Lorca's not even getting involved. Well, he was he was in a fight at the back, but I thought oh, I'd bring I him over here to try and save morale and maybe actually do a charge. Ooh, what's this? Someone furries. Oh, he Doctor Strange them in. Oh, amazing. Dun, Wait, dun, no. dun, dun. I... Furries assemble! Okay, this is still salvageable. Um, Captain Fwiffo! 
Thank you for donating. They say, hello humans, Bomb and Ten. This is Captain Fufo, hey here on. to demonstrate the Spaffy's unrelenting willingness to take part in mighty battlefield combat. To secure our own survival, we would rather make an impact from behind a shield of mysterious anonymity. Man, do you ever play Star Control? Let's no. see who the Spaffy are from. No, not really. They're the super annoying aliens that I hate. Oh no. Not the Spaffy, Ben. Yep. Fuck them. Please Thank you for donating. <laughs> Uh, special Chris, 001. Thank you for donating. Special Chris. Says, hello, Tom and Ben. Second time donator. Guess where I am from? The town, the town is known for a brand of car. And one of their cars is known as the poor man's Aston Martin. It is a river that runs to London and is named after a type of religious building. Uh, cathedral. Is there a town called Cathedral? I don't know. Uh, no idea. I don't I've, know. Like I've, I've never heard of a car being called a poor man's Aston Martin. I don't really know cars very well. I don't know many cars. I couldn't name many English cars other than like, you know, Rovers and Jaguars. That's like it. What are types of religious building that have a name that could be a thing? Um, Priory. Ooh. Uh, chapel. Chapel. Um, hmm. Uh, oh. Oh, Mon Mondeo. Yep. God, God bless the Mondeo. Yeah, he's hit all my weak spots. Religion, cars, geography. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... <laughs> I can't. I can't compete. Oh my god, are you, are you actually winning? A lot of them are fleeing. Kind of. Like sending Blorko into their leader. So I don't know what these guys are up to. Oh my god. Like half their army is just running into the river. What? I think they thought it was meant to be like a river crossing. Maybe the AI is not quite ironed out in this preview build. They're going to wash all that shit off of them. <laughs> to be honest, I think I would want to have a wash very quickly. Yeah. After a... Uh... After Nurgle's blessing. Yeah. I uh, so what's the answer? It doesn't say. Are you still in chat, Special Chris? Can you tell us? Is it York? It's York. It's usually York. Everyone knows York. Uh, Gothic guy has donated and says, Hello, Tom and Ben. Finally crawled out of the vodka goblin pile for the briefest of moments. Your schedule is very inconvenient for a guy in New York. And I would appreciate if you adjusted accordingly. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Have you tried sleeping in the day? Yes. Do like that. That would solve all your problems. Ah, uh, but yeah. Yeah, commiserations. Um, yeah, sorry. I'd love to be able to help out all the Aussie bodies and all the Americanolins. That worked, right? Um, but yeah, time, time hard. Yeah. Um, Special Chris has donated again. Thank you. It says the answer is Abingdon. Named after the abbey that was built there. And MG is the brand of car. And that car is a poor man's Aston Martin. Is an MG, MGB. Got to use those characters. Ah! Oh, I've never even heard of Abingdon. No. Uh, MG, sure. That's a that's a thing. I still think of that as quite a fancy car. Hmm. Oh. Apparently, I'm less than a poor man. Nice. 
bonk. Oh, chariot. Wow. Holy shit. Look at him go. <laughs> but I don't think we would have got that in a million years. No. Thank you, Special 100% Chris. 100% not. <laughs> the Wild Wrath has cheered 500 bits and says this dono goes out to Ben's horrible recommendation of the internals. I don't he feel does, like you guys he understand. Does love that film. I don't think you understand what a recommendation is. I said it was horrible and weird and awkward and too short and too long at the same time. <laughs> There's a lot wrong with that film. Uh, Neth has donated and says, Tom, Ben, hello from Canada. I've started a 500 point Black Templars army this year and I'm selling, trading, or giving away my pile of shame to make it happen. Boom. Tom, are you still looking for Cruel Boy face shields? If so, how to send to you? Um, there's a Yogg's PO box, but only if you are getting rid of them. You could sell those with your Cruel Boys and buy more Black Templars. That's true. Um, stick them on the flea bay. Stick them on the old flea bay. Uh, honestly, I think it's probably your better your better bet. Um, because I think they'd probably sit in my bit spots for 50 years. Yeah, it's one of those things that I like the idea of doing something with them, but probably will never get around to. Don't it. have a direct like um, plan plan made. God, did he not kill that leader. Oh, what, what's the top Spanish power we've unlocked? Oh, nice. What is this? Bombardment. Ooh. Amazing. That's exactly Perfect. what we need. This is exactly what I'm after. I guess this is the Zinch one. Is that it? That, okay, that looks pretty... That looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Get him, boss. <laughs> oh my god. They seem pretty sad about that. They... Definitely didn't enjoy the big old stank. Mm. Thank you, Neff. Uh, Grumble Moore has donated and says, I finally escaped the pile and wanted to catch you live. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Grumble Moore. Well, thank you. And then last but not least, Halfheim has donated. Halfheim? This is my dearest beanbag Ben and tiny trumpet Tom. Beep boop. Since we're getting a new Warhammer, uh, what do you want from the inevitable Kremlo mod? More axes? Special missions to go back to space? A tie-in with the Eternals movie that Ken Ben keeps recommending. <laughs> Ben's godlike. It's my favorite film, guys. He just keeps talking about it. Have you watched it yet, Tom? I really want to talk about it. No, I haven't yet. Oh, God. All the oh. Grand Clean ones just popped. Oh, my God. Heal. Heal Blorco. Oh man, I just wanted to kill his leader. Wow, I thought this one was in the bag after that. God, their morale is just so high. People don't like being um, surrounded. No. God, I feel like one good charge and this guy dies. Hmm. Oh no. What? <laughs> <Blah! laughs> chariot. Oh, he's stuck in traffic. This guy's like, please! <laughs> I tried to fly! Please, get out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Ripperoni. Well, wow, great battle. What do we want from a... I, I feel like the last Kremlo mod just fucking nailed it. Oh, yeah, it was really good. Really cool. Oh, we didn't um, even kill half of them. Got this unit, three kills. Ooh, that's half our army. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> wow. God, one of these guys uh, is definitely going on to become a, like a legendary lord. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? If he doesn't, I think he's probably going to die of diarrhea tomorrow from having like the oh, corpses God. of three great and clean yeah, ones. Yeah, that ain't that ain't the dream. Well, oh, this one. There is still fifty-eight thousand. Yeah, I mean, guys keep making a big fuss in chat about how these guys are anti-large. But, you know, that just adds, like, an extra six to their damage, right? Like, yeah. they go from doing, like, eight damage to doing 14 damage or something like that. Like, mm. although technically they gain a bonus against large targets, it is not super significant. Yeah, it's not, not massive. I think really the reason we died there was, was morale. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. Probably. Also, uh, actually, we haven't spent 1,700 of our points. <laughs> uh, whereas they did, so... Just saying. Just saying. Could have made it up. Could have. Could have done it. A little screen of Nurglings probably would have actually gone a very long way. Taking those guys along. Yeah, I think it would have really, really helped. Uh, Anti-large bonus damage that they get in. Uh, go to weapon strength and hold it over the um, the symbol. Uh, like, no, 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 the other. So move it out of the way. So you see where weapon strength is the oh, number. Yeah. There's a. There it is. Uh, Base damage 19. Oh. Oh, sure. Nearly doubles their damage. Oh, well, the armor piercing damage is 6. So 20, they had 17 on top of 25. Wow, that's a lot better than like Empire Spearman again. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah. God, because not, yeah, you'd think like this would be such a fair fight. <laughs> it's how the game's supposed to be played. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What well, what the fuck? This like fair and balanced army isn't just stomping everything. What, what the, the hell? What is wrong with your game? Bullshit. God, okay, well, we found uh, how to break the game. Uh, all spears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also some cav. They were crucial. <laughs> Critical unit, mm. for sure. Um, pal, I think that's right. probably a good place for us to wrap it up. I think so, too. We had a good time. That's fun. Fun kind yeah. of just testing out some different different battles. Yeah. Um, cannot wait until we can bring some of the other races to bear. Mm. Um, I want to carry on with the legend of Glorco as well. Yeah, so Glorco will continue. He'll return next week. Mm -hmm. um, we will be doing so continuing the next 25 turns of the campaign. Also, we'll have some mm -hmm. other fun little um, little things going on next week as well for Ben's special birthday. Oh, uh, it's going to be really fun. So, oh, apparently I've frozen. Please do. Um, oh wow! <laughs> just Ben. Ben is <laughs> yeah. just there. Um, so Ben, uh, what what do you think of um, here? Ben, what do you think of you know uh, the you know terrible crisis with Ukraine at the moment? <laughs> oh ben, why why you why do you look like? Ben, what? I can't help it. Please, this is just how I feel. <laughs> it's not funny, Ben. <laughs> Wow. Terrible. Wow. Uh, so, so, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to do more campaign next week with birthday celebrations. Um, but also, we're back tomorrow for a sponsored stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. It's out there. Um, and that's probably all we need to plug. Got any other plugins? I think that's it. I, I think that's think. the one. Uh, so, um, we will wave goodbye because um, we love you and thank you for being here. Oh, Ben. Oh. <laughs> Just end the stream, Tom. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm waving inside. How embarrassing. I can't express myself. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>